Y'all already know what it says in the, you know, in the thing. We got Ben coming up. Shout out to Ben. What's good, Ben? Is that you? That's me. I'm here live in effect. Peace. How you feeling, Queen Strong? I'm good. I'm good. How you doing today? Yeah. Can you hear me? Yeah, I hear you. Can All right, you hear go. Me? Okay. Yeah, loud and clear. Okay. Um, how you doing though? All is well. God is love. We here fighting a good fight. We definitely are. We definitely are. So, um, you know, let's just quickly talk about what we're here for today, right? Would you like to weigh in on that a little bit or you want me to do it? I mean, we're here, we're here to stop the lies of Frank Gary and stop the madness that's going on over there in the HOK. And uh, we're still going to keep our foot on his neck because he's still promoting Michael Nowak, the mentally disordered sex offender. Right. That's a fact. So the other day, Cube was live on Outside the Cube. Um, he was talking some shit about Uncle Suge, right? And Sonetta ended up hitting the panel. And then you tried to hit the panel. Cube said he dropped the link, but he never really did. You know, sometimes things happen. But you hit the panel. And then Sonetta, you know, before that, he had jumped down when he knew, you know, that you were coming up. He had jumped down. When you got off, he came up got to talking all type of shit. So we're here to, you know, go in a little bit more on the situation. Now, I do want to warn the audience and even Ben that this audio, in my opinion, some of it is distorted. Um, There was some issue, in my opinion, I feel like Cube's mic was lower than several of the other people on the panel. Everybody else's mic pretty much was louder than his. So I tried to adjust that, but it, it's just a mess. So you might have to adjust the audio. It's going to be one of them lives, y'all. You know, I'm still healing from my surgery. So, you know, I didn't want to do too much, but I tried to fix it. Okay. Um, so um, you ready, Ben? I'm ready. All right. Let's go. Oops. That's not going to help us. All right. Let's go. Remember, let me know when you need me to stop it. Got you. Come on, man. Don't ask me no fucking questions about no fucking Nikki. Who is Nikki? You tell me. And if I knew it and then I tell you who she was, you wouldn't fucking know her. But on some real shit, this nigga saw he caught some fucking strays because I don't fuck with his girl. You know that. He, he caused some strays because I don't fuck with his girl. But what I told the nigga when I talked to him personally, I'm like, bruh, I've been against your girl before you even knew her. So it's not like it's against you. Hello, this nigga. Up. <laughs> yeah, yeah, yeah. I want to talk to um Top Fly. He's a lying ass nigga. He's not a real no, nigga, No, hey, bro. Bro, no, 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 don't do oh, that. Bro. Bro. Don't do, no, 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 no. He's a fake no. nigga, Q. No, 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 bro. We ain't doing that, bro. The he, nigga's he, a dick rider. Nah, bro. Nah, nah, nah. I bro. do not bro. promote no. polite. Fuck polite. Oh. No. Hello, don't do that. Hold on, hold on, hold on. Stop, stop it right stop, there, Queen. Yeah, Let's go in on it right there. Let's start right there. You do not promote polite. This video is roughly 48 hours old. You got right. every video of polite still on your page, on all your pages. That's Polite's bad. a scumbag. Polite's a mentally disordered sex offender. Polite took a 13-year-old girl into a room, into a hotel room, gave her drugs and alcohol, got an erection. Tried to get a fellatio from a 13-year-old girl, this disgusting ass devil. And you and still tried to blame it, it on the girl. Tried to, tried blame, to blame it on it. the girl. Facts. And and you know, point the finger at the mother. Sonetta was involved in pointing the finger at the mother as well. And he you know, knew all about it. Out here talking about that she was an escort or she allowed her daughter to put them clothes on, like it was some type of scheme and scam on this nigga. And you, Shout out we, to everybody we, in the chat. Y'all, please we, hit that like button on the way in. We yeah. got to keep rehashing the mentally disordered sex offender because he's trying to keep him relevant. He's trying to, you know, seven years ago by and he'll have polite right back out here amongst a group of people that never heard of him. And right back to the same shenanigans 
and somebody else's child to get hurt. And this guy is shameless. He's shameless. Anytime a so-called man will allow a woman he's dealing with to get on the internet and air him out the way she did, Nepal that is, right, and then turn right back around with your head between your legs and she's right back up there. You are shameless. He is snake belly it. low right now. He don't get no lower than this. That's a fact. That's a fact. Right. And, we go, and, and as far as this, he's a venomous snake. You know, all snakes aren't bad. You got guarded snakes. You know, you got all type. You know about snakes, Queen Throw. All snakes yep. ain't bad. But I venomous snakes. have several snakes. You don't want to play with venomous snakes. And he's a venomous snake. You know he's going to bite you, but y'all over there playing with him anyway. Trying to keep him relevant. Let it roll. Let it roll. I'm going right. to go in the room. All right. Don't do that to the nigga because all he right, ain't yeah. doing it. He ain't doing that, bro. Man, that nigga been calling me pedophile and all that shit with them sack of doodle -doo niggas. Listen, listen, bro. Listen. Hold on, hold on, hold on, hold on. Top flight, top flight, chill, chill. Let me just. I'll tell you what I called you, nigga. Hold on, hold on. Yeah, I'll call you the same shit, nigga. Hold on, see, the same shit. See, this is the nigga. You got no respect for me. I ain't got nothing for you, nigga. That's the way it go. Niggas want to do nigga shit. Let me tell you something, side. The nigga never said that about you, bro. He never fucking said that, bro. But what I'm trying to tell you, Cube, he been saying a lot of shit on the sack of doodle nigga channel. And he knows. I've never Shug seen a nigga said, over there. Real quick, real I've quick. I've never seen a Shug. nigga over there. Brother, real quick. Ask him. He right here. He right here. Hey, let's, have you been over there? Let's talk about it. Let's talk about it. Have you been over there? All right, watch this. Watch this, Q. I've never seen a nigga over there. Watch this, Q. Hold on, hold on. I'm not, I'm, not, I'm not finna say the nigga been over there because I, I don't be on the Ask nigga him. channel. Ask him. He's right here. He's right here. Top flight. You been over on the nigga channel, bro? Let's let's get this real clear. No, no, just hold on, hold on. Just answer the question. Have you been over on the nigga channel? I think I chimed in a couple times. I don't rock. I don't rock with neither one yeah, of them. Yeah, like, that's what I'm saying. Like that's what I'm trying to defend you because you, you don't be, you don't fuck with that. Like let's that. Not, that's let's, what I'm trying to say. Let's that's not do the side of the dance, yo. If anything, I got to say, I say it to you right now. Will you listen though? I've been on your yeah, panel. Yeah, I'll listen. I'll listen. I've, listen, I've, bro. I've, been, I've been on your panel and I'm blocked from that shit because I spoke my mind. Mm, nobody damn, likes man. truth. Nobody likes truth over there. I can't, I couldn't even say my truth over there because niggas block me, niggas drop me down. Hold on, Paul. Right. All right, say your truth. Hold, hold on, Paul. No, 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 no. Hold on. See, oh, wait, side, oh, that's wait, what you. I'm trying to tell you, bro. You don't be listening. You just want to go hard at niggas. But not every nigga that's on here that's saying some shit is against the niggas, bro. Right. So but you let me say this real quick. I'm going to listen to him. I'm going to listen to him. But, listen to him. but this, nigga, bro, this nigga been cooling with me for like two, three. This nigga ain't on the type of shit, bro. He, he know the type of nigga I'm is. Bro, like, come on, it ain't that, right, bro. All right, all right. Let me and the brother talk. I'm going to chill. I'm going to chill. Let me and the brother talk. Once he was found guilty, I was done with him. Just because we had a conversation with someone else and we was talking about who the best debater, I still said polite was the best debater. That's not bigging him up and calling him out. I mean, that's all I, that's all yeah, I but said. that's all I said, brother. You stop it right there, please, man. And to any, any of the men in the chat, all respect to the women, but to the men in the chat, especially the daughters, you know, once a man is guilty of sexually, especially sexually violating a child, it's no more association if you're a real man. I've been in many situations where I've seen dudes cop pleas that I once knew. And when they came out of jail, they came back around. I told them, get the fuck away from me. Don't ever come back around. Me. That's what real men do, especially when you cop out to a charge. Right. I don't even mention their names anymore. Because yeah, that's for one of the me most just getting charged yeah. with it. You know what I'm saying? Fuck, you know what I mean? You don't always have to wait for the verdict. Like in Sonetta's case, again, this all started because I called Sonetta out. I told him that he should distance himself publicly and obviously behind the scenes as well from polite because it looks good, it looks bad, period. Just, you know, besides the moral situation of you shouldn't just let people like that in, be involved in the community because he had already stated that he wasn't going to jump out the window. He was going to ride it out with him and he believed polite. Right. You know what I'm saying? Right. And right. all this came uh, uh, from my behalf. You know what I'm saying? This started August 20, um, 2021 with this. Again, I we had parted ways. 
the um, end of 2020. And I didn't have anything to say until August of the next year. Come on. That's why when he talks about him taking my wrench, it never was about that, period. Because within all those months, you won't find one video of me going at him over nothing and tell this brother polite shit came. Go ahead. Right. Right. And, and you know, one thing that Uncle Shug constantly tries to remind the community, I don't care what community is, conscious, the, the shits community, all the community, we're not going to advance so long as we have these type of clowns in the way. That's a fact. We're never going to advance so long as people are subscribing to this type of foolishness. Never going to event. And y'all got it. Y'all got it. Really what really understand. has come out of his platform anyway? It's been what, 15 years? Nothing 20 years. Come out of it. 20 years. Well, 20 I'm years. saying, as far as the, um, on YouTube. YouTube? I mean, uh, yeah, yeah. Right, yeah. About, about a little over 15, because he was up there back in 2007, you know? So about, right. about 17 years on YouTube and nothing. Nothing. You haven't, the, the scholar that you were supposed to produce, turned out to be a mentally disordered sex offender yeah. your best debater and he was he, he turned out to be that because you made him like that when he got around you he saw that y'all were birds of a feather and you can guess what y'all flock together let's go do what we do what you know how to do frankie and that's what we're going to talk about tonight 32 year old frankie gary 17 year old nikki that's what you do frankie we're going to get on it let it play I because I I can never fuck with him again. I can never fuck with him again. I can never fuck with him again. You know, after what's going on. But but what I want to say real quick, and I'm gonna let you go. Give me two more seconds. Tell me you done you never heard of Shug fucking 14 year old girls when he was not when he was 19 years old. Tell me you never heard that. I'm gonna answer that. And last. he said it himself. I don't want that divert. I don't okay. want that. Divert. Okay. Stop it right listen. there. Stop it uh, right there. Let's stop it right there, because in all fairness and all defense to Uncle Shug, I, I didn't I didn't like when I saw some of these brothers act like they couldn't address that situation. Shug addressed the situation. He clearly said he was 18 and 19. He was in the club, dark, kicking it with a girl that's in her teens who lied about her age. The key word here is teens. If she was 19, if he was 19, she 14, 15. That is a human error. Girls right. do lie. Girls do lie. Boys do get promiscuous. But the key word here is teen. That does not make him a pedophile. Pedophile is when an adult is dealing with a teenager. Not a teenager on teenager. Pedophile. Yeah, pedophile. And, and just to clarify it for the people, and correct me if I'm wrong, Queen's Throne, a pedophile is someone who's trying to have sex with a child from one years old to 13 years old. That's oh, a pedophile. Year, um, zero to 10 years old. Zero to um, 10 years old. Uh, Break it uh, down. Um, Break 11, it down. Okay, so zero to 10 is a pedophile. Um, 11 to 14 is a uh, hebophile. And then 15 to the, you know, how they have it documented. So 15 through 19 um, if somebody is attracted to somebody in that age range and they're obviously a you know older adult, that is an ephebophile. So Correct. Brother Polite is both a hebophile and you know, possibly a ephebophile. Right. And and, and and Uncle Shug doesn't fall in any of those categories. So right. this is just more that reverse racism, so to speak. You know what I mean? That Sarnetta tries to do. When he knows he's caught, and then the first thing he's gonna do is try to point. Oh yeah, he did the same thing. Yeah, look, look at the evidence. And ain't no evidence there proving none of that. The man clearly came out and told his story like a man to debunk your lies. So when brother sits and, back, and I don't want to touch that. Nah, touch it. Stop tap dancing around and playing with this dude. Right. And going off what you saw, <clears throat> um, when you saw him and Nikki. Sonetta would have been an ephebophile at least, although we don't know when they had started, you know, messing around. Correct. 
So he Correct. could be a uh, habophile as well. Right. That's a fact. That's a fact. You ready? Let it rip. All right. The polite shit go. We heard you many, 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 many times say if he's a pedophile, blah, blah, blah. I got that. We got that. But, but a lot of the shit that was going on, say, for instance, when you said that, when the, when the shit was hitting the fan, you brought Cesari out on there. And he was like, well, I think a lot of y'all hate him because he was busting y'all ass in, 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 in the debates. That's yeah, I said defended. that. that no, 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 no. Yeah, I, I did that. I said that. Right, right. So, so, so that's contradictory. It, 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 that's contradictory to what you're saying now. Because you saying you, after he got arrested, I said that? Absolutely. Absolutely. Okay. You said it to him and you said it to somebody else. Look, I'm not petty. I barely give a fuck about any of this. When Polite was scamming, I'm, I was one of the people on there like, man, look, look here. Don't bring them back. Well, this is before the allegations with the girl. I don't deal with shocking them like that. You see what I'm saying? I don't deal with shocking them like that. You see what I'm saying? I don't deal with shocking them like that. You see what I'm saying? Uh, all I'm saying is, when Polite comes home, I believe that he'll be back on it. When Polite comes home, I believe that he'll be back on it. When Polite comes home, I believe that he'll be back on it. If you let Inky back on there, if you let Chief X back on there after all the shit they talk. If you let Inky back on there, if you let Chief X back on there after all the shit they talk. If you let Inky back on there, if you let Chief X back on there after all the shit they talk. To, about you, Polite hasn't really done anything to you at, at the end of the day. When he comes home, what's, what is stopping you from bringing him back on if he'll bring niggas like that? Nigga wrote a book on you. Nigga wrote a book on you. Nigga wrote wow. a book on you. Wow. He wrote a whole book. Where's that? You got something yeah. to say? Yeah, that's deep, you know, because... um. Yeah. <clears throat> remember he said <clears throat> excuse me remember he said remember y'all I coerced Inky I coerced them right now hold on one second queen hold on one second give me two seconds here because I just want to pull something up just so we got clarification because he said he coerced Inky to coming back to the show right so when we look up coerced forced or compelled through intimidation or authority especially without regard for individual volition forced or compelled through intimidation or authority especially without regard for individual volition so this is how, this is what he did to get inky back over there right so there's no telling what type of dirt he got on inky that's a fact. <clears throat> um, Inky disrespected Cynthia. Yes, he did. Yes, he did incognito. It may not have been necessarily in public, but he did. But I ain't trying to be petty. You know what I'm saying? Again, we hear about this predator, in my opinion, um, allegedly, right? With the, I really don't even feel like saying allegedly because we finna get into it today. Um, I'm just going to tell y'all now, all gloves is off. And Sonnet, I don't want to hear you bitch about anything because what we going to show and prove today is that you lied about Nikki Chanel. In the beginning, if you go back, he says, I don't even know a Nikki Chanel. What do you say, Ben? I don't even know Nikki. If y'all find out, y'all let me know. Exactly. Y'all bringing up old shit, right? That How's right it there old all if you didn't know a Nikki and you never knew a Nikki? And then shout out to Neo, right? Because Neo, um, and I may chop that up, Neo had um, went live and shown that there's discrepancies in what Sonetta has said about how he contacted Nikki Chanel. Um, one minute it was through the mother, then it was, you know, she just, she went through it. So I didn't forget about that. I definitely want to, you know, expound on that on my page as well. So there's that. I mean, he's just shooking and jiving. And when y'all see how he ran from Ben, y'all finna be like, what the fuck if you haven't seen it? Okay, period. And but but before you go on, let's let's take it back a step further for even more clarification to show you why he's lying into brothers like Cube who talking about they need more evidence. Sonetta is the evidence. Sonetta is the evidence. And here's what I'm gonna say. When I called into Inky's show with a disguised voice totally disguised voice, right? Sarnetta tried to play a charade. Yeah, I was trying to figure out who it was. I called a couple of people and I said, who does this sound like? 
Now, I don't rock with none of those people that he's talking about. Never had no in, uh, extensive business relationships with, with none of them. If one of them dudes called me today, I wouldn't know who it, who it would be on the phone. You know what I mean? Because I don't have their voice print in my head. But right. he said, he knew it was you. right, when he heard the call, I just knew that was Jamin. I just knew it. And that's bullshit. I'm going to tell you why. You know why he knew it was me? Because we made that eye contact. That's had I nothing to do say. with. It had nothing to do with he called around and get a voice analysis and all that bull crap he's talking. He he figured the story out and said, damn, who saw me that day? Jamin. That's him. Who else would know about this story? And that's what his that's what his conclusion was that day. So he he he'd been lying from the jump. And now here we are, and we're gonna uncover even more of his lie. And all you had to do, Frankie. Is come out and come clean. Being that you want to be this moral leader of the conscious community. You should have came clean. But instead, like the devil you are, you chose to lie about it. And now you're going to die with your lie. That's a damn shame. Y'all remember that snakes love rabbits. You know what I'm saying? I'm just saying. And I'm, you know, the snake charmer. So it is what it is. You know what I'm saying? But Fact. anyway, let's get back into it. The what, what is it going to be a backbone? Like, hey, man, look, you said this about me. You can't come on. Inky came out. He came back and he retracted them to everything he said. That's why he's on. I got I got I, him I, on I the team. Him. I got they him on the team. I got him on the team. I got when are you going to play that team? When are you going to play that team? I don't know. I don't think I'm going to play it right now. Because right now, man, him broke. We made peace. I don't know. I don't think I'm going to play it right now. Because right now, man, him broke. We made peace. I don't know. I don't think I'm going to play it right now. Because right now, man, him broke. We made peace. That's frozen. Stop it right there. That don't even make sense. That don't even make sense. Stop it right there. We're going to debunk this lying devil right now. If you got a tape of Inky, here we go again. So here's another tape of somebody exonerating him. But he's not going to play it right now because you're at peace. What sense does that make? Like, who do you think you're talking to, Frankie? If you got to take the Inky debunking everything and Inky proving that it's a lie, play it to the people. I'm not going to play it right now because we at peace. Yo, this dude is shockingly stupid. And to his followers, to his subscribers, what does that say about y'all? I haven't dealt with Sarnetta since Michael Jackson died. That was 2009. Because once I seen the extreme flawed character, that's it. We done. I see him in the street, walk past him like he don't even exist. Y'all still running back and giving this dude life and energy to no avail. He's a liar. He's a he's a thief. And a, a whole bunch of other things that go with that. And you so-called intelligent people in the conscious community keep devoting your energy and your intelligence to this loser ass platform that ain't doing nothing but dividing and conquering the people with madness. I mean, if if no, if people can't see that, I don't know what to tell them at this point. You know what I mean? Like, you know, trying to minimize Sonetta's actions, and it's not just Brother Polite that was a predator, because it's basically stated in here. You know, Solar Mind's name comes up. Uh, polite, of course. Sinful the P, even though they're still trying to ride with sinful and, P. And you and, and you can't forget Nature Boy. Too. You just we can't yep, forget the most boy, recent one, Nature, nature Boy. Nature Boy, Shaka, almost like come on, bro. It's uh, Iman Bashir said some such shit. Them one um Israelite cats that was saying that as soon as a girl ends up having her period, a little girl ends up having her period. You can take her, you can rape her and all this fucking weird ass shit. Bro, this dude is trash. He brought all these people into the community. Then we could even hit on the scamming. All the scammers come out the HLK. Pretty much. Every last single one of them. So, I mean, and then we already heard how Nepal was talking about how he had punched her. Again, if it happened once, it happened again. But, you know, people want to let him slide off of that. Again, I'm not saying that people, if you if you an adult and you want to fuck with them, fuck with them. That just, you know, kind of shows me where we at in this community or whatever at this point. 
but I'm not ever trying to tell somebody where they can go, but I'm definitely going to, you know, kind of look at you different, like side eye you a little bit. Facts. Yeah. Yeah. And, uh, and again, GS right back to what Top PMS Flight told him, when are you going to play that tape of Inky saying, uh, uh, retracting and denouncing everything he did with Sarnetta on trial? When are you going to play that tape? Oh, I'm not because we at peace right now. Yeah. What, wouldn't that be the best time to play? Mm-hmm. You know, so you're going to wait for y'all to have another fallout so you can have Inky uh, play the tale of your son that it, you make no sense. You make no sense. And this is why you in the jams you're in now. You can let it play. I keep it in the vault. Can I tell you this? Polite will not be back on my channel. Can I tell you this? Polite will not be back on my channel. Can I tell you this? Polite will not be back on my channel. That's done. He's done on that. That's done. He's done on that. That's a lie. That's a bold face <laughs> lie. You still got every polite video on your channel. Stop lying, devil. And he never took them down. I don't know what people is talking about. You know, did he go live and like privated one or two or something? Because I, I, when I look it up, I still see nothing but brother polite videos. Yeah, and you this going whole in, going time first, that he was. Yeah, yeah this yeah. whole time that he was stating that he took some shit down. That is untrue. That is definitely untrue as Cap. And anybody that believes that, you know, when he says it, you could go right, you know, if you're looking on your phone or whatever from the computer, open up another tab or whatever, or drop the, you know, live down what he said it in and just look up Sonetta Studios, Brother Polite. And they're just, all these videos are going to come down. I, I just don't understand it. This shit is crazy. But but he'll sit here and tell you, he'll sit here and tell you, I'm done with polite. I'm to be done with somebody means to erase their image, scrub it from everything mm-hmm. that you uh, uh you're associated with. Right. That's Not keep them, you know, on the channel and shit like that, promoting them. And I have no reason to doubt that when um Brother Polite gets out that he's going to bring him right back on the platform. He's going to have some type of excuse or trying to minimize it or say that he's changed. And I'm not going for it. Right. I'm not going for it. Seven years away and all that. You know, we still got, what, six? Six and a half. Yep. But Sonnet will try to do it. You ready? Let it go. Don't know on that. He's done on that, bro. Listen, I'm all about peace. But I want, I, I would like, you know, when I tune in, I don't want to hear polite is a good debater, man. He's a pedophile. It shouldn't be no more nothing hey, after fuck that. Fuck that nigga for real. It should be fucking Yeah, it shouldn't be no, it, it shouldn't be bigging him up in no way, shape, or form. He should be a fucking ghost. Oh, oh. Ooh, shout out to Love Son, because that's a fact. On Sonnet Studios, where most of those videos are, he's not even monetized anymore, and he still has the videos up. So you're promoting this nigga for free. Like, fuck the monetization before you should have dropped it. Because if you stand with this community, then why are you promoting a predator? But you're not even getting paid for it. Like, shout out to Love, son. Right. That makes what tremendous like sense. That what did you say, Ben? No, I said that made tremendous sense. Yeah, facts. I, I didn't even put the two to two together. So I'm thinking about all type of other shit. He has some skills. I you know agree with saying? you. I agree you with you. You see what I'm saying? But it, it just come across wrong. You, you did? It, it come across real wrong. Uh, I agree with you. But you know why? Let me tell you why. What happened is so many people was was acting like um, I was the goddamn pedophile. And so that's why I was turning up the way I was doing it. You know, that's why I was keeping his goddamn video on my channel because so many people were still going at me whether I took him down or left him up. People were still banging. So I said- And that is a fucking lie. That is yeah. a lie. When he went in on Polite, people was supporting him for that shit. They was like, yeah. Then Sonetta, days later, went back to this nigga, kept going back. They, You know what I mean? Like, it's this nigga is trash, bro. He just lie in front of everybody like this shit is not documented. This shit crazy. Let it rip. Why the fuck am I going to listen to but these si, niggas? They check, already got their mindset. But, but hold on. but Their si, mind though. is set already. But Sa, si, understand, this is one thing, bro, and I'm going to keep it a buck with you. I would never go at you on some shit. The only thing I disagree with you on is how you stood up for that nigga. And, and that's to, the, the nigga top flight to tell you, bro, on my channel, that's the type of shit I was on. I was like, how the fuck is he still fucking with this nigga? That's the shit I was on. 
That's the type of time I was fucking on. Like, how's you still fuck? Because you was on some shit. Like, well, I'm gonna wait to this and I'm gonna wait to that. And, and, but and listen, guess what though, Q? So did so did my act forever. But fuck that. But did, but did you know that? that nigga. But bro, did you know that, bro? You played the shit. I heard it. Bro, oh, okay. I can go in on this, bro. I can yeah. go in on this nigga, bro. That ain't uh -huh. even it, bro. It's about you for real. Because on some shit, I could be on some shit like, yo, look at this ass nigga, my eye forever, or whatever his name is. But that ain't even the point. We know this nigga dumb as fuck. We know this nigga whatever. But my whole thing is what I'm telling you, this is how it started, bro. And, and I think you know this already because I already told you. Your girl, me and her already had problems. Yeah, you ain't got to even talk about okay, that. Okay, I already okay, know okay, yeah, okay. That. Well, well, that's that. But Yeah, yeah but, I know where we at. Right, right. So, so with that, it's just like, come on, bro. Like, niggas want... Niggas want me to hate you for no fuck, like for their reasons. I ain't gonna say for no reasons, but for their reasons. And I'm like, bro, like I already got my own shit with the nigga. Like, and this is what I'm trying to tell you, Top Flight. It's like, listen, bro, if if you want some shit, you got something to say to the nigga, just say what the fuck you gotta say. Yeah, to I the just nigga. I just be on the defense for a while. That's all I do. It's like nobody really comes to talk to me. They accuse me. They nah, come at nah, me like a not you, Ty. I'm not saying you. Yeah, but, but niggas, I'm saying damn man, everybody but that come at me. Reason to they don't, side, but, you and don't then I, but don't I have a reason to defend it? No, no. That's cap because Sonetta hit my panel, I believe twice, but at no, yeah, he did hit my panel twice, and I let him speak. And I try to have a cordial conversation with this nigga. And when he jumped out of his motherfucking character, you know, quote unquote, then I flipped out on his ass. Right. No, listen, listen, it, it, it's the same. Niggas got a reason to say shit about right. you, and you also have the ability to defend yourself. I'm not that's saying that and that's shit is all different. I'm doing, but that's I'm not what saying I'm saying. That shit is, I'm not saying that, like, oh, you ain't got no reason to defend yourself, and you just got to sit there and take all of this dumb, nutty yeah. ass shit. Right. Nobody's that's saying what that. I'm talking about. Yeah, I know. Nobody said, I, I would never yep. say that. Because, but because you know what the majority of niggas say? And this is what I said. Why the fuck is he still fucking with this nigga polite? And nothing well, I was looking at it like, yo, until that judge put the hammer down, that yeah. and when he say something, that's when I say, all right, I wash my hands with him. I'm not gonna just, but I don't wanna jump out the window, bro. But I did that up before. Okay, yeah. now watch this. Now, now watch this. Now, now say you got a nigga who is a is a leader of a company like P Diddy. P Diddy, do you want to be caught dead with fucking P Diddy right now? I wouldn't. I wouldn't be caught with that nigga taking a picture of my body and, and the nigga taking <laughs> like real shit. And this is well, we already covered where Napa was taking up for Diddy and saying that she was at his parties and now all that shit's untrue. So you know what we was trying to say. There's nobody want to be caught with P Diddy right now. And what you were saying is, nah, P Diddy's my man. P Diddy's my nigga. And, you know, if I can't show nothing, the nigga did. I'm finna rock with the nigga, bro. Niggas is on P Diddy's fucking helmet right now. Nobody's fucking with him. Hey, let me say this, dog. About three, four weeks ago, you did a show, right? And you said, fuck it. I'm putting Polite's videos back up. I heard you say no, that. I, no, no, I no, never no, took no, him no, down. No, I just said that. To get motherfuckers. Listen, I said that to get niggas mad, bro. I know what I be doing. Trust okay, you, was trolling. you was trolling. Yeah, I was trolling. I know what I be doing. I was like, fuck all y'all niggas. I'm putting this video up. I just yeah. said that. Why would you he would that? never have to put it back up because he never took it down. Because niggas was saying that I was a pedophile. Niggas ain't give a fuck if I took him down or not. So if, I'm trying to tell you why I did it. I did it because niggas was violating and being disrespectful to me. So I said, what? fuck these niggas. I'm but keeping the videos up. I'll put that it does, up. That, that doesn't hurt niggas. That hurts your brand. Mm -hmm. He's right about that. Nah, nah. The only ones that hurt my brand is black motherfucking niggas that try to bang on Sonya. That's not another thing. Man. It's not white That's man. It's motherfucking coon ass niggas that try to bang on Sonya. Those the ones that hurt my brand. That's another thing I gotta say to you. Listen, yeah. listen, <laughs> listen, real close. Jesus. Because yeah. I, that's, oh, that's another thing. Oh, we getting here after. Uh, yeah, I'm gonna say this to be out. I gotta get back on the highway. Yeah. That's another. That's another thing I don't like. Right? Look, it's not black people, right? It's not niggas. It's niggas in your world. It's niggas you got dealings with. Right, niggas are the ones that yeah, put your channel. Niggas, niggas are the ones that put your channel on top. Niggas are the one that hit your cash app. No, it's niggas, not. No, it's not. Niggas no, it's are not. The, okay. No, it's well, not. whoever. It's, it's black, black men. It's black men. It's black, black women men. who put but my channel on top. You don't separate the two. No, I do. I always separate the two, brother. I say, look, I say I'm making a clear distinction between black men and women and nigger men and women. I always said that. All the yeah, time. but niggas don't. My people that know what I'm shit, talking bro. about. Like, but listen, it, it don't come I, across I like that. Listen, I get what he's saying because listen, you you can differentiate just like me. I can say right now, 
Listen, you dirtbag ass, dusty, nothing ass niggas, don't watch my channel. Fuck you niggas. Don't watch my channel. I can say that all I want, but guess what? When it's the drama, when it's the beef, niggas is tuning in. I can say that all I want, mm -hmm. but, but it's the niggas that's tuning in. So when you go onto your dumpster channel, guess who's coming over there? The, 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 <laughs> the, the, the niggas that's for the beef shit. I said this shit the other day. I said, I love this fucking beef shit. I love doing it. I, let, I, let, let me just say it. something to that real quick, Queen Throne, because that's that, I, it's a perfect segue. <clears throat> as far as that dumpster is concerned. Right. Sarnetta is the dumpster. Let's be clear. Let me say that again. Sarnetta is the dumpster. And the people that go over there and dive in, they're the trash. They're the garbage. Those are the people that support him. That's why he was so quick to name it the dumpster. He knows what he is. And he, like, he like he just told you, I know what I'm doing. He right. knows that there's a trash mentality of people that follow him and that's that's what he's good for that's all he's good at if you look at his whole career everybody <clears throat> excuse me that he's had in his circumference has went down horribly in fact uncle Shill got something coming up he already did a premiere i watched it that's going to highlight that it's going to highlight everybody that he's coming to contact with has had some type of criminal fallout, and he's the one standing clear. Y'all put it together. That's a fact. So Shout out to Shug. Shout out to everybody in the chat. Y'all make sure y'all hit that like button so this can get out to more people. I appreciate y'all. Today we listening to um Cube uh live over there on outside the Cube. Sonetta hit hit the panel. Um, Sonetta then ran from Ben when Ben was trying to get on the panel because Cube didn't drop the link. He thought he did, he said. But anyway, um, and then Sonetta came back up there after Ben got done. So just to give you a rundown of what we're looking at today, obviously you see that, you know, Sonetta ran from Ben Diesel. So we're going to talk about it. But shout out to Uncle Shug as well in the chat. Let's get back into it. Love doing this shit. So, Sai. Si what he's saying is he's right because there's, bro, how do you think you got like a thousand motherfuckers that's coming over there listening to that shit, the wild shit? Yeah, because you say it's the, you say it's, the, it's not the white man, it's the black man. It's not, that's, that's black and <laughs> no, white. No, no, no here it is. But check this out. Here it goes. The people know I'm not talking. If you ain't, they know if I'm talking to them or not. I always make it. Look, look, they say, Malcolm said, if you take a rock, and throw it in the crowd of dogs. The only one that bark is the one that got that's hit. Not it. That's not it, homie. That's it sounds like it. you barking, top player. Uh, I no, hope you're not barking, brother, because no, I'm not talking no. to you. I'm not talking to you personally. But see, y'all the one you. taking it. Like I'm talking let, to you. I'm not talking right, let me to say you. This. Let me say this. When I came into your channel, when I came yeah. into, when I came into that knowledge, when I came into all that good shit that was going on, it wasn't none of that talk. It wasn't none of that. It's not the white man. It's the black man. That's that's what's disappointing about it. When I found this community. It used to be, it was never no fucking, it's not the white, you know, it was the white man. Now it was like, it's not the white man, it's the black man. That, no, it's not about me getting hit by a rock. I'm good. I don't give, I really don't give a fuck at the end of the day. I'm just saying, the shit that I came for, now it's like, oh, the white man is good, the black man is bad. No, it's just niggas that you have gotten into altercations with. You understand? Uh, Angelica, I didn't know that. No, no, no. It's niggas that got into altercations with me. Well, a little bit, a little bit of both. Watch this, watch this. When I was on YouTube, all I was bringing to the people was knowledge and information. They the ones that begin to hate and start a lot of shit. Like, like the people that you see going at me, I never went at them. Listen, uh, hey, 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 I gotta hit the highway. Salute, please, peace to everybody, man. Peace, peace. No, I was just gonna say, Q, what I was gonna tell you is just, it's no problem personally with me with people going on a show in, it, in and of itself, okay? Like the brother uh, that just left, he was saying that when people do go on there, what they you're dealing with people, like he mentioned Enki, you're dealing with people that had all these issues with Sonetta as far as they had made books on him, they've attacked him, they've said, you know, he already knew, uh, they had all these issues with him, but when they go on there, they feel like they, they can't go on a show without switching up. They have to switch up their stance to go on the show. They feel they gotta switch it up, they gotta put on ballerina shoes and a tutu, and dance a jig to go on his show and not be true to what they really think. That's my issue with that. It's not just going, anybody can go on anybody's show they want to go on. But my issue, my issue was just, yeah, I was just saying that, you know, you going on there is not so much of a promise, it's being true to what your stance is. And a lot of people threw people under the bus 
uh, attack people uh, mm -hmm. after after they change their mind about it just so they can be on the show. That's mm -hmm. the problem. A lot of people had a problem with Sonetta, and I'm just going to say it, because they felt like he already knew Polite was a chomo, and Sai attacked a lot of people who believed that, and including Suge, saying he's a child molester and molested his son and different things like that. That's just plain wrong. And my thing is, if people yeah, want to say that, it's not. Now, Suge, you already have the link, so if you want to, you can come up. But um, I showed where we already talked about that in this edit. Say that one more time. What you mean when you said Shug? Say that you, one. Yeah, one of the things you said about Shug, I remember, is that you said he was a, a chomo. Uh-huh. You attacked, yeah, that was one of the things you attacked him yeah, with. Right but here. most of the things that Shug and a lot of people say about you is that you stop simply right already minute, knew. Bro. All they're saying is that you knew already. Stop right there for a minute, bro. Everybody always say what Sarnetta said to them. But you never say what they said to me, bro. Don't you know this motherfucking rat bastard was putting my daughter up? He was playing with my daughter. My sister passed away last year. Did you did you see the nigga put my my sister that passed away up on his channel? And what did you do to him first, Sonetta? He responded to you. He didn't jump out the window and do all that with no regard. I had her mouth moving with some type of app that he got. See, that's why I can't stand niggas, Q, when niggas is on that dick sucking shit with another nigga. See, this, is what I be, this is what I be talking Man, about. You, this is what I be talking finish. about. Let me finish, though. Not, listen, niggas always talk about what I say, but they never tell apart what the nigga do to the nigga. What made me say that? What made me go in on this nigga? How come you ain't say, yo, Suge, that's fucked up. Suge had two baby mamas that was 14 when he was 19. You know that's against the fucking law, but nobody's saying that. You want to you wanna get at me for saying this nigga's a fucking pedo. Fuck do you want to know why? Do you want to know why? Tell me why. Tell me why. Because of the reason Suge did it. The reason Suge did that is because he's exposing the fact that we all know that you already knew Polite was a chomo before the charges. Prove that I knew it. Prove but, but, that I knew it. But, but hold on, though. And you, you keep pretending like we don't right know. Now. Hold on. It's not prove even nothing. Prove to me right now. Prove to me right now that I knew that he was a chomo. Because I've never seen him with no fucking little girls. Say, say never Carl. seen him. Say, say Carl, I'm going to be honest with you, bro. And niggas can get mad at me all the fuck they want, bro. But the truth of the matter is, like I said before I let anybody on, this nigga should. That's a fact, Incognito, but you mad at um, Suge but Nepal here talking about your dead sister. That's a fact. Would have been okay with Sadnetta if Sadnetta had just fucking apologized to the nigga. That's a fact. Like, just, just like salute Mac mean. Uh, the, the nigga Tommy Sotomayor did. None of this shit would be coming out. This nigga shit would be totally fucking okay with it. So I get what you're saying, and I do tend to agree with you on, on certain parts. But the truth of the matter is, this nigga right now, right this very fucking second, because you know he like to play the video. Hey, yo, Sonetta, you ready to apologize? If the nigga Sonetta apologized to that nigga right there and fucking then, none of this shit would be nothing. This nigga would leave it all alone. And he did this shit with fucking uh, the nigga Tommy Sotomayor. This nigga was banging on Tommy Sotomayor, but left Tommy Sotomayor alone because the nigga Tommy Sotomayor apologized. So um, Mac Mean said, what's up, Ben? You want to Shout out, Mac Mean. Salam alaikum. That's my brother. Mac Mean's in the chat. Ah, uh, yeah, yeah, yeah. If you're going to get spooky tonight with him, yeah, for sure. Yeah. So it has it doesn't have anything to do with truth, bro. On some real shit, I fuck with you and I hear what you're saying, but it doesn't have anything to do with truth when it's coming to this dude. This dude, he wants to emasculate another fucking man. That's all the fuck it is, bro. He wants to emasculate this nigga and say, "Oh, apologize to me, nigga." So when, so if the nigga was to apologize, he would be done with this nigga side nutter. And any one of you niggas that that would go in on that would go in on side nutter at that time, he would say, "Come on, don't go in on him. He's cool. He's cool." The same way he do with Tommy Sotomayor. Tommy Sotomayor, same so, shit, bro. And so I'm, I'm, I'm trying, trying to figure hold it right there. So he's saying, is he trying to say, and show you know, if you if you in there, correct me if I'm wrong. He's trying to say you would just accept it, accepted an apology from Sonetta and left it alone. And he's calling that emasculation because you were willing to say, yo, just apologize for what you said to me and I'm never fucking with you again. That's not emasculation, man. That's trying to settle something like a man. Right. In one breath, Cube is saying, let's handle this like men when it came to you and saw so remember he was trying to arrange, which is going to, um, we'll, that will come up soon. He's going to try to arrange a sit down with y'all where you guys can talk respectfully or whatever. Sonnet already said no. So in that aspect, he's saying, you know, that that's respectful, but what Suge did isn't. 
and then jump into conclusions. You don't know this is a whole different person who did different things to Shug. So it's not like he can just throw it out there that, you know, that's for sure what would happen. You know what I'm saying? Yeah. In my opinion. You ready? Let it play. I'm not trying to defend right. Tommy Sotomayor, but I'm just keeping it a fucking buck. But check this out with Bishop. Bishop. Yeah. Listen, brother. Listen, brother. All you are is a parent. You are listening to nah, what don't other say people that, say. That's All right, I'm going to take that back. I'll that's take that back. Bro. All right, I'm going to take that back. All right, I'm going to take that back. All you doing, brother, is listening to what people say. Show me your receipts. Prove that I knew Polite was a pedophile. When I called that nigga Dr. York, we was beefing, we was arguing. And when you get into an argument, you know you say a lot of shit that hurts each other. He was saying shit that hurt me. I said something that hurt him. Whenever I seen polite, he was always We got we gotta stop women. it right there, Queen Small, because that that you didn't just say anything to hurt him. You called Tasha Nate Bond's family. You called her sister and asked where she was at. You said, Don't make me play the videotape. I got proof. You don't believe me? These are not and just how, made up words. And how he was speaking in there, you can't make up, you know, that type of, you could tell in his voice that he was meaning what he was saying. It wasn't just no, cause he mad and shit. And if we got to point that type of things out with different scenarios and shit, cause when he come up here and he say things about even Suge at times, Leo and shit like that, or myself, you could tell that he's capping. You know what I'm saying? He had too much emotion for it to be fake. This nigga's not no fucking actor. Right, right. You know what and I'm saying? And then everything that he said came out to be basically true. That because, um, right. Polite, polite was went a down. Mm -hmm, mm -hmm. Polite went down for sexual assault of a minor. Of the same age bracket as well. The same age bracket. You know, we don't know when he officially started having sex with Renentech, you know, but... We know that with the victim, we know what her age was. So in my opinion, it was definitely at that hebosexual, ephebophile, I mean the hebosexual. The, the hebophile. Hebophile and ephebophile age mm -hmm. brackets, remember? Mm -hmm. Pedophilia, a pedophile is somebody that's attracted to children from zero to 10. A hebophile is somebody that's attracted to children from 11 to 14. And an ephebophile is somebody that's attracted to children from 15 to 19, the DSM-5 says. You know what I'm saying? Which is right. a book that they go off of as far as mental health. Mm -hmm. So I'm just saying. Um, and Sonetta was well aware of that. You could just see that he was speaking the truth. It's just that he had got pissed off enough that that came out. Right. You know. We let it rip. Never seen him by himself with a goddamn girl Let me or baby. Uh -uh, so I would say shit to bang on him. Let me so that's you. all it is. So I never <laughs> seen a nigga Angelica with no children. Let me ask that, you this. I'm glad you said that. So let me ask I got you this. a daughter, bro. Let, let me ask you this question. I'm glad you said that. Because this has always been my contention, bro. When this nigga should be playing these videos, he you know. You may say he chop up your shit, but the truth of the matter is that nigga be playing with the fuck you be saying. So my question is this. I understand what you're saying. Oh, he chopped up my video. Da, da, da. But there was some shit that you did say, bro. All right, but watch this, Q. You how the fuck better. did... How, why, why and I was you, around back then, too. You're not talking to somebody that wasn't around. Q, no, no, listen, 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 yeah, listen. Yeah, let me, yeah, let me, listen, let me ask. No, no, because see, we, we don't want to play this shit. We, we want to ask the questions so he can get it the fuck out. Because my question is, and it's straightforward. Why in the fuck would you call this nigga baby Dr. York and all this other shit if you didn't mean it? Like, did you did you see the nigga do something, bro? Because now that shit I just I just broke that whole thing down. I, I just said that, bro. I, bro, I heard, bro, I heard you, bro. I heard yeah. you, but but now I'm asking you something on on a deeper level. Yeah. Because what you're doing is you said I was mad at the nigga. You know when I'm mad at my girl, I'll tell her her feet look ugly because that's what I really fucking mean. But right, come on, ask me the question. Right, but, but but what I'm asking you is, if you if you're saying, oh man, I ain't know that this nigga was, was really doing this. What I'm asking you is, why in the fuck would you say something that you didn't mean and you didn't even have any idea of? Like, how how is that possible? How can you lie on a nigga that could just make up some? How can you make up some shit like that, bro? All right, now let me answer you. People do it all the time, Q. All on YouTube. That's all these niggas do. That's so lame. That's so lame. Listen, that is so lame, given the seriousness of this situation, that we're dealing with the welfare and the security of children. And 
your excuse is that people do it all the time, but you make these type of incriminating statements that turn out to be true some years later. And what you knew about, and in 2024, your your excuse as a 60 year old man is that people do it all the time. That's lame. That's a fact. And that's correct too, Victor. Okay. That's a fact. You ready? Let it go. Me and Polite is going in. We banging on each other. He's saying hurtful things. I forgot what he said to me about me or was going in on me and saying all kind of shit. So I'm going back on him and I'm banging on him. You see, that's all it is. I've never seen this man touch no child. Never. Okay, let me ask you this never. question. Let me ask you this okay. question. Okay. You man, I got a that. question. Oh, 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 last one. I'm going to let you go. So you said you never seen a nigga touch a child. Have you ever seen this nigga with a child that was underage like the girl that you mentioned in your fucking video? Yeah. Have, have you ever seen him with an underage girl in his like like you said in that video? Um, uh, like I said in my video. Cause remember you was talking about uh, uh what's the girl name? Come on, man, y'all y'all know. It. Somebody put it in. Renette. Renette. So you mean to tell me you never seen him with? Wasn't she underage when she was fucking with that nigga? I've I've seen polite with Renette, but well, I also hold on, freeze, seen, freeze, yeah, hold on, yeah. freeze. Was she underage when she was fucking with that nigga? When you say fucking with him, what are you talking about? I'm going to stop it right there because Uncle Shug also did a live the other day where he pointed out the brown van. If you don't know, Sonetta spoke on the brown van, but he called it a, a truck. He tried to minimize it or change, you know what I'm saying, the whole shit about it. But he ended up calling it a Ford Windstar, which Shug had pointed out in the lot, in some lives and even pictures um, that Sonetta did have that brown van. Now, there was some accusations that came out about sexual activities and other things concerning the brown van. And that's why you may see like in my videos or even Shug's a conversion van in the past, I'm going to redo mine and find the same van and put the logo there. Because I believe that, you know, that van that was on 125th with Sonetta, maybe he brought, you know, his crap that he was selling, um, you know, to, you know, one, two, fifth in the van or whatever, right? No disrespect to the creators, but I call it crap because Sonetta definitely bootlegged, you know, that whole shit. Do you have anything to say, Ben, to that? Yeah, that, that first off, yeah, some of, a lot of it was crap. Outside of the master teachers, the grand master teachers, the Dr. Ben's, the Dr. Clark's, the Van Sertimas, the Shake on the Diops and those videos, a lot of that pseudo neo, and not, I'm talking neo when I say neo, I'm talking about new, that neo uh, uh, consciousness stuff. All of that stuff was crap. That was that's that's what gave birth to the Michael Nowaks. I can just come out here and start regurgitating anything and put a spin on it. You put it on camera, and now you're selling it. It was crap, right? And the brown van was very true. The brown van is where he would get, uh, how can I put it, low self esteem women to come into that van and pull sex acts straight up and down, put a curtain up around the window, climb into the back of the van, climb out the back of the van. Mm -hmm. Official scumbag, y'all. I'm telling y'all eyewitness accounts. The brown van story is very true. The brown van has a lot to do with why the Black Panther Party dismantled, so the new Black Panther Party dismantled in the way it did. Because you took advantage of some of those women that was part of the Black Panther Party that were down on their luck, looking for economic uh, up upcomings and whatnot, couldn't get it. And like I said, we were out there making money. Frankie was making some money, ripping the people off with that crap he was selling. So women would come by and, hey, listen, I need some money. And guess what this scumbag would do in that brown van? Take them to the back of the brown van. Nothing That's made up. disgusting. Nothing made up. That's the type so of you're low aware of the brown van. That's totally scene. aware of the brown van. Now, now it's like some people would say, well, you can't say for sure what went on back there because you didn't see nothing. Come on, man. Let's stop playing with it. You I know, mean, nobody we just gets in a van, puts curtains up, comes out. And I'm pretty sure you could see the van rocking and moving a little bit. You know what I'm saying? Look, <laughs> I'm just look. saying. 
You could tell when somebody having sex in a car, period. Yeah, the brown van, the brown van stories are definitely true. There's no allegation, there's no storytelling. They're definitely true. This dude is filthy, man. And he's playing, he's masquerading as this conscious leader. And like I said, the low lives, and I'm gonna call them low lives because y'all follow them, y'all give them all of this support and all of this energy to keep it going. If you're unsubscribed to that shit, he'd be off the internet. That's the bottom yeah. line. That's the bottom and- line. And his behavior is very, is given Sa Diddy. It definitely is. It definitely is. You know, when he said that, um, you know, he got a recording and all this and that, but he's not going to play it, even with the Nicki Chanel thing. Another instance, right? So it's just like, bro, this nigga is, this nigga is pure trash. I'm glad that we spoke about that, Brown Van. I'm glad that the, this topic came up. You ready? Let it go. Was she underage when she was around the nigga? Yes, but when I seen her when she was around him, she was around him with their wives. So you and never saw, so so what you're saying is you never seen him, even though he was around her at a young age, you never seen them do anything crazy, but you saw him around okay, so on the girl. All right, let me let me let me get something straight for y'all so y'all can understand. And then hopefully y'all would understand. No, Drop. what you're saying is no, no, you, let me get this, let me get it out, let me get it out uh, so you can understand. The only time Polite would be around me is when he would come into New York and I would film him and he would go his way and I go my way, brother. We never hung out. I never went to his house. He never, he been to my house because we did an interview. Okay. But they will always be with a family. Right. That was it. So, yeah. so this so this is what I'm asking at this point. So during that time when you would chill with him, when he would come through the NY and go out and do his own shit, you saw him with that young ass girl, right or wrong? With his wives around him, but never never by themselves. No, 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 no. I'm not asking that. I'm okay. asking, did you see him with the young girl, even if it was with his wife? Yeah, they was all together, yes. They, okay. The whole family was together and including his daughter. See, so his see. daughter was there too, the little my aunt. And listen, they was there, bro. And listen, I mean, I don't know what you're trying to want me to say. I'm no. telling you the truth. I don't know what you want me to say. I've never seen them isolated by themselves in a the room, never. Niggas is finna look at it like, oh, he's not saying that he never seen them isolated. Duh, that's what you're saying. No, I'm not, that's not what I'm saying. I never no, said that. Bro, that's exactly. You said you've never seen them isolated. I'm saying, right. You, you've never seen them isolated. You wouldn't own a, on a type of time. Is it not what you're saying? Yes, that's exactly what I'm saying. I'm agreeing with that. Like, yeah. Oh, you okay. Never, I thought yeah, you were, yeah, exactly. Yeah. Like, you, you've never seen them isolated by themselves, polite in a young girl or Renita. you never seen them right. by themselves. Mm-hmm. So when, when you say shit like that, it sounds like you're evading the question. So then niggas would be like, yo, Cube, you should have asked this. Cube, you should have asked that. Why All right, this, so what this? is the question? Let me hear the question then. Okay, okay. So, so so here's the question. When, when you seen them isolated, well, excuse me, not isolated, my bad. When, when you seen him with that girl and you you knew at the time she was underage, right or wrong? Yes. Yeah, everybody, yeah, uh-huh. Okay, so 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 you was about to say everybody knew she was underage. No, no, I was going to say all of her um sisters and brothers were underage. They were all young, all of them. Right. The whole family. So, 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 so when you saw her with Polite, when she was underage, what did you do? What did you say to say, damn, Polite? Because listen, let me tell you, let me just tell you something. I'm, I'm going to do me. If I see this shit going on, I'm going to be like. See what's hey, going on? I'm about to tell you. If yeah. I see, if I see Shorty and she like 16 and I see my nigga and he like 33 or whatever the fuck, I'm like, bro, what the fuck is you doing? And I don't get what you're saying. See them doing what? See them I being, see. see them being together. What the fuck does it No, mean? they was not together. Q, what did you, she was like Why did you refer to, to her him. as his you wife know, years later, Simon? I seen him, she was like a daughter to him. She was like his daughter, hanging out with his daughter. So, so what you then why did you call her his wife? Later. I don't know. I don't know. I don't know. I, I don't know. So you mean to tell me that he didn't see any of the other videos with polite <laughs> um snubbed up to Renente? Like for real. For real. They Yo, met, you gotta they laugh best to friends keep back crying. in the day. Right. Oh shit. This nigga is a liar. Ready? Let it go. So I don't so, know about other calls his life. I don't so, know. See Cube, this is what it is, Cube. Okay. If you look at the the infamous baby Dr. York rant that we all are referring to, right? He already told us really why he can't reveal that he knows because of his babies. He said, I can't let it out right now because it'll hurt his kid. He don't want, see, that's why he's mad at Shaka. 
because he don't want. See, I get it. I get it. So I get it. So you try to protect. I get it, nigga. It's nothing that I can say to you, nigga. You turn Shaka. Understand? My my daughters are seeing this. You don't want you don't want them to know that you know. What's up? Have your mindset, nigga. You already gonna have your fucking mindset. You can deflect all you want, but we know what it is. Come on now. Cut the camera on, man. Talk like. So no, I'm not gonna cut a camera on. I can oh, see. I got all the. I got the same receipt, sure, guys. So it don't make no difference either way to me. You and Sylvia keep sucking each other dick. Who give a fuck about you and Sylvia? See, you fuck you with each other like Sylvia. So see, jealous. And and, and and not just that. Not just him being jealous of show because that's that's definitely a fact. But the difference between Sonetta and Polite is Sonetta never got caught. That's the difference. Whole different era, technology, if them tapes and stuff wasn't in that hotel, chances are Polite could have gotten away with it. You know what I mean? Just a whole different era. But like Polite, there's so much like Sonnet is a mentally disordered sex offender. And why I say that is because anytime a man constantly refers to another man sucking uh, somebody else's penis, that's mentally disordered. You know what I mean? That's a mental disorder. He's he's suffering from some type of mental health, and this is a cry for help. I mean, and you he really always move. takes it to sex. He done sex played me, Neo, Nandy. He gonna say something about Noble in here. Michi um, X. And, and, yup, Michi X. Any woman that he really can. This nigga is sick. He just is a sexual deviant. Also, Yo, Sarnetta, like you need to get off the internet. You need to take a, a, a hiatus off this internet, a long one. Turn that channel over to one of them brothers that's really true about. Now, give it to Jabari or something. Let Jabari run the channel. You just need to be absent from the scene forever, man. Go into retirement, man. You're 60. You should be retired somewhere. You're 60. You should be somewhere off in the sunset playing with your kids. With some pension checks or something coming in. But guess what? You I'm don't have with his kids because his kids is grown. So yeah, I mean you can still play something. with them, I guess, or something. Yeah, but like what the hell is really going on? Because this is not it. You, you have you're suffering from mental illness at its finest. And we're 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 watching it right before our very eyes. Let it play. The fact. That fucking 18 year old girls. That's how you I knew you a fake nigga. You see, you here's a nigga that said out of his own fucking mouth. That his baby mothers was four years older than him. But you can always say me and Shug. Nigga, you ain't seen none of that on my record. With me being a, a molester or pedophile, bitch. It so, ain't on Shug record either because remember you had doxed him and brought up his seatbelt tickets and all this <laughs> other dumbass shit that had nothing to do with it. That's another reason why you took that video down, nigga. You was a fake nigga. Oh, to me, okay. you, he don't want, he don't want his family himself. to know. That's why. That's all you it is. He said himself. it in the rant. I can't let it out because you just a hating nigga. It's nothing that I could say See, that's gonna make you. You don't even have to deflect. You don't even have to deflect like that. So I didn't even that say. Q, Q, this is a no win. I'm gonna say peace to you, brother. I ain't going nowhere with it. This, this Why are you mad? Why are you mad? Why you mad? Why you mad? You said you act like a bitch to me. That's why I'm mad. You said it. I didn't say it. You said it. You just a whole ass nigga. All you niggas gotta do is have a conversation. Yeah, but nah, nah. It don't matter. We had the conversation. Yo, his mind is already set. This yeah, so right why do you even come on oh, these platforms? On, listen, these dudes are haters. Hey, who's saying? Let me see who's saying that. I'm not yeah, reading yeah. the chat. I ain't even looking in the chat, bro. This, this is what I'm doing, bro. I'm giving you an opportunity to say, well, let me take that back. I'm not giving you the opportunity because you can say whatever the fuck you want to say on your platform and reach thousands yeah. of niggas. But what I am saying is this, bro. This nigga polite is funny. I felt the way I felt about it. But ain't no nigga finna make me feel some type of way that hate you in perpetuity, bro. I said what the fuck I said. I, I done what I done, bro. I made the videos. I made I, I made the videos. I said what I said, bro. And if niggas feel that way, niggas gonna have to feel that way, bro. Yeah. So so that's kind of where I'm at with it. And I don't want niggas to think like, oh, Cube taking it soft on him. He ain't asking the hard questions. You are taking it soft right now. Bro, how, fuck, how am I not asking the hard questions and asking this nigga, bro? See, and this is what I didn't want. Because you know he knew. But how, but that's why. Prove that hold I know. Hold on, hold on. So I'm not asking this nigga the hard questions, bro. You don't have to ask him nothing. You, your stance is just like mine. You don't have to ask shit. All right, so now watch this. Hold on, hold on, hold on, hold on, Q. Hold on. So what hold you on, want Q. me to do? You don't want me to talk to the nigga? You want me to? Bro, no, you, you cool, Q. All, all I'm saying is. You agree with me. You agree that he already knew, so and you're kind of debating that right now. See about not asking the fucking hard questions, bro. Like that's what I'm asking, and this is what I didn't want niggas to do. And I knew niggas was finna do this. I'm not doing. I'm asking him the hard questions. I'm asking him how to. But fuck check this out, Q. 
It don't matter what question you ask me. If I'm not giving them the answer these hoe ass bitch niggas want, these thong ass niggas, niggas sick, I'm, saying that. Ass. I'm no, saying that. I'm no, saying that. I'm saying that. These thong ass niggas is not going to accept. They're going to want to hear what they want to hear. Fuck these bitch motherfuckers. Stop That's it right there, up, dude. Bro. Don't stop so it right there. Because, you know, Sarnetta got me by 14, 15 years. But ever wise, you know, we still from that same era where as kids, there was fights. This nigga ain't never beat nobody up in the hood. He ain't never had no fights nowhere. He ain't never bust no gun nowhere. He ain't never stabbed nobody. He been to jail for drug possession. But he talks the toughest. He is truly an internet thug. Truly. Because I've never seen Sarnetta get busy anywhere. And when it came down to him getting busy, he got his ass whipped. But I'm going on the top. I'm going on a tangent. Let it rock. The niggas try to go at me. I got to come back at these whole ass niggas. That's this, why the faggot hide in his face. And this he is don't want even want to get up in here and show his chicken. fucking pussy ass face. To me, for one, that bitch been sucking Garfield dick on, for a long man. time. Come on, come on. That Listen. bitch, because Garfield told me. So Garfield told me when we were cool. Man, that bitch, Tamika Warren, been Garfield, sucking Garfield man. dick. She suck every fucking body dick on there. This ain't got nothing to do with that. That's, that's why everybody think you. We got Shug up here. Shout out to Shug. What's good, Shug? Hey, Queen. Peace, Shug. <laughs> man, what up, bro? Everything real in the field. <laughs> Salute to the people. <laughs> <laughs> What's hey, good? Hey, this shit, I'm cracking up, man. This dude is going crazy. That's a fact. You ready to get some commentary with us? Yeah, I want to say something about the one part, uh, what he said about seeing polite with the girl. See how he want to ask all these questions. He's so mysterious. He like, you know, he sees something wrong. But when Ben was talking about the girl coming outside room, he act like ain't nothing going on. How do you know what's going on? He needs more. I mean, what the fuck do you think is going on in that room? So I never denied the girl being in the room. Hello, so uh, you, what, what's up with that, man? How, how 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 come, you know, how come you need, how come you can't do the math on that? And how about you tell us what you think they were doing in the room? How about asking Sonetta, what was the girl doing in the room? Because you keep asking Ben what the fuck you think, and how do he know? Like, how do anybody know somebody fucking unless the two people admit it? Who's watching? Yeah, and then they, they expect, like, Ben to come out with, like, pictures through the window of them having sex. Like, are, like, are they serious? We're working with what we got. And they we've should. already proved that we're not just throwing shit at him. There's something here. And, mm -hmm. you know, and you can also see that based off of his shit. So it's deflection. Well, look, I'm um, happy still brought that up because, look, you know what? I was trying to be respectful about it all this time, Queen's Throne. But tonight, the gloves is off, off with this devil's head. And let me let me state something. I'm going to still be respectful about it. How do I know what was going on in that room? Because when I was dating his niece and we became boyfriend and girlfriend and we got intimate, we got intimate in that room. All that was in that room when he was in jail. Remember, he was in jail when I was dating his niece. He came home afterwards. All that was in that room was a bed and a TV. That's it. Big empty room with a bed and a TV. When the girl came running out the room, she had her look like her undergarments and a couple other things wrapped up in her hand, and she ran out the room. He said, hurry up, hurry up, go. And that's when I mean, saw is he going to come back and say they was watching the Nickelodeon BET together? Like, I'm just confused. There it wasn't no, yeah, it wasn't no, the TV in that room was for VHS. He had right. a, I was just being funny and shit. Yeah. Well, watching yeah. ET, what the fuck? Like, yeah. what was they doing? You know what I mean? And when he had said, you know, when you had said, you know, we're just putting two and two together, Cube acted like that was just so crazy. As, you know what I mean? Mm -hmm. That was it's weird too. To you know what I'm saying? Right. What was a 17 year old girl doing with a 32 year old man? Why was a 17-year-old girl coming out of a 32-year-old man's bedroom? And if the TV the TV only had VHSs, then was he popping in porn to enjoy to get her in the mood? Because mm -hmm. the predators do do that, mm -hmm. right? You know what I'm saying? I'm just saying it could be a coincidence, but it could also be that. We have to you know place that on the table and 
you know. Mm-hmm. Now, now, and, and just and you know, just to add some more information to it, and and based on what Cube was saying, when I was trying to kick it with Nikki Chanel, of course I was trying to get some. I was spitting game, so when she would tell me, "It's not you could do for me, little boy. I got a grown man boyfriend," she was talking sexually. wasn't about the financial. I used to talk, you know, spit my game without going into detail. And she when, she when looked, I, yeah. I, I, you, you just flat out say she told me it was Sarnetta. I mean, like what the right. <laughs> right. <laughs> Damn. That's a fact. That's a fact. All right, y'all ready to get into this? Let it rock. Yeah. All right, let's go. Get listen, guilty listen, right here. Who the fuck who think it? Listen, listen, I'm listen, fuck who listen, 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 hold on, hold on, check this I out. I know. Yo, check this out. Hey, Sankara, you got the nigga right here, bro, and you can just ask the nigga questions. Why ask go me into, anything. Hold on, hold on, sir. Why go into the nigga shit? Just ask. If you feel like oh, you can catch him up, up on some please. shit. The nigga is Sanetta calling the guy Sankara a thousand bitches and punk niggas and all that. Like, Sa is doing all the name calling. He asked, and, and I remember the goofy Q. Ask Ben if if we have a talk, would you agree not to call him that? Ben don't talk like that. Sonetta the one who always calling people bitch ass nigga. Your mother's a bitch. Your mother pussy. Right. It's him doing all the nigga shit. Go ahead. That's a fact. You got the nigga right here. He ain't running. He right here, bro. See, this is what bothers me about niggas. Because I'm I'm asking the hard questions. And I'm not being disrespectful, going crazy about it. You got the nigga right the fuck here. If you feel this way, this way about it, ask this nigga this shit. This nigga ain't finna sit back and listen to Sugar or nobody else. He right fucking here. Ask okay, him okay. I'll ask him. I'll ask him. I'll ask him then. Okay. I'll ask him what I want to ask him. But hold on. But let me say this, though. Sa, you was wrong for calling that nigga a bitch ass nigga because he ain't a bitch ass nigga. I know you said it. I know you was feeling it. Uh, Sankara, you was wrong for saying what you said, bro. Let's kill all that shit. If niggas want to ask Sa the questions, he's right fucking here, bro. Ask the That's that kumbaya shit. Oh, and again, yeah. I'm going to point out that he didn't even drop the link. Now, uh, uh, bro, my feelings kind of are iffy on that because I definitely feel like he's seasoned enough to know whether he dropped the link or not. But he gonna go on to be like, I don't want to hear from none of y'all bitch ass niggas and all this motherfucking dumb ass shit. You know what I mean? Like somebody running from Sarnetta. Y'all ready? And he, and he did not drop that link. Period. He did not drop it. You know, everybody knows that if you start off a live, you drop the link and people start coming in there and commenting that that whole portion where the link is goes up and you can't get back into there if you click back into the live or whatever you know what i'm saying so that i just feel like he's seasoned enough to have known that and conveniently sonetta you know ran away period y'all ready let it rock nigga bro and we can deal with it right the fuck here right now if i was going to ask you anything so it would be why won't you simply admit that you knew that's all. So if I tell you I knew, you'll be happy with that, huh? That ain't the and question. If I, but if I tell you I didn't know, you're gonna you're gonna still say CQ, that's why I didn't want to ask him a question because he ain't gonna answer. Nigga, <laughs> you just told me to fucking say I knew, bitch. I didn't fucking know. Yo, you stupid motherfucker. You, I'm you telling know, you I didn't know. I knew you was gonna just jump down the man's fucking throat. That should be funny though. <laughs> son, it don't be funny, but it just be crazy because he go from zero to a motherfucking hundred. And be and talking about always, <laughs> talk about who's <laughs> he be talking about his blood pressure. Yeah, exactly. <laughs> oh shit. This shit is sad. Y'all ready? Let it go. So you keep telling me to say I knew Q. How the fuck he gonna tell me to say I knew? Man, a bitch. He just asked you a question. He, he, just answer the question. All right. No, I didn't know. Now, what's the next question? Watch this, Q. Yeah, what's the next the question? Not Sa Epstein and the Paul Maxwell. I'm dead. I don't have any more questions. <laughs> the Paul Maxwell. All right. Now, Q, this is the thing. The reason why I say what I say is simply <laughs> this, okay? During the rant, one of the things he said, because he's saying now that he was so just upset. I know you want to cut me off. Yeah. I know you want to cut me off. name so I can look up your file and see who the fuck I know you want to cut me off. See, you want to you wanna find my... Oh, Bill, hold on. I had to say this. Bell said, laughing my motherfucking ass off. 
Start cussing people out while swinging his feet. <laughs> on the well, you know his feet don't touch the ground. <laughs> the hell, he ain't got one of them fancy desks like oh, Uncle Shug got. So up and down and all oh, that. Oh, my God. He's just swinging, swinging on that little office real. there. <laughs> Dox me and all this bullshit. Yeah, let me see. All, all, all because all because I believe he knew. It's not even that serious. It's not even that serious. Hey, Q, there's a lot of motherfucking pedophiles on this motherfucking shit. That's now why they I didn't say you was. I didn't say you was. Now he's ready to admit that there's hella pedophiles in the community, but they all come from his channel, and he just doesn't even notice that. Woo! Like, you cannot make this shit up. This <laughs> shit's crazy. There's hella pedophiles out here. We're trying to point them out, and you're jumping down our throat every time we do. I'm saying there's a lot of motherfuckers that's pedophiles on this YouTube shit, and that's why they hide their fucking name. Everybody know my name. Niggas uh, dox think, me. Nah, niggas. 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 Oh, you doxed yourself, sir. Your shit is on the internet. If you look up Sonetta Studios, you're going to see Frank Gary right there where you... Put your information out there, nigga. But you always dox people first. That's Let's make implications, yeah. You're too old for that. But go ahead with your question, bro. And if that nigga want to answer it, he'll answer it. I'm just saying, like, what the fuck? I'll is answer it? any question you want. I mean, I'm not, I'm not. Yeah, I was here. Really, really, I was here talking to Cube. I wasn't here to interview you. I was here to. You don't want to talk to me. You want to go be a believer in everybody. Well, after what you just, after what you just said, what's the really to talk, talk about so all i was going to say cube is what the reason i was just going to back up the reason why i said what i said right so i brought up the rant i brought up the dr york baby dr york rant now one of the things that he said was that when he talked about renette he said renette left her mother to go be with polite right so that's right the, i said ask, that. The, ask the nigga bro like this is what i want to say how niggas no i'm telling you what he said i don't need to ask him because i saw what he said already so all I was saying with that you was right here you want to talk past the nigga instead of talking to the nigga right He's talk right to here. me boy Ask the nigga. Listen. Okay, what, last time I talked to him, you saw what just happened, right? Exactly Listen, saying, Cara, I'm I'm gonna say, so I'm not I'm not I'm not about to get bro, attacked Cara. again or say whatever. Cara. So I'm not about to you know I'm not no, gonna be disrespected too many times. Well you you implied that I'm a chomo. So I'm not I don't have nothing else really to say to you after that. Am I here allowing a nigga to call you a bitch ass nigga, bro? I'm not allowing that nigga to do that, bro. I'm telling that nigga to speak to you the same way that I'm telling you uh telling that nigga to speak to you, but I'm not allowing him to do that, bro. I'm calling him out the same fucking way. I'm telling him not to do it. Yeah, all I was saying is the reason that I know that uh, it wasn't a lie what Sa was saying is that Renente really was with Polite even after that rant. Now, if the rant was a lie because he was angry at Polite, then that means it was a lie that Renente ran away from her mother to go be with Polite. If that's the case, if that's the case, then she wouldn't have been with Polite after the fact. And I, I heard that. <laughs> Yeah, Dang. I heard that. That shit was loud as hell. <laughs> yeah, but that was right on cue. Yeah, that was that was very true. Cause Sa keeps saying that. And you know what else I'm gonna find, y'all? When when it was, I remember when it first happened. Cause I'm I'm gonna be honest. I thought he did say it because he was mad. Cause I'm new to YouTube. I'm thinking if a little girl really ran away, this nigga be in jail. Blah blah blah. I hit that woman's uh, panel name, Tasha Pope. And I got the video downloaded. And um, I, when I asked Sa that, he didn't say that at the time. He never said that. He just started using that as an excuse, saying he said that only because he was angry. And another thing to that is, Sa, that's what you did to me. Not polite. You, you, you caught me that because you're mad, you punk bitch. Not polite. Stop fucking lying, Sa. <laughs> that's a fact. And how bad? Just mention how he called. My bad. That's not a good. That's not good that you'll get mad and call people pedophiles, right? Dummy. Yeah, yeah. Because the whole thing. Wait, the whole thing when he had pulled up with um misunderstood and she had got you know they had gotten her child to lie and shit like that. That shit that's been debunked. Was that? I can't remember. Was that when polite was already charged with it? Or was that before? No, a little bit before. before. That was a little okay. bit before. Yeah. Okay. Okay. You know, I feel like that shit started coming down on it. Yeah, head. you're right. You're right. Okay, because I had matched up with something else that had happened around that time too. Okay. Okay. 
Wow. This shit crazy as hell. This nigga is trash. Called Renette to his wife later. He didn't deny that because we all seen it on video. So that, I'm just giving you the reasons why I don't believe you, sir. It ain't, it ain't hate. It's no, not I people shouldn't go on your show. No, it's not that you. I don't care if you believe it. That's all it is. Well, hold on. But well, hold on, sir. He does it ain't personal. Well, hold on. But sir, he does make a good it point. It is personal, boy. Stop playing. Oh, well, well, man, come well, on. Well, 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 nigga, well, you just well, went to Shug, a known pedophile, nigga. You trying to get at me, yeah. but Shug is a known pet. Do I, do I got to play the clip? Bro, let you, you hear it. Bro, I don't know uh, Shug to be a, a pedophile, bro. You, you got so, all right, let me ask you a question then. Let me I ask listen, you a question. Listen, listen, I seen the video. <laughs> listen, I seen the video that you played with his son. That shit was wild as fuck. But I'm never finna say that this nigga Shug is a goddamn pedophile, bro. That 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 don't register to me, bro. And I'm neither is Shaka. I'm, I'm okay. Yeah, even Shaka too. The the, the nigga Shaka is a wild. Laughing. It's funny. Never, never, so it's okay when Sonetta be playing on Shug's child, but how Sonetta um Sonetta tried to act like he was the victim in that. I saw him come for Shug first. You know what I'm saying? He he docked Shug. He went and put his children out there. We all know how Shug is. You do some shit to him, he gonna let you know how that shit feel. And um, you know what I'm saying? Africa ain't no little baby. No. Why they he in their twenties? Thank you. Africa not no little baby. Looking like Cynthia. Boy, you better stop, sir. Because if I go there, I'm telling y'all can't do this better than me. You better stop while you can, sir. That's a fact. Yeah, Hold on, I gotta... go there, I'm telling you. You think you crying now? He put my sister up after you said, you don't hear me talking about your dead sister who got killed because of you. And it's the same guy that say you can't tell somebody how to clap back. I asked for an apology like a man. I didn't want to do this. I don't want to argue with people I once considered cool. But he wanted to take it there. That's a fact. Ben, you got anything? Nah, let it rip. Along with that, bro. And see, and see th this is what you got to do, bro. You cannot be calling these niggas the same shit that they calling you just to try to get an edge. You can't do that. You got to. Why not? Why not? If they no, calling no, me, because, 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 no, because I, you know I can't why? call them that. Because you know why? Because you, you lying. Gotta, no, listen, bro. You got to fight. Nah, these nigga, these you lying, motherfucker. You a pedo, nigga. Bro, you got to fight these niggas. What the fuck bro. you talking about? Bro, you, bro listen, you got to fight these niggas, bro. You can't just sit back and be like, oh, this nigga, this, this nigga, that. Nah, you got to fight these niggas. I put I put this nigga shock in the skirt any fucking day, but guess what? I still bring I rain facts down on this motherfucker's head, bro. Show me this nigga. And see, Star, you mad at me, but I really don't have a problem with you. I just think you knew. That's I, all. I got a problem with you, nigga. I know. I got a problem. But see, with you, stop nigga. it right there, Queen's Throne. Well, to to that guy saying Kara, you know, and this is the problem that I have with these so-called intelligent, conscious men. Please say it, brother. The problem is. Once Polite was convicted of sexually assault on a 13-year-old girl, you draw the line in the sand. If the video is up there, you still support with him. It's either you fucking with him or you not. Draw the line in the sand. From Tazariak and all of them dudes. Yo, if he found guilty and you still got his videos up there, yo, I'm never coming on the House of Consciousness again. And all of you candy-coated ass dudes are right back on the House of Consciousness. Even making statements like, yeah, I ain't really got no problem with you. That's the hypocrisy. That's why That's why you say, sure, we not going to advance with dudes like you and I miss. Because right. y'all dudes are weak, man. Y'all weak. Straight up and down. I ain't got no problem with you. It's a big problem where you out here talk about you the, the head of a conscious community and you still promoting a pedophile. Straight up and down. And don't see nothing wrong with it. And got children that you claim you love and all this and that. And again, his children, there's a is like something ain't right with the whole thing, but they're not chill like underage elementary school children. I've seen him Sonetta attack Uncle Shug's school age children, not saying that you know it, it don't hurt if they're grown or whatever. But it just, it, it makes it worse. Yesterday, Shug yep. was talking about we should grade it on the offense, like a charge or something. You know what I'm saying? Weigh it out like it, you know what I mean? Remember that, Shug? Mm -hmm, mm -hmm. Yep. I think that we should do that, like categorize each offense, you know, or something, yes. because there's you, some you, that override you. others. Go yes, ahead. I do so much. Like, just like how you just called that guy Sankara a, a pedophile. 
And and this nigga talking about he don't have a problem with Sa. Who do he got a problem with then? <laughs> right, right. right. Oh. right. Like, yo, that makes man. no sense, man. We got weak men in the conscious community. In all of these communities, there's some weak dudes, man, that allow a chump like this to talk to you and disrespect you, and then you still try to act like you have no objections to it. I have no problem with you, man. Get out of here, man. Disgusting. Exactly. I'm ready. Yeah, yo. Okay. <laughs> let me ask. Let me ask this question because this is what he asked. Uh, he was basically saying, "How the fuck, uh, Renintet was still with the girl, you uh, excuse, uh, still with polite, and you saw the girl with polite. How that happened? How, how did that make sense for them to be together when she was 14, 15 or whatever the fuck? How, how did that make sense?" Um, be clear on your question so I can answer it. Now, what okay. are you saying? All right. So you, okay. So when you first met Renintet, how old was she? Uh, I think when, I don't really recall, 14, but roughly, roughly around 14, maybe, 15. Yeah. Around that age. So she was 14, 15 when, when you met Renintet. How old was this fucking nigga Polite when you first met him? Not when he was with Renintet. I don't know how old Polite was. Well, we never it, got into like, yo, Polite, how old, I never did none of that with him. But, but I don't know. But, but, can you but say, I know he was a grown ass man. I tell you that. Okay, but do you think the nigga was probably in his fucking teens? Who polite? Yeah. No, polite was like in his forty maybe. And this is 30, why he, this is this, this is why he's asking that because so he said he was like 38, 40, 38. Ain't no way in hell when Sa um Sonetta and Polite started, you know, chilling or whatever. That he was that a hey, unless like that if that's the truth he said that he don't know but if that's the truth then Michael E Nowak has definitely lied about his name and date of birth somehow possibly like we had already pointed out in the beginning but how are you running with somebody and you don't really know their age bracket at all you know and he, when he tries to minimize it like they weren't chilling in clubs in Miami out in California um with um, Zion Lex, right? Zion Lex. Don't forget, yep. Don't forget LA. I, yep. Yep. And, and all this and that he was talking about, I'll fly out there and all this and that. All, so, um, all I got to do is fly me out there. This nigga is sick. Just lying. Polite got the rental car for him. Yep. Gave him money. Yep. Remember that video where, um, he pulled up on, um, Sonetta and he had like, you know, he was in the Rolls Royce and Sonetta was all on his dick and shit. Mm -hmm. Oh my God. <laughs> it like polite right there. Right. I mean, they weren't shooting a video at that time. They definitely did not only shoot videos together. That's cat. You know, y'all ready? Yeah. Just, just another lie from Sonetta. He knew how old polite was. I mean, any, any, as men. We could eyeball each other and see, you know, unless a brother is up in age and looking damn good. We could look at each other and, and pretty much put a cap on on what age group or what bracket you in. You know what I mean? I you feel know, like I, as people, you can kind of do that just as human yeah, beings. You know? Right. Right. He knew he knew how old Polite was. He knew he was in, in well into his 30s. Maybe at the time he met that girl, 30, 31, you know. He got convicted when he was, what, 37? Uh. Well, he's about to be 41 this August. So, yeah, two years ago. He got charged two years ago. He got convicted when he was 40. To the sentence so, yeah. that he is now. Mm -hmm. Probably been so, about 32, 33 around that time, right. Because mm -hmm. he's definitely been on Sonata's show for at least, like, what, 10 years? Easy. Easy 10 years. Wow. Y'all ready? Let it go. Because if you see a girl in her motherfucking teens and this nigga is in his goddamn 40s, he's asking, why the fuck are you not asking? This is what he's saying, all right, bro. Listen, 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 Cube. I think y'all got this shit twisted all the way, man. Something wrong with these y'all mind, man. Here it is, Cube. Let's say you meet a woman, Cube. Yeah. Cube, watch this. Watch this. You meet a woman. F dabs to, there is videos in here, um, but there's the videos are also up. People can go back and watch them. They're not on private. And again, this is literally my first edit from after surgery. So I didn't want to do too much. You know, this did take some time to create or whatever, but we're going to get into it. She has a 13-year-old daughter. 
Every time I see you, you with the fucking woman in the in the thirteen year old daughter. So I'm supposed to come up to you and say, "Yo, why the fuck you with this thirteen year old no, daughter, she nigga?" Was she was That's mama. The, she thank was... you. That's what I'm trying to tell you. She's uh-huh. with the fucking mother. So, so what you? It ain't like he's by himself with the fucking girl, and I see him all alone. So That's what, you, what I'm trying to tell y'all, man. So, so, so and what, just because Sonetta says that does not make it true. I keep saying the same shit. Okay, How come okay, you okay, ain't saying this? Because that's because that's the fucking you. daughter. She was with the mama, even though yes, okay, yes. If not with the mother, she's with Amanette. If not with them, she's with the family, bro. So it ain't I never no, seen polite so not, in her crazy. by themselves, man. So it's not. This is what okay. I'm trying to tell you, so, man. So what you so what you're trying to say is it's not looking crazy that I just see uh, Renita with polite. It ain't looking crazy like that. That's what I'm, bro. Bingo. That's what I'm telling y'all. <laughs> this shit funny watching me me, go crazy, man. <laughs> he be going funny. off. That shit funny to me. I'm sorry, man. <laughs> no, he can't. Say this to you now. Whenever polite would come around, y'all, y'all, see, for some reason, y'all think that we are isolated. You Who think it's just me. Shit? Who the fuck is this? No, 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 when I say y'all, it don't, if it don't apply, let it go. Um, um. Y'all thinking when polite comes around, the people are thinking it's just me and polite. Is it's me. Because that's what we saw on TV. That's what we right, saw on because that's what we saw on that Nino screen, Brown listen, shit. Hold up. There you go with me. that Nino Brown shit. Mm-hmm. He about uh-huh. to tell on everybody. And I'm gonna tell everybody <laughs> he on his bone <laughs> shit. <laughs> polite, red pill, blue pill, brother Sutek, sometime brother Larry. It's all of us together. It ain't like it's just me and polite and them. So what you know? It's not like that. So you, what you try to say is like y'all was never just isolated to where it was you, Renita, and only polite. when we would only when we would. Only when we would listen, listen. Only when we would come up my house. Q, listen, see, it don't matter if I tell you the truth or not. You say I'm not saying that it don't matter. I'm saying I don't know. I'm telling you, I'm I'm telling you. Whenever we would do, if I would do an interview in my house and it's cold, yes, sometimes it'll just be me and polite. Sometimes red pill will come, sit on the side. Sometimes other people will come. Brother Larry would be there sitting on the side. If you look at the videotapes of us outside, you'll see people asking them the questions. So here's the question: It's not just me and him. It's right. all of us that's around. So here's the question. Here's the question. And when he leave, he leave. Everybody go home. It ain't yeah. like it's just me and this nigga. So, so here's the question. Have you ever seen... Renin- <laughs> he does, Emmanuel. Shout out to Emmanuel. Because now, I, I listened to your stream. I, I don't know if it was uh, yesterday or the day before that. You said that... Um, there was a stream you did that helped get the... What, what's that dirtbag ass nigga? That they got locked uh-huh. up? The nigga, nature boy. Yeah, nature boy. You said it was one of your streams that got the nigga locked up. Now, the truth of the matter is, polite is already locked up, and, and that shit is already done. So niggas can drum it up all they want, but you know, niggas, niggas want answers to some of this shit. So let me but, but stop really it right quick, there, just, real quick. Yeah, go yeah, ahead, queen, go ahead. Queen, you know, you go, you go. I just really quick wanted to say I don't remember Sonetta's video ever being a part of polite's um trial. I mean, not polite's trial. Um, nature boy. Nature boy situation. So maybe I'm, you know, maybe I missed that, but I call Cap, like, you know, right to me. I'm just saying. I, I wanted to say real quick that, you know, and this, I, I know Sarnett is in there watching. You know, he's in here watching somewhere. He's on another page watching. But as a responsible adult, you know that one of your wife's family members ran away from home and you know who she ran away to. And you didn't intervene to bring her back? Just just a question I'm throwing out there. As a man, you knew your wife's relative ran away. She's underage. And she's in California, a whole other state, with somebody she doesn't even know. And you didn't do nothing as a man to bring her back to her family? You let her stay out there knowing this? And said that the parents didn't know where the girl was, but that the dad was actively looking for Renente. And then Remember, he, they were in New York. Go ahead, Shug. yeah, ch- he chased her. Yes, I'm sorry. Yep, yep. And then said, uh, "You want me to tell you why she left you, bitch? Mm. I tell the people when you clap back." Yeah, <laughs> and the mom straight up seemed to be have left her the child there. Mm-hmm. You know, like not. When she found out that it was that polite, you know, 
she didn't file she when the, when she found out that Renentech was at Polite. I didn't mean to call Renentech it because you know they'll talk shit. But um, the mother didn't press charges. There was no charges that Thank came. So when he speaks on that, that's cap. Go Thank ahead, you, Jimmy. baby. Yes, because I was just about to say that that mug shot, that first mug shot. When he got arrested and the charges was dropped, was not Renentech. That was another little girl. Now, I don't know if it was the sister of her, because, you know, Renentech got a sister. I don't know if it was that other little girl, and that's probably why the mother left you, bitch. It could have been that sister. It's not Renentech. He keeps saying, because then right. he, you talk about Tashir Barnes or whatever when he yeah, called her. That, no, yeah, that's Renentech. That's her real name. But oh, yeah, um, yeah, go ahead. Sorry. But, uh, <laughs> Damn, I lost my train of thought. I'm sorry. I I'm get sorry. it. No, it's cool. I'll get it back. Uh, fuck. Fuck, I hate when that happens. He said shot, shot nasty work. <laughs> uh, uh, I know he had other girl. He, they, he keep trying to say the, the mother pressed charges, so he left it alone. Right? Think about that. But now he's turning around and he keeps saying he just said it because he was mad. Sa, you fucking up. Cause, cause, cause you only talked about polite being baby Dr. York with this one situation. But that 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 charges that got dropped was not Renentech, y'all. He, he is getting away with that fucking lie. And it might have been the sister. It might have been that sister. And that might have been why the mother left. And yeah, because there was there was the um Renentech, her sister, and a brother, I believe, correct? Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Yeah. And I got all them motherfucking videos downloaded with all of them together on stage, the little video. They still on Polite Page, too, where they all sitting at the tables and stuff together. You'll see the other little girl. And she was not as active with Polite like Renette. Where like, when, watch the camera, y'all, and look how Renette is. She's she's way active. I mean, you she's 1-800-PHONE-SEXY-READY. You know right. I mean? Like and look at that and girl. giggling with them and stuff yeah. like that. Yeah. And, the other and I'm not saying that to say that oh she's fast, which is gonna come up in here, but um, just that he had broke that barrier already with her. Seems that, like it. You know, where they the predators cross the line. They start doing things that's part of grooming, where they start kind of crossing the line or get really close to a child mm -hmm. and things like that. You could see that they had some type of connection and. We've seen them cuddling up, so it's got to be inappropriate. Mm -hmm. you know? So, you ready? You, ben, you got anything to say? Let it go. All right. Let's ask it. Have you ever seen this nigga, has this nigga ever came to your crib, whatever, to do a video, chill, kick it, whatever the fuck, which is him and Renita? That's what niggas want to fucking know. No. No, never. Ah. never. Whenever you come to my house, sometimes. No, nah, now, I don't know about the house, but we got him on 125th Street with Renette Tech in that brown van. Now, I ain't see the mothers. I seen Shaka, uh, Amon Bashir, Sa, Renette Tech, and Polite. I'm sorry. No, you're right. You're right. Um, he would be by himself or he would be with the family. Never came with him and Renette Tech because that shit would have looked crazy. And I think he knew that. Well... To y'all niggas out there, I asked the questions. Hey, listen, to you niggas out there, if y'all got questions, put them shits in the motherfucking chat. Oh, tell them hit the fucking link. I'm here. I ain't yeah, nowhere. Yeah, yeah, yeah. He say he here. Hit the link if niggas want to come in. Uh, let me drop the link again. Let me ask a question. Uh, I ain't running from shit. Go ahead, sir. The, the videos that I got of Polite and Inky and Renette Tech in the, in the studio when she's about 12, If actually, if you think about the year, so she got to be about 11 or 12 based off when that video was posted. And her age, mm -hmm. you know what I'm saying? Mm -hmm. I don't if I fucking seen that, y'all don't think so. I saw that video before, right? Think about exactly. that. And that's they community, like they wait, and it was he definitely been new. See, we can't prove that he knew or saw that Inky, polite, and Renette Tech in the studios. But come on, man, do the math, uh, Q. Mm -hmm. 
shit. I'm asking a hard question. None of you bitch ass niggas better not come on this shit. And, and I already say, know. It's on, whenever finish, I say finish, niggas already got their mindset. None of you bitch ass niggas better not come on here and say Cube ain't asked the hard questions. He ain't saying right. so what about this and what about that nigga? I'm asking the questions that I had fucking issues with. If you niggas don't want to come on this bitch right now and ask this nigga no motherfucking questions, shut the fuck up. Don't ask me anything about this interview. Jump on this motherfucker. Let me drop the link again real quick. Jump on this motherfucker. Let me drop the link again real quick. Jump on this motherfucker. Let me drop the link again real quick. And it was at this point, cute, I, was, I was scrolling looking for a link to hit that shit because I wanted to catch Saw Devil up there red hand. He would have jumped yeah. off that panel faster than he jumped off with Shilk that day. Oh, it, I mean did, it. Did it look like Saw was is, is Saw about to leave the panel? Well, when he yeah. said, uh, yeah, when he started saying he's putting you. the link up, he started making his exit signs and shit. You know what I mean? I probably texted him and told him he about to leave. He could drop the link now. So you gotta if you rewind, you probably see if Saw text this nigga or something. <laughs> <laughs> he probably he, did. He did not drop that link. He yeah, did not drop together. that link. They working together. Definitely. 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 Y'all ready? Let it go. Consensus from his answers. Well, the consensus that I see from his answers is that he was never around the girl uh, renitent and polite. That's, okay. that's, that's the consensus that I've reached. Well, 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 well now that I've told you that, and you've heard the questions that I've asked. What do you believe? Don't, don't, just, just, just tell me, what do you believe? Do you think the nigga telling the truth? Well, I believe Sarnetta when he said that, uh, when he called Renenta his wife years later. I believe Sarnetta when he said that the girl left her mother uh, to be with him. I believe Sarnetta. That's, That's what, what I believe. You know I, believe he, I believe he was calling him a chomo. I believe that uh, if it was a lie, he wouldn't have been afraid to say it in front of his hold kids. Hold he hold said hold he didn't hold. want to reveal it. Because his on, kids would hear. Hold on, hold on, hold on. That's another question. Which I would be the same way. As a father, I wouldn't want them knowing that either. Hold, hold on, that's another question. So now, Sa, when you said that, because, like, like, repeat your question. Like like, like you just said, when, when he called out Polite for being... Facts. Everybody in the chat was like, drop the link, drop the link, drop the link. He didn't see it at all. Yeah, Again, Cube. I feel like Cube knows better. Cube like, that was intentional. Go ahead. Fuck up. What'd you say, Shug? He need to smoke his cigarette and shut up and let Sam come. <laughs> he did say at the end that he smoked the whole pack of cigarettes. Like, damn, that sounds like a stressful oh event. Oh my God. 20, 20 cigarettes to the neck. I will like, put that in the edit. I promise. <laughs> I might have did that though when I was smoking and shit. You know, the long ass lives, but this live was, I think, only like five hours or something. Don't quote me on that, but I'm just saying, like, damn. And with Renita. Ask that question again. Answer well, I was I was answering your question. That's all. No, no, no. But but you brought up a question mm -hmm. because what you were saying is is basically was the nigga with Renente. So 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 Sa, because he because he because you said Sa said that was his wife. So Sanetta, let me ask you this question. You said that Renente was his wife, but that was after she got a little older, right? You remember that? Um, I don't remember that. Well, I don't remember. But even if I did say that, I'm not saying I didn't say that. What I'm saying is, I say anything is when me and this nigga. I was trying to cut the cigarette part out. It's beefing. What I'm saying is, I say anything is when me and this nigga is beefing. What I'm saying is, I say anything is when me and this nigga is beefing. All right. It wasn't beef. This me and this pizza. nigga is beefing. Um, no, I probably said the wrong thing. It could have been um not Renente. Renente was never his wife to me. But, so, but you said so, that though. I'm gonna keep it a bit. I don't know. I don't know if I said that. Men love that tight fitted glove vagina. When he go into that mood, you know we love that. Shout out to Uncle Shug for this clip. Hey. I love Uncle and I love his wife. Both of them. I love both of them. And he had to think twice, not only because he didn't want to say her name, but remember, he didn't want to say her real name. Renente is the name Polite made up for her with Dr. York. When he go into that mood, you know, we love that. I love Amonette and I love <clears throat> his wife, both of them. Wow. I love both wow. of them. She is not insecure. One iota. She stands by her man. She supports her man. And that's why this shit is working. She's not insecure. Women, sisters, 
Look at that woman's face. She know where that bread and butter come home to. She know where he comes home to. Y'all look at that iMac um, box behind him. Now y'all remember recently, just what, to the end of 2023, he begged for another iMac. Around the time, it was like around the time that Polite Case was wrapping up. We thought, me and Shug thought, I know we had talked about it, that we thought it was odd that he was getting a computer, a new computer so soon. You remember that, Shug? Absolutely. Scam and saw. Yep. So you need a new computer every two years? Like, what the fuck? <laughs> After all these years, she is a strong black woman. Renente. <laughs> Look at him. Fucked up. I'm keeping. I'm keeping. I'm keeping. Keep, keep. You said, "What'd you say, Shug?" I said, "You see how he was looking? He know he fucked up." Yeah, and it, you know, Riot is the other, the other woman's name, the other wife or whatever. You know, fake wife or whatever. How I get it that you know, because in my um live before my surgery, I got Shug and Sonetta's names mixed up. I was talking to Sonetta and said Shug and vice versa or whatever, but. Renenta, that you kind of got to put some thought into saying that name to me. Y'all agree or do you just think it was a coincidence? No, he, he, it's who he more familiar with. Right, exactly. Yeah. That's what yeah. I believe. He knew what he was saying. He yeah, was trying to play dumb and shit like that. Otherwise, this nigga got dementia. You know what I'm saying? Yeah, I, call it, I call it being selectively stupid, you know? You want you gonna pick and choose with uh uh yeah the other wife. He knew what the hell he was doing. He didn't want to say that name, trying to be calculated. Neo says that Sonnet is high as hell and high as fuck in this video. What do y'all think about that? You think that he flew off the handle and all that to Sin Cara and all this and that? Because maybe he had, you know, tooted some of that filthy Frank juice, or I think that he, this is just his anger. I think his blood pressure high. <laughs> period. Period. <laughs> call yeah. inky shit. Yeah. Call inky. That blood pressure high for damn sure. You better get some of them damn. Never mind. Keep it I don't think I don't think I said that, but if I did, I know I didn't mean Renente, and that just probably came out. Okay. Simple as that. Everybody make a goddamn mistake. Notice it's, how it's always a coincidence with him, though. Renente is is Aminet, and what's the other white name? You just said, right. 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 I probably was probably, yeah. We, let me just go back just a little bit. In Renente, and that just probably came out. Oh, okay. simple as that. Everybody make a goddamn mistake. Okay. It's Renente, it's, it's <laughs> <Aminette>. <laughs> it's he did it again. <laughs> this nigga, the dumbest motherfucker on the internet. Yes, yes, he a is. yes, he is. He said, it's Renette. <laughs> and then he didn't even, when he had said that, he didn't even take the video down or nothing like I did when I had fucked up in my, that live that I was just referring to. I went and fixed it. You see what I'm saying? I went and watched it. Big C got brought to my attention. Bam. You know, he just left it up, you know, and then just stated that he said, right, um, Renan text name first. It's Man, goddamn, uh, Nepal told him to say that. <laughs> you think so? <laughs> Nepal told him. It's been three years. <laughs> Man, let's listen to it one more time. Name Renan text, and that just probably came out. Okay. Simple as that. Everybody make a goddamn mistake. Okay. It's Renan text. <laughs> it's it's Aminette. And what's the other white name? <laughs> right, right. I probably was probably trying to say right, and it came out Renente. But he just said Renente, Aminette, and then Ren, um, and right. Yeah, right. Yes, like, but he just stated that those was his wives. <laughs> like, this nigga is sick, bro. He simple as fucking that. She has never been this man's wife around me. Can you share that screen right there, Q? Because you said you never heard him say that. I had my first son. Listen, son, when I was 19, and I'm four years older than my baby mamas. Both of them. I had my first son when I was 19, and I'm four years older than my baby mamas. Both of my baby mamas. He said he had his first sons when he was 19. Both of his baby mamas, and he was four years older than them. So that puts the time frame 14 on your way to 15. So, brother, let me ask you, being that you said that, is that permissible to you? To this nigga is already in another school. These little girls is underage. If you look it up in Cleveland, 
that's against the law because um, uh, Chief X broke that shit down. Good. So is that good for you, brother? A 19-year-old man to fuck with your daughter at the age of 14. Not you, Q. I want him to answer that. Uh, hold, 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 let me say right, this. Agree with let that, me no. say this to that real quick. And see, this is more of that three card money shit. A four year difference from nineteen would be fifteen, not fourteen. So that's more of trying to make it seem extreme. And like right. I said earlier, teen on teen, that's that's innocent. That's young people being young people. And like I said, especially if the girl lying. If the girl lying and she developed and you get fooled, but you're still in the teens, that there's no harm there. There's no harm there. That those things happen. Exactly. But 32 is 17. That's that's going to be the issue we get in that, Frankie. Thir you're 32 and the girl was 17 coming out your bedroom. And we'll deal with the rest later. And then you were there, Ben, and we got Uncle Shug on the panel, right? When Shug had spoke on it and we, you know, listened and we heard what he had to say and it made sense. But Sonetta does not want to validate that. So, you know, I did my due diligence and pointed out the lie that it was in so people can go back and listen to it come from Shug. But since we got Shug on the panel, Shug, would you like to weigh in about anything we again or you don't have to? You don't I mean, to yeah, it's just, it's, 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 it's just stupid, man. I mean, and bottom line, more proof of how. There's no shame or nothing or trying to hide. Had and conceived is two different things. You notice I have no problem saying when he was born versus when I actually was 18 and she was 15. Like if we just be technical. Like, wow. You know, wow. The, my birthday is in May. Wow. My son is born in September. She, you know, her birthday was in January. You know. Right. Just that simple, man. There's, there's no, there's no trace or element of pedophilia, hemophilia, ephebophilia in that conversation. And I was None in, whatsoever. I was in the 11th grade. You know, I was a 19 year old senior. Right, man. This can crazy. definitely happen because my um youngest son that will be his case. Mm -hmm. You know what I'm saying? His, that will be what happened. So. You know, it's it's lies and cap. You know, he's gonna bring up solar mind too and shit like that. So, so I try like a motherfucker pulling up Ohio codes and shit. <laughs> right, he really, really tried, and it's just pathetic. But he can't look at any of the predators that are in his camp. What about Suntan that sat there and said that um, you know, that girl being in Polite's hotel room was fair game. You know, he don't give a fuck about that shit. That shit's sick. Y'all ready? Let it go. Hey, I'm going to show something. Would you, would you call it? Because yeah. we on this topic. One second. Bam. Oh, y'all like the picture? <laughs> <laughs> that is funny as hell. <laughs> oh, shit. Yeah, God, that's Inky's idea. You know, I got that from Yeah. Inky. Right, right. <laughs> Uh, I don't, did I show this to you before? The picture? Yeah. Yep. Yeah, yeah. So just back exactly. clarity again. Wow. I mean, do she look like a 15? I mean, be honest. We look the same age, if you ask me. Yeah. Yeah, definitely. Definitely. Teen, we're there. Teen we're the best teen on teen, man. Man. Like, you know, yeah, come on. Knock it off, Frankie. Stop it. You know? Nigga said oh, I was twenty. He said he said up. he's so he's so shameless. He said I was twenty one and his niece was fifteen. Yes. I mean this nigga is shameless, man. I heard him say you was in college. Yeah. 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 And his niece was fifteen. We gonna debunk all that once again and put more heat on him. I buckle up and sign that. I don't want to hear shit out of you because remember when you was up here lying and playing on my motherfucking kids and tried to dox me and shit. And you even gonna try to lie in here and say that both my baby daddies are in prison for murder. Like, you're stupid as fuck. This, um, uh, would you call this um, a statutory rape, brother? Uh, I don't know. I don't, I have you to, see what I'm I have to get more information. I don't, have, I don't have enough information hey, to nigga, say whether- All you care about is trying to bang on Sonetta, but here's a nigga telling you out his own fucking mouth. And now you saying you don't fucking know. So no, I'm telling you what I, I'm, I'm telling you what I would do as a father. If it was me that's as a father, I'm, I'm telling doing. you what I would do. So, so I'm asking you, is this yeah. statutory rape, nigga? Like, like he kind of cleared that shit up. 
I, I'm gonna keep it a buck with you. He, oh, so now he can clear shit up, but I can't clear it up. No, 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 no. Yeah. All, all Sankara had to do was say no, because that's not statutory rape. Right. Mm -hmm. He he kind of cleared that shit up, saying like, even though he was, I forget what he said, but the shit made sense. He said like he was four years older, but like some shit. Like, listen, I, listen, don't quote me on this shit. But I think he was kind of saying some shit like the girl was young, but she like kind of fooled him to say like he like she was older or some shit. Right, there you go. I was getting ready to say that. The I was same, getting ready. The same, Simple said the same the shit. The same shit happened with Sin. The same exact shit happened with Sin for the P. If we gonna keep it 100, let's keep it 100. That is not what happened to Sin for the P at all, period. And I wish that people that don't know would go figure it out. Because in this screenshot you see right here, a video that I did on one of my other channels years ago, exposing Sinful the P for the predator that he is. Not only did he get an underage girl pregnant, as an adult, he was a grown ass man. He also pimped her, period. It is not the same. Now, I've done a few videos on Sinful the P, but here are two examples right here. Go look the videos up and you will see parole hearings where he's trying to get parole for the charges of pimping an underage minor. Not only will you see parole hearings, but you'll also see the court proceedings as well. Now, Sonetta will run around and say that those charges were dropped and she lied about her age and this, that, and the other. That's cap. And I wish that people that didn't know would do their research before speaking. But I digress. Let's get back into this video. So when he says that, I just kind of be looking at him sideways like, bruh, like if this shit happened to you, the same shit happened to sin. Like this shit, same shit happened to sin for the pizza where, it, like, it, come on, man. It's like, I don't know. I, I'm I'm not finna uh, uh, tear the nigga down for that because if a motherfucker lying about their age, what the fuck you supposed to do? Right. I you know what I'm saying? What the fuck you supposed mm -hmm. to do? Like, shit, you just thinking she's just a female that's out there. So, like, shit, you just thinking she's just a female that's out there. So, like, shit, you just thinking she's just a female that's out there. So, it's really sad that people just jump to the conclusion that if you see a child, you know, allegedly acting fast or whatever, that, you know, they're just fast. Like, that's just it. And it's a done deal, right? They don't ever ask themselves, how did this child get so quote unquote fast what brought that on where did they learn that behavior they just chalk it up to oh she fast she a hoe she out here whatever now i'm not going in on cube on that but it's interesting as you know i edit and those type of conversations come up that people just chuck it away to she's fast you know it's whatever but at the end of the day, there's a reason to a child behaving in that manner. And I think it's important to also always try to point that out. And if you notice that type of behavior from a child, maybe get them help, talk to them yourself if you're close to them and it's appropriate, that sort of thing. Don't just call them a hoe and say that they're fast. But anyway, right. and, but let, me, let, me, let me say I'm this, let me say this <laughs> on that note, Queen's Throne, because that, that's a hell of a point. And even if that girl is fast right even if she's promiscuous and nothing happens to her she's just promiscuous hormones kick in it's all right for her to be promiscuous with somebody in her age group 15 18 18 16 right, 19, 17. That, right right you understand mm -hmm. what i'm saying so but when you when you start seeing that that sexual assault and the, and the grooming and everything else taking place that's exactly what you're talking about so when these guys when he tried to compare the sinful to pee to show he's way out of bounds with that and he and, and right. if you want to get up there and say something then you got to have your facts correct don't get up there and make no analogy like that and it's, it's two totally different situations totally it's a fact, man. you all ready let it go now what about solomon i know you know who solomon okay, is okay yeah yeah when y'all brought that case <laughs> out that's something different bro Fuck yeah that. i listen <laughs> Listen, I, yeah. I, I listened to that shit, bro. Y'all brought that out about Solomon, and, and I'll be real when it comes to But Solomon. did you see when Solomon spoke on it himself? No, I didn't. I didn't. What, what uh, it's saying? still up there. You got to look at it. Solomon explains. Oh, no, y'all played yeah. it. You and what's yeah. the name? Y'all played yeah. it. He was, yeah. like, he was like, well, see, guys, uh, what happened was. <laughs> I forget, but right. I forget what he said, though. Right. So and he, he got he got a lot of sexual <laughs> charges on his record. He got, he got caught 
giving fellatio in a goddamn no, library, was, bro. No, 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 he was getting, he wasn't giving He was fellatio. getting, he was, he was getting, getting fellatio <laughs> and the nigga got caught yeah, in a like, library. Yeah, like a museum or some shit, y'all was saying. No, yeah, it was a library, he a said. Library, okay. But see, nobody want to bring that up and when I do, they don't care. Another lie that Sonetta likes to tell is that when he brought up the solar mine situation, that Queen's Throne and other people specifically did not care about the solar mine situation, we looked the other way. However, screenshots of at least two videos that I did on the solar mine situation. See, we didn't look the other way, we looked into it. So there you go, go look at those videos as well, Royal Family. All they care about is Sarnetta, because they want to go at Sarnetta, I get it, I get it. I'm your boogeyman, I'm your enemy. Man, you're the biggest deflector on it YouTube. It doesn't matter, nigga. It doesn't matter, nigga. You're the biggest dick sucker, too. So it don't matter to me. Because nah, you suck and shit hard. You know what I'm mm -hmm. So I suppose he wasn't scamming people either. I suppose. had to bring sugar into it again. Well, that was a lie, too. Yeah, well, it's, it's been proven that he's been scamming people. So that's not a lie. Mm -hmm. So I suppose he wasn't scamming people either. I suppose that was a lie, too. Yeah, well, it's, it's been proven that he's been scamming people. So that's not a lie. You know, so, mm. so I suppose he wasn't scamming people either. I suppose that was a lie too. Yeah, well, it's it's been proven that he's been scamming people, so that's not a lie. And okay, I'm, so you only, one, you only have I'm lied. The one, I'm the one that got Pharaoh's money money back. So when you went on the rant, that part you were telling the truth about. I tell the truth about everything. Do you tell the truth to your mother? Yeah, Do you tell on, the truth? Man. Do your mother tell the truth? Well, sorry, you're the one that's up here, and that's exactly how it went with Uncle Suge. And Sonetta, Sonetta just flipped out and brought, you know, got to bring in family members into it. This dude is insane, man. Ben, your audio is messing up. Oh. Queen's Throne, check your ticks. Okay. Y'all hit the like button. Peace and happiness. Okay, yes, I can. I'm gonna um, play the video back. <clears throat> can you hear about you were just mad at him? I would love to so, see you. Did you say something? No, I said, can you hear me now? It's still messed up. All right, I'm gonna sign, I'll come back. Okay, man. I'm trying, to, I'm trying to give you a, a leg to stand on here. See the work so, of your, I wanna see what kind of work your daddy put into the community. I would love to see that. Yeah, Who's your not, father, nigga? I would yeah, love to see the work your daddy yeah, put in. Yeah, that's not gonna go nowhere, bro. Go Man, I don't end, you cute. When a nigga nowhere, diss bro. me, when a nigga disrespects me, you can't tell me how to hit back. If a nigga swing at me, now if a nigga respect me and ask me a question, I would respect him back and give him that same love and energy back. But if a nigga come at me sideways, you best believe I'm coming back at you sideways. Simple as that. You can't hit I a nigga can, in the back. I can respect you. I don't have to believe you. I'm not to come back at you. I don't have to believe you. I don't believe you. It's not I disrespect. You. I don't believe you, pussy. And that's not disrespect. That is disrespect. Talking, you just called the nigga a pussy. That nigga's a that. pussy. He's a bitch. That nah, nigga bro, sound like man. a bitch. Nah, bro, Q, nigga. don't tell me how I can tell a bitch when I see one. Nah, I can bro. tell a bitch when I hear one, bro. <laughs> that nigga's a bitch. Hey, listen, hold on. Let, let me drop the Because he again. will forgive Silk and everybody else. Now, let me drop the link again because. Make I sure you send polite some soap. Uh, listen, let me drop the link again. Yeah, polite a bitch too. How about uh, uh, that? Listen, let me drop the link again. You the one sucking his dick, oh, nigga, hold on, hold on, not me. Hold on. Nah, nah, come on, bro. You wilder. Let me drop the link again because I don't want no nigga saying, yo, uh, you had uh such and such on there. You ain't asking the hard questions, this and this and this and that. No nigga better not come to fuck to me asking that, bro. No nigga better not do it, bro. I finna drop the link again for niggas to bring y'all ugly ass the fuck up in here, bro. Please don't do it. You know, and, and Sankara, bro. You know, I, I've been trying to keep the peace. You, you can at least agree with that. I'm not Hold up. Wait a minute. What about I, I haven't even you talking like I did something off no, no, off no, kilter no, or something. No, 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 oh. no. No, no, I'm not I, I never said you did anything. I said, bro, I've been trying oh. to keep the peace. Yeah, it's a messed up situation. It's hard to right, yeah, I mean, this is something that's been going on for I years. Tried to wait, but nobody wanna come in, fuck them. They wanna just talk shit. Peace to you, brother. And it's a shame we can't talk about this peacefully. Like it always has to end up in, you know, you know. Oh, good. He's gone. Hey, man. Yeah, that must have been polite, Colin. When I watch this video back, niggas finna be hitting me with comments like, oh, but Q, why didn't you ask this? And why did you ask that? And why didn't you say this? And like, the, the link was out there for niggas to say anything they wanted to say. You know what I'm saying? I, I know that's coming, bro, because it's it's every video. <laughs> something to fuck to say, bro. Look at, look, 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 yo, look at this shit.
Look What's at that? Shit. Oh my fucking god, niggas is telling me right the fuck now. In the guy, I, I, I even looked at the chat. I just looked at the chat. This nigga Chicken Ankle said, "Cube, you protected him." This nigga, no, you didn't. You didn't protect him. I wouldn't go that far. Bro, there's nah, a nigga would, in the say chat that. saying, "Cube, you protected him." How the fuck, bro? I dropped the link for niggas to come through. This shit is nutty as fuck, bro. Oh damn! Hold on, hold on, hold on. My bad, niggas. Oh shit, my bad. Strap. I see Strap in here. He asking for the link. My bad. Hold on. You know what? Hold on. Let me see if I can get the nigga back on. Hold on real quick, y'all, because I see niggas asking for the link. I thought niggas had the link. Damn, now niggas, at, I'm, I'm just looking at the chat. Niggas like, what a link, what a link, what a link. If this nigga would have done what he was supposed to. You there, Ben? ben. No, I'm here. I, I'm here. I'm back. Okay. All right. All right. We all back now. Dude, then the motherfucker wouldn't have been around kids to do what the fuck he did. And see, I'm I'm one of those people, bro. I'm gonna be a hundred percent honest with you, bro. And I'll tell Sinetta this shit too. Had Sinetta, cause cause this is what Sinetta said. Hey, hey, we got Ben Diesel on the shit. Shouts out to you, bro. I'm gonna bring you in in a second. Let me just say this real quick. If Sin, cause this is what Sinetta he said. Sinetta said, "Yo, if the mother let the shit go, what the fuck am I supposed to do?" Now, my if you believe is, that, no, come on, bro, stop it. My thing is this. If that's what I mean, we don't know. We don't know. We didn't hear from the mother. He just told y'all. He just told y'all that every time she came around, she was with her mother. Now, if that's the case, her mother's related to your wife. So that's a fucking lie right there. She was not. Hold on, hold on, hold on. It's, it's not that it's a lie. It's a problem. It's a, a listen, problem. Listen, 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 listen. This, this, this is my thing. What I was just trying to say, and I'm gonna let you go. I promise. What, what I'm trying to say is this: if the girl was never with polite. That's one thing. But at the same time, if the mother says she ain't finna do nothing about it, what if that was your daughter, bro? You finna do something about that, bro? So, we don't know if the mother said that. Well, no, I'm just going that's off. What, no, I'm just going off what, what he said. said. I'm just going off what he said because he said the mother let it go, and then so he let it go. So only thing I'm saying is like, yeah, I get it, bro, and I understand it because the truth of the matter is. If something happened to your kids or my kids, a lot of niggas ain't finna pursue that shit. If they, especially if they don't see me doing it, they're gonna let it go. So I get what he's saying, but the truth of the matter is, bro, it's like if that was your kid, what would you do? You, you, you would continue going. So I, I was hoping you dropped the link because I wanted to get yeah, Sean that ass live and direct. And let me tell it to you, bro. I, my bad, I do apologize. I thought that the link was in there, and uh, <clears throat> Brother Strap, he told me, he was like, yo, you said you was going to drop the link, because I dropped it for Sankara, I thought it was in there, so I do apologize for anybody saying, why you ain't drop it, why you ain't drop it, I do apologize, I thought it was in there, because he jumped on. Sarnet is guilty, Sarnet is just as guilty, because you're culpable, and aiding and abetting, you aided and abetted it, you knew everything Polite was doing, you knew about all the scamming, Polite probably cut him in on the scamming, as far as that Renentech shit, when you go back to the videos, he got up there and said, don't make me play the videotape, baby, y'all. He knew everything that was going on. The nigga's a liar. That's straight up and down. And if y'all still rolling with liars in 2024 as grown-ass men, then that means y'all just some naive, gullible people, man. I'm not going to get into the foul language and all that because I'm going to be on that. I'm trying to get at the brother. Am I saying your name, Sankara, right? You're all that SMD. That's unnecessary. The brother saying he believes what you said, Sarnetta. We know you watch it, Sarnetta. Hit that link now, Sarnetta, because I'm up here. And, for, and just in case you don't know, Q, this is Ben Diesel, the brother who dropped the story about Sarnetta and the underage sexual relation he had with the girl Nikki. This is me. On Queen's Throne, we did the Sarnetta on trial. Sarnetta's a scumbag. He's perpetrating the fraud. He got y'all fooled. Ain't nobody in Harlem that grew up with him from day one believe anything that come out that nigga mouth other than this is a hustle for him to make some money because he can't do nothing else. He ain't doing it. And he brought Polite on, and he thought Polite was his golden ticket, and Polite turned out to be the ultimate scumbag. And you're guilty of it because you brought him to the people and you knew what he was doing. And you, you and you chose to say nothing. Well, well, let, well, let me say this because I don't, I don't want to sound like, you know what I'm saying, I'll say something here and won't say it when you're not available. But I'll say this. I don't believe that the nigga was fucking with no young girl like that. I, I understand. I saw it. You don't believe it. You don't believe it. But I saw it with my own two no, eyes and I was listen, the one that was texting the girl who was listen, telling listen, me listen, listen, he listen, had an old shit. You got an old shit. You got an old shit. You got an old shit. You're entitled. Listen, listen. No, hold up. You are entitled to believe what you want to believe. But I'm telling you what I saw with my own two eyes and who came out that motherfucking bedroom. Okay, listen. What I'm never going to do is tell you that you didn't see what you saw. That's not what I'm here to do. I'm just saying, it, it just sounds weird. It just doesn't sound right to me. Because, I mean, you know, stop it right there, Queen Thorne. I want to say something to that. I hate 
and I, you know, I'm trying not to, I'm trying to keep my language professional, but I hate when street niggas act like they don't have no street smarts. If there's a crack spot, if there's a crack spot, right, that we know is a crack spot, and I see you coming out of the crack spot, what am I to assume you doing coming out the crack spot? Rating it? Exactly. Exactly. I hate when street niggas act like they ain't got no fucking street smarts. All of a sudden. Oh, you don't know. You didn't see. Homie, the girl's telling me one thing, and now it's it's compounded with her coming out of a grown man's bedroom that I know what's going on in the bedroom. And you're talking about you still need more evidence. Come on, B. Are you, are you street wise? Because these type of people that say this type of shit have kids or be, you know what I mean? Like, that's crazy. And you can look the other way or make one little mistake and it could be your child. Then right. everybody, you know, I don't think you would be tiptoeing. I would hope that would never happen to him. I'm definitely not saying that out of no disrespect, but it's always different when it's happening to somebody you know, else. And then when it happens to you, then motherfuckers go ape shit and all this and that. And everybody supposed to look the other way. You know what I'm right. saying? I'm just saying. The shit is crazy as hell. Watching a 17-year-old girl come out of a 32-year-old man's bedroom. Talk about that's how old the boy. Yeah. So you're, you're, the, what you're hearing sounding weird is because it was weird. That was some weird shit. Yes, it was. And so I, never, I just I wish you would have had like, some kind of like I pictures. And so I, never, I just wish you would have had like, some kind of like pictures. So, you know, and, and, and to, not to cut you off, not to, you know, with St. Cara. This is 1996, man. What you mean you wish I had some pictures? It wasn't no cell phones, nigga. <laughs> we didn't have cell phones with cameras on them back then. It wasn't no uh, 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 video technology readily available then. What pictures are you talking about? Right. I'm credible where I'm from. My word is my bond. I mean, it's Ain't like he to expects you to have like some video from under the door yeah. or the crack of the door. Yeah, like, like you said, like, what the, the fuck? I'm supposed to sneak through the window and catch him from the window? Like, what are you talking right. about? Man? What else could they have been doing if they're in there if there's only a bed and a TV with a VCR? And that's all that was in that room. That's all that was in. <laughs> Like, you know, if it was something like they was just chilling, why wouldn't they be in the living room area or something? Why do what they need to be in a room closed off or whatever? I'm just saying. And no, no, I didn't, no, I didn't just play his cards with a child anyway. And remember, yeah. Sonetta said that the only time that he had interactions with Nikki Chanel is when her family was coming and going or he was coming and going out that building. That's so a lot. Should, like, we know that. We know that. Unlike, unlike Sonetta, I never said. I got videotape. I can prove it. Don't make me go to the tape. I never said that. I gave you an eyewitness account. What I saw with my own two eyes and putting my street smarts to it and putting two to two together, Cube, do the math, act like you got some street smarts and know what was going on. We not stupid, homie. That's inside. Y'all ready? Let it play. Oh, we got all that. It's coming. It's coming. I'm waiting for him to. He put up on his dumpster. He waited a long time to bring this out. It's not a long time to bring it out. People in my hood knew about it. We brought it out to the hood. It's the first time we brought it to the internet. Let me see if I can call him real quick. So I got Ben Diesel on here asking questions. He watching. He ain't even got call. He watching. Q said something earlier about uh uh he didn't want to incriminate. Okay, cool. So now the girl Nikki was on the phone a thousand times. She never once denied any of the allegations. He played the million. Now he pulled all those videos down. I wonder why. There's a guy who keeps polite videos up on his page, knowing that polite's a convicted mental disorder sex offender. He's a he's a convicted yeah, I agree mental with that. disorder sex offender, and you still got his his videos up on on his page. So come on, man, stop playing with this. I agree with that, but the whole the Nikki girl. One thing about that situation was she didn't really confirm it either enough for me to you know. Well, now, now, right. now you being an intelligent person, you delineate what took place. You delineate what took place. You, I mean, I'm just saying what she said. Like, if somebody yeah, was trying say, to deny so something, she would have been like, a hater and a bitch ass nigga. But I told y'all what I saw. He tried first. He tried to act like the girl didn't exist first. Then he tried to say he didn't know the girl. Then he furnished the girl. Now we got everything we need to know about Nikki. And all he could do is say, "Oh yeah, Ben Diesel's the pedophile." 
He was trying to talk to my niece and all this other crazy shit. Yeah, he's on the phone with Sonetta right now because Q talking about he going to call him and try to get him to come back or whatever. Motherfuckers knew that Sonetta was not coming back. Well, me and his niece was two years apart. You will see Debbie Gary, Frank Gary, Michelle Gary, okay? Now, this is going to come in handy as far as her age because later on in this edit, Sonetta is going to lie on Ben and say that his niece, Kiana, was this is a throwback, this portion. Was 15 and Ben was 20 when they were dating. No, he said I was now, in my 20s. Right. So, um, I just want to clarify. We see right here, Kiana's age is 45. What is your age, Ben? 47. Right 47. Exactly. So, again, we're dealing with that two-year gap. Just like with Nikki Chanel. So it's not in the 20s. It's not 20. It's two years difference. And that happens all the time. I'm happy you did your research <clears throat> and found it for yourself. Um, you know, and I didn't have to tell you that information. You as an investigative journalist went out and did your own research and you found it. And it's just another facet of my story that comes to truth. So that puts all these other people out here who's trying to cap for Sonetta and trying to discredit what I'm saying to bed. Because again, here's a clear piece of evidence that shows you this guy's just a liar. Yeah, I respect that. I mean, I'm just saying like, if it was me, I would have been like, I probably would have just waited till I had some something on it before I came out with all that. That's just me though. Ain't nothing to wait on, ain't nothing to wait on. When Polite, when Polite got convicted, but as soon as Polite got accused, we knew he was guilty. It wasn't. I ain't had to wait to hear the DNA evidence. I know this. So when you're happen. bringing your stuff out, when you when you bringing out the new, the new stuff, I'm with Queen Snow. My mother's alive and well on Facebook, and she's on Facebook. That's her mother. I don't know he her said, Facebook page. That's 10 years why. Ago. He thought she probably passed away, and that's why I called the daughter. And I was trying to get. I was getting ready to call the little one, the youngest one. I was gonna call her too. Oh, oh, it's Thompson. Google Thompson. You see it. She's up there. Look, listen, listen, y'all. I don't know her Facebook page, that's why. Oh, oh, it's Thompson. Google Thompson, you see her. She's up there. Miss Thompson? Uh, don't she have a last name? She's up there. You a, first, a first name. That Thompson is a last name. Straight up and down. I dropped it exclusive for Queen's Throne. And when Queen's Throne put her next segment together, that's when we're going at it again. But all I never want to do is tell fairy tales about somebody being on his dick and all that corny shit. Nigga, 60 years old, still talking that dumb shit. And the fact of the matter is he... You see how he confronts everything and everybody? He try to he try to he try to sit up here. He try to sit up here and get at Shug. And Shug already debunked everything. And Shug already know, came know he clean. Does that. Shug already came clean and said, yo, the girl lied to me. We're in the club. And it was a two-year difference or something like that. That don't make him no pedophile. They in their teenage years and the girl lied to him. He he can't debunk nothing with Nikki. He getting up there putting a chopped up video, chopped up audio with Nikki. If if it never happened. Why couldn't he just get Nikki on the phone in a clear, concise conversation to say, I don't know what he talking about. Come on, man. Knock it off, man. We intelligent people here. Don't play us like we dump. I feel you. I feel you. Hey, what you think about Inky being back on his show? Inky, Inky made a clown move straight up and down. Inky was my man. I can't rock with that shit. We, don't, we ain't switching sides, man. It's either you with us or you against us. Just that simple. So good luck to Minister Inky with that bullshit over there on, on the House of Consciousness, whatever that shit is. That shit's been 20 years and it's going nowhere. A bunch of dudes getting up, debating, 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 and in 20 fucking years, all the conscious community has been is divided, divided and conquered, divided and conquered at the hands of you know who, the dumb king of this shit, saw nigga, who wants to get up here, have us keep debating, 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 ain't nothing coming out of it, no solutions to the problems, we killing each other every day, and the conscious community ain't doing nothing about it, because look what they're being led by, a bozo. You know what I'm saying, you, you told me to call him, I did call him, you know what I'm saying, and he was just like, nah. He ain't. He can't me. face me. He so can't I, face me. So I, I, just, no, no, I just don't want you to think like, oh, nah, this nigga. Can't. No, no, I did call the nigga. He was just like, nah, man, I'm, I'm not fucking with that nigga. Yeah, that nigga yeah, he knows better. He knows because he knows his truth. He knows his little dirty secret came out in the closet, and he can't, he can't hide it. And the girl is not denying, it. and she won't deny it because she's not gonna let him take her truth from her like that. But you know what? With so, this situation, though, I'm, I'm gonna keep it a buck with you, bro. I, I really wish that niggas, like, especially y'all two niggas, would really sit back and talk about this shit and try to reminisce because, to me, 
I really don't believe that shit. I'm gonna keep it a bug with you, but I really don't you believe, to believe what you want to believe. But like at the same time, though, like if you niggas ever was to sit down and really talk, like you could, you'll then be able to see what the what this nigga saying, what that nigga saying, who's being real, who ain't. But like we can never get that, bro, because it's all. Oh, never, listen, I'm always willing to sit down, even with a chump like him, and debunk his his lie all the way through. He'll never do it. You know why? Because a lie can't face the truth. I'm that truth. So if I were able to facilitate you guys to speak with each other and he agreed not to call you a bitch ass nigga, get loud and all that dumb shit. And would you agree not to call that nigga a bitch ass nigga and all of that dumb shit just to actually course, have, a, just course, to have a fucking conversation? We yeah. did a Sarnetto on trial on Queen's Throne, man. Go watch the whole thing, man. No, Do no, yourself no, a favor. No, 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 research. No, 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 no. My sister Queen's Throne, like, I, I, I listened to that shit. I, I, I did listen to it, bro. I, I did listen to it. But what but what I'm saying is like if there was ever a way to facilitate y'all to actually speak, would you be okay not calling that nigga a bitch ass nigga? And if I would have talked to him and be like, no, I have a, I have a very extensive vocabulary. I don't have to resort to profanity. I can stoop low, but I don't have to stoop low. I'll be more than okay. But the fact of the matter is, I'm tired of watching chumps like Michael Nowak because I don't call him brother polite. That nigga name is Michael Nowak. I'm tired of seeing chumps like that masquerade in front of the community as if there's some. But what homeboy called him a polarizing figure. It was nothing polar. He was polarizing to somebody who just didn't know any better. I'll put it to you like that. You know what I mean? But as soon as I laid eyes on him, I said, this dude is a bozo. And he's here to scam the people. I heard him trying to tell you something about 125th Street. Watch the video, man. I, I never needed saw another for now. We was doing something trying to elevate the community. He was a part of it. I was a part of it. But his character is flawed. His character yeah. is all the way flawed. And it, 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 he has no truth, no let me Let me say something to that, please, bro. And, you know, as I played this back, over the years, and this was even before the polite situation, I realized why Sonetta was playing me close like that, because he knew I knew that secret. So all that, he used to sun me out. That nigga was giving me $50 for coming out there and help him pack up some shit and put it in the cab. You do the math. 50 times 30. We out there 30 days a week. I'm getting $1,500 untaxed. From just for just taking a right. box and putting it because in the back I of did, a car. I did pull that out when Sonnet had said that because we had already addressed that. But go mm -hmm. ahead. Yeah, definitely. Mm -hmm. But but the reason why he was being quote unquote generous is because he was trying to play me. Like, I'm gonna keep this dude next to me, keep him fed, and pray to the Lord, pray to the Lord that he don't ever tell this secret. That's what that was all about. All of that. Uh uh. He was my pack up boy shit. No, homie. You knew I knew what you did with Nikki, and you was just trying to placate me all the way to the end Damn. with little nice niceties and all of that shit. But like I said, I was playing him, hindsight being 2020, because I would come out there. Like I told y'all in the trial, I had lost my job. I said, I'm not running right back to work. I'm using my hustling spirit. We knew what was going on out there. You're selling DVDs, but we actually have knowledge. We're going to awaken the people. And like I said, I was getting 50 bucks a day, 30 days a week, untaxed $1,500 for putting a box in a car for him. So, you know, th these guys try to play that game. Sarnetta especially, like, you know, uh, uh, he had somebody sunned out and somebody really needed to be around him. Like I said, I, I, did, the, I did the math. You was playing me like that because you never wanted me to come out and tell that secret. You see how long it took for the internet to get it. Go ahead, let it ride. That makes sense. Shot up here and told y'all a bunch of lies just now about that Renetech. Yeah, he knew Renetech was underage, ran away from home, <laughs> running around with Polite as one of the, one of his girlfriends, and he gonna still act like he didn't know nothing. Prove it. Let's go to all the videotapes, especially the one where you calling him Baby York. You right. calling him Baby, Baby York because you know what Dr. York was doing to these little kids. And he yeah. sat there lied to you and said, I don't know. But he said, don't make me get the tape, nigga. Don't make me get the what tape. So I never probably got a fucking tape of that nigga doing something with a little kid. Let's see, check Creepy this, ass Let's see, check this, though. Like, and it's the crazy thing. Like, I know niggas just want to hear niggas go back and forth and be wild and dumb crazy with each other. Uh, that, that's, 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 that's cool for a time. But if we're really trying to build and really get to a place... Because cause like I said, bro, and I said again, and I hope I don't mean you any disrespect, I don't believe it. But at the same yeah, and like I told you, you're entitled to what you want to believe. Right, 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 But again, when the circumstances listen, listen, and the listen, facts listen, are put listen, before you, let me ask you this, dude. Let me ask you this, dude. Hold on, let me ask you this. Hold on, before you say the next one, let me ask you this, dude, because I want to state this to you. Put the shoe on the other foot. Now, you're accused of being with a girl that's underage, 
and you know the girl, and you know the girl, and you get the girl on the line, what you think the girl is going to say? She's going to deny it or confirm it? Man, if I'm talking to the girl, I, I think it would be in her best interest to deny this shit. If I'm putting her okay. on the spot, I think it would be in her okay. best interest right, well, to deny he put it. On the spot. He, he put her on the spot on conversations that she didn't even know she was being recorded on, and she still didn't deny it. Well, hold on, but I, I'm going to say this, though. I think it would be in her best interest to deny it because she may not know what this is being used for or whatever the fuck. So I would agree with you. Like, listen, if, if one of these random bitches from fucking 2005 called me, and, and say I, I I ran through him. You know what I mean? I ain't fuck that bitch. I'm going to deny it because I don't know if she's going to try to say. We can't hear you, Shug. Oh, I was just meaning to deny it. Oh. You hear that? Denying. You hear that? That's that's the cue. You hear what you just said you would do, boy? Boy, y'all, you telling on yourself, Q. That's all. I'm yeah, about. and, and that's, no, that's a key point because I was going to say to that, Q, are you messing with underage girls? Because we ain't talking about you messing with some chick from back in the days that's in your age group and you just forgot about it. We talking about an underage girl. Right. And I Let's wanna keep it in context, Q. What's going on? What would he what did he think? Since, since you don't believe it, let's let you know go through your theories of what you think might have been going on, Q. I would love to know that. Yeah, because he's so quick to just say. You know, I don't believe it. And I don't believe that Q watched the whole trial. I think he kind of like, you know, clicked, you know, throughout it or whatever. But I don't really think that he watched it. I don't think a lot of people that have any, you know, thing to say about it have actually watched it. Unless they didn't comprehend what was really going on because there was some math issues as well. No, no shade. But I'm just saying we being real. Um, and we've talked about them even publicly. So, like, Ben ain't running. You know, Ben ain't the one that's running. It's uh, clearly Sonetta. Yeah, because he want to tell his lies uninterrupted. Yeah. <laughs> on the yeah. person he lying on. Like, he don't want to get challenged. Yeah, facts. Coward. That's a fact. That's a fact. They like, I'm the pappy of one of the fucking... I don't know. So, of course, I'm going to deny this shit. So, I would agree with you on that. I, I think that she would deny this shit. Now, you said something earlier. You said something earlier. You said, yo, son, when somebody calls you something, your get back can't be to call him that, and that's all he does. On his, on his low-level dumpster page, he puts a video up, Ben Diesel, the weasel, whatever, he's the pedophile. And we already debunked that. Your niece was 17, I was 19. So here you are with another lie. You're just a liar. You're just a liar. That's all it is. So he has no problem telling lies through his teeth. He got a felt tongue. Y'all fell for it. I'm not, listen, I knew the dude for years. I've been cut him off because I know his character is flawed. But like I said, if we could stop other people from getting up here masquerading and they turn out to be nothing but goddamn child predators, he got the entire, he got the entire conscious community toxic. Toxic. All the way down to beating, all the way down to beating the Pasha Dawes ass. He, she said she, he punched her out. That's good, Neo. Some receipts are going to come up. And don't nobody judge me because this nigga done did this and more. So they come in. I don't remember exactly the timestamp, but they come. I think it's about in about six minutes or so. I saw how she saw the white light, man. Come on, man. Right. That, and, and, and then let me get she lying out too. She, she going to come out and say, I was just mad. And you know, when you're banging on somebody, you tell lies. Come on, man. I'm not going to. We grown ass people here, man. And I'm not trying to hate on a woman. I, there's really no other way to say it. I think that the woman is a disgusted woman, how she can get drunk and then go tell her husband's business, all of this shit. I think that's disgusting as fuck. But for that shit that she said, bro, I did believe it. Ain't gonna but Sonette is not disgusting for being the one that punched her motherfucking lights out. Damn. Drunk guy speaks the sober truth. Got something to, somebody got something to say? No, I just did. Oh. Damn. Hey, Neo. Neo, you there? I didn't even check and see if that was. Yeah, it's me. It's me. My bad. <laughs> hey. Hey. Peace. What was up, she Neo? Lying? I don't fucking know. Ben said, What's up, Neo? Bro, but that peace, shit, peace. like, I no, don't she know wasn't lying. lying. It's called, I, it's, called I, battered, I think... it's called battered woman syndrome. It's called Stockholm syndrome, where you love your oppressor. I'm not. You gonna love gonna your oppressor. You, you love your abuser. I'm not going to hold you, bro. Like, when she said that shit, I was just like, Whoa. 
I was like, whoa, like, come on, bro. And see, but see, this is why I made the video and I told Sai, I was like, bro, you got to leave this broad alone, bro. Like, this bitch is getting drunk telling all your fucking business. Leave this broad alone. They right back together. Toxicity at his finest. That shit is nutty to me, bro. Like, you know, but. But he could do all this stuff. He could do all this stuff. He got all these these accolades and things he could say, but he could not get Nicki Chanel to say nothing ever happened. In fact, Uncle Shaw, shout out to Uncle Shaw, my guy. Who caught that audio? This dude tried to chop up and manipulate the audio to make himself exonerated from what uh, uh, the girl saying we didn't have sex. He played some old bits and pieces of an audio See, to I try to put it together. I yeah, never, man, you gotta I do your research. So he never played the full conversation in its entire context with that girl. Everything has already always been distorted. I ain't gonna play all that right now. I ain't gonna play all that, man. Listen, the dude. I, I can believe what y'all want to believe. I know what I know. You see the difference? And that's no, no. That's yeah. Good. But to us, it's hearsay. That's the difference. Like, I wouldn't, that, that, me that, myself, that, I wouldn't accuse somebody that, of being a chomo. I'm not accusing you. Know based it's on hearsay. It's it's see, see, stop right there. Stop it right there, please, right Mo. And to San Cara, San Cara. You know, you want to believe Sarnetta on what he said about Renentech, and you didn't call that hearsay. You said I believe Sarnetta. So I said, you can believe what you want to believe, and your response is, but to us, it's hearsay. I'm digressing. Let it go. Listen, Ben, 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 listen. To us, it is an accusation. I, Hold on, listen, I, listen. I, hit, I, hit I understand. Up, I, I, no, no, I understand up. that, but listen, I'm telling you. Listen, listen, listen. Yeah, no, listen, yeah, listen, yeah. listen. Facts, Angelica. You are... Yeah. You the nigga that seen it, so to you it ain't an accusation. But to us, we didn't see it, so to us it is an accusation. So I wasn't trying to go down that and, and try to make you feel like you didn't see what what you saw or what you. I wasn't trying to do that. I was just saying, eh, I don't know. But what he's saying, saying. But what he's saying is correct, bro. Like you can't make us see what you saw. You know what I'm saying? Like I, I'm gonna need a little bit more evidence. You know how people. You know how there you go. Now you know how people are found guilty. When the evidence comes out and in the, in the, uh, the yeah, trial of Sarnetta on trial, we presented it. In the, the Sarnetta on trial, we presented all the evidence. Sankara's in the chat. You know what I'm saying? Yeah, he, we, said, he said he was going to tune in. He said he yeah, was going to tune in. If we didn't have 30 more minutes of the edit, I'd drop the link for him. But if he can wait, you know, through the commentary and the 30 minutes of the video, then I would definitely re-drop the link and he can join. Everything you need to know though, to show like, you that this motherfucker's guilty. But you about Nikki? About me, everything. See no evidence. You didn't see no evidence. You didn't I see the whole thing. thing. I watched that whole you thing. I didn't see you, no didn't, you, didn't, you didn't see the fact that he stayed. At first, he said he, he he don't know where Nikki. Come on, man! Don't ask me no fucking questions about no fucking Nikki. Who is Nikki? You tell me. And if I knew it, and then I tell you who she was, you wouldn't fucking know her. So come on, man! Don't ask me no motherfucking stupid questions like that. Tell a nigga to show and prove. Now, 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 to San, guy, now, to San Cara, to San Cara, who's, <clears throat> I'm assuming, an intelligent being, you're going to take this statement right here that he doesn't know a Nikki, and now he has a total recall to where he knows her mother, her sister, he knows everything about the family, where to contact them at, and you don't see this as circumstantial evidence that would make him guilty in the eyes of public opinion? Let it ride, Queens, bro. Stupid shit. You don't know a nigga playing you. Niggas coming up with old shit now, trying to see if they can try to get you. Never heard of that. You know who yeah, she is. You I saw all that. Okay, okay, you saw all that. Then you see the fact that they, they, they you see, bro. Bro. that means somebody's lying. It's called credibility, brother. That's what I'm saying. Coming up with old shit. Hold on. And it's the same Kara being that you in the chat. What do you think coming up with old shit means? What What does that mean, Saint Kara? Uh, 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 that you need more evidence. What does coming up with old shit, trying to see if they can catch you, mean to you, brother? Uh, 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 uh. Old shit. This is the first time that I heard about it when Ben called in the Inky show. So what is old shit? And the time where he said this is old shit was around the time when it came out within like 24 48 hours relatively no, no 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 queen's throne the old shit is him and nikki's relationship oh right right i'm just saying oh. i'm trying to like debunk so we can get there okay, you see okay. what i'm saying to that i know what he i know what he's referring to and queen you know, brought up a good point he literally said this as soon as the accusation came out 
So that was his instant response. Oh, y'all, br- y'all bringing up old shit. What old shit? If it didn't happen, it ain't no old shit to bring up. Nigga, you lying. But that's not what he said. He said, y'all bringing up old shit. Like these dudes, are, they cherry picking and playing semantic with words and stuff. Like, come on, y'all. Even I even proved to the audience that Sinetta gave three different versions on how he even got in contact with Nikki. First, the mama gave him the number. Then the niece, his niece gave him the number. Then he Man. ran into her in the 153rd. It's he, like nothing is consistent with his um you know, his reply or his response back to this Nikki thing. But Ben's story been consistent from day one. Nothing changed. Right. And then I and it what really kills me is they trying to act like this is like some real live live court hearing or laws or whatever. Like we watching the episode of Law and Order. But if you want to play that game, since when eyewitness is not considered evidence. Exactly. That is evidence. Exactly. And In how do they court. debunk yeah, and how do they debunk the eyewitness? They see if they're credible. They see if the story is consistent. And that's what we did, correct? It, this, exactly. So like I don't get it. These niggas supposed to be smart, right? Y'all supposed to be a conscious community con- intelligence. Mm-hmm. Ben's story ain't changed. Sinetta's on did. And then y'all remember, because I know I, I'm looking for this clip to this day. I heard the clip when Sinetta said that he was in prison for five years, so it was impossible for him to get with Nikki. That's when he tried to use the excuse of how the Nikki story wasn't true. For us to later find out, this nigga did not do no five-year bid. Hold so on, this- sis. Sankara, you act like he's like Ben's coming to solely you or Q and is like, you have to believe my story. No, he put it out there. If you don't believe it, fine. But after everything, if you've really looked at everything, I'm kind of side eyeing you a little bit. You know what I mean? Because we put out information. It's about to be some information in a few seconds because remember, uh-huh. there is no Nikki. I just want to throw this up real quick because, you know, me and, you know, I ain't got no issue with Sankar. I know he got issues with me, but I ain't got no issues with him. I'm just saying. I'm well, just I, I, you know, he kind of gained my respect when he, you know, yeah, I, he just kind of gained my respect, uh, kind of, when he called out Chris and his bullshit. But Sankar, think about this. Sinetta has a history of being a liar, a pathological liar consistently, right? So it's kind of weird to me, bro, that you said you believe Sinetta when he tried to tell the community about um, polite in the past, but then you don't believe Ben because you don't know him. Like I would see if you like Ben had some type of history of being a, a liar or somebody coming out, you know, exposing him. Nobody came out. All those videos that Sinetta was playing on throwback videos and oh, uh, speak on this man. It's people he was cool with. You feel what I'm saying? And then they really didn't even say much. They was just saying, oh yeah, we know Ben. He used to sell tapes and shit. It wasn't no real strong accusations against the man. They were just saying that he sold, he was competing with Sarnetto or whatever used to go on back in the day. So that shit just weird to me that you will believe somebody who has a reputation for being a liar. We catch Sarnetto lying every day, consistently. Mm, mm, mm. But God, Ben don't have that history. And that's why I'm, all, I'm glad that we're all here because I do think that we need to continue on with... Um, should I let Sankara up now? Because I got some more information. Let him up. And, let okay. him up. Because we let ain't running. We ain't running, up. but I wanted to get my edit, you know, kind of done. I let Suge come but- up earlier because Suge's name was you know, involved in it. He knew Facts. that I was going to do this. So it's only right. I would want that done with me. You know what I'm saying? In right. a situation involving me. It's your call. But I'm, I'm glad that Neo call. came up. But I did drop the link. So if he wants to come up, we can pause this portion and get into the information, you know what I'm saying, that I'm going to put out there because at this point, I'm just sick and tired of it. We all we all ghetto deep, you know what I mean? Like, we all come from the hood. Say, Kara, get on up here. Let's test your street smarts because I got a no, couple I'm of simple questions we can right give now. you to see if you really street smart. Mm-hmm. Um, shit. I, he said, Neil, do you want to talk about lying, bro? If you finna start playing those childish games and that homophobic shit, I really lying. ain't even going to yeah, entertain it. Say, really like, yeah, we gonna, we gonna wait for St. Cara at the end. We'll wait. If St. Cara yeah, really built it, say, we'll wait for the end. No, nah, it's all good. I was just gonna say, if he finna start playing that, oh, you said you was asexual shit, that it was already announced that I was trolling. That's why my audience was laughing at y'all. My day ones, everybody knew I was a lesbian. I never hit it. But I was trolling Sinetta's audience. It doesn't matter if you didn't just 
when you came out just was like, oh yeah, and I'm a lesbian. Like, is that really even important? That's what I'm mean, right. concerned yeah. if you were fucking on a child or something. That's right. something I'll be concerned about. You being gay right. is not a fucking issue to me. Yeah, but I'm just at saying, all. I just want you to know that's the issue that Sankara has with me. He got a problem with gay people. Uh, so that's why he was like, that's why. Yeah, that's what I was saying. So I, when he said, I know you ain't talking about lying, he, they still think that I lied to uh, Sinetta's audience by telling them I was asexual when I literally told them I was trolling and we was laughing about it. My fans, I mean, my supporters was laughing. But they all knew what I was doing. So, Yo, let me say this to Sankara before he come up. Because you're going to continue with the edit queens throne. But Sankara, man to man, I'm a martial artist and I'm always willing to test my skills and I'm not inviting you to nothing. But I'm telling you, man to man, you one of those weak men that are in the conscious community. And this is why we will never advance. Sarnetta just invited you to his frank. He told you all types of disrespectful stuff, called you all types of disrespectful names. <laughs> And you still said, I have no problem with you, Sarnetta. You didn't even say, I have a problem with you calling me out of my name. You said, I have no problem with you. Where is your testicular fortitude, brother? Well, he's on, the, that, he's on that's stage. That's my first that's question to you. Where is your testicular fortitude to where exactly. a man can invite you to his frank and you still say you have no problem with him? That you, Sankara? Sankara. All right, well, I'm gonna give you like one minute as time to speak. You there? Hello. So yeah, I'm gonna kick him because I don't know who that is. And I ain't got time for this. We didn't come here for that. But um, okay, so Let's get back into this edit. Said the nigga did it. I get what you're saying, and I'm not trying to take a shit on you, but there is no concrete evidence that we can latch on. Yes, you can say that you saw it, and I can fuck with you for that, but I can never say that this shit is the truth because I didn't see it. Uh, point, just, point. I got your point, but the fact of the matter is it was brought to his attention. He said he didn't know the girl. Then he gets the girl on the line, and she never denies this allegation. But that's the point. If you ask but me, but she about never it, confirmed it. If you ask me about a girl, now, now, now that's for you to delineate. Why wouldn't she deny? Why wouldn't she say so? Another way, if she knows me, why would she say, "Oh, well, he fucking lying"? I don't know what the fuck he talk about. But you bro. know what she said when he asked? Oh, 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 when she asked him, you know what she said? When he asked, him, he said, "She said he's trying to get famous. He's trying to get popular." That was her response to him saying, "Yeah, Jermaine said, yeah, we had sex when I was fifteen, and when you was fifteen, and I was thirty-three. Did you ever smash Nikki? She yes or no? No, no." Was you trying to fuck? At, at an appropriate age group, yes. Nah, appropriate. Nah, come on, bro. I know y'all was short. I'm not y'all was shorties. I'm not trying to get into that. Hold on, he's back. Yeah. Is that you? Yeah, it's me. All right. Don't try to pee bomb me or nothing. Um, all right. So let's get into it. What's going on? Yeah, I mean, you know, my opinion is my opinion. I don't feel that I should be uh, in the chat being told I'm a hypocrite and uh, all this shade I'm getting. No, that's not uh, shade. I saw, Sankara, your, last, I saw your original stream about all this, and I just don't feel it was proven. That's all. So, so what was proven about Sarnetta's words saying that what he said about Renentech? Where, where was the proof? And that See, you believe Sarnetta? You said proof. you believe Sarnetta when he said Renentech was this and that, and he called him baby Dr. York with no video proof, no evidence. What proof do you, wh why, why do you need proof from me? And I'm telling you something as a man. Why do I need proof? Now, you guys talked about what's street and what's not street. What's not street, since you want to talk about street smarts, what's not street is you expecting me off of just your word. Oh, well, I said this. So that means that all y'all need to believe, believe me. They thought that I saw. You, you didn't believe prove anything. Sarnetta Just because you saw it don't word. mean I saw it. I didn't see it. You, but you believe Sarnetta off of his word. So what's the difference here? What do you mean I believe you, him? You do told I believe? Sarnetta, I believe what you said about Renentech. And Sarnetta is a habitual pathological liar. And you said, I believe what you said about Renentech, Sarnetta. I, and you didn't see not a, a sheer piece of physical evidence. You didn't see a video you didn't see anything other than what he said, but you said you believe him. So what makes his story so believable and mine's not? 
because what he said is provable. He said in his rant that he was a scammer. We proved that Polite was a scammer. He also said on uh, Chris, Chris Harris's page, and he said years later as well, that Renentet's mother has barred her from being around Polite. Did he not? So he said if that the would... mother, if the mother later oh, she said was that you can't polite. be around, that Renentet is not allowed to be around polite anymore, well, what do you think the reason for that would be? Renentet if it's, was if just throwing his just hell and around him. Can y'all hear me? Yes, yeah, we can. We can hear you. Yeah, she was just grown as hell around him and uh, a 16, 17 year old. We seen all that. The mother left him. It, and Renentek went to, you know, they, he basically trafficked her for real because he brought her over state lines. If the mother brought her to New York and then she ends up in um, Cali with, with Polite, then he sex, he trafficked her. He trafficked him out. Kidnapping, also you could call it. And Sonetta stated that the mother and the father did not know where the child was, but him and it, Cynthia did. And that Cynthia was related to the girl. Then he came out and changed it later on and said, oh, well, it's through marriage. It's through this person, this person, this person. And then they got married to this person. No. Nah. He was well aware of it. And then right. even when it comes to the Ben story, nobody's asking you, like, Sankara, you solely just have to believe this. Everybody on deck. We're going through it. You cannot blame Ben for being passionate about a topic like this. I didn't blame him. I just don't have enough evidence for myself but, to be passionate like he is. That's fine. And well, that's why I didn't cut that out. I didn't rearrange your words or nothing. Well, let's follow cool. the logic, though. Let's just follow the logic, mm. car. If the reason why mm. you believe Sonetta, mm. because some of the things that Sonetta claimed were true, like, you know, Renit Tab and the mama saying being away, being proved that there is a girl named Nikki who is this, that Sonetta knew that lived in the building. Get him, Neil. So, so that is a part of his testimony that yeah. we know factually is true. And Nikki we, acknowledged that she knows Ben. I know and factually they went on the what Ben said. And really, I don't want to go back and forth with you. But okay. uh, as I far as Queen, let me, let me go ahead. I know how you feel about it. No, the I bites. already heard what you ahead. said. You called me homophobic already. You're already starting off, you know, shooting shots. So I really, I'm not, I'm trying well, to be we, respectful. We know so what the we, issue I'm being with me. I'm I, didn't call you, I didn't call you names or nothing. But you already throwing shots, but so to be respectful, I'm just not going to address you. But about that's that. her issue with her, right, Sankara? That's I didn't say is. I had an issue with her other than what she said in that chat just now. Okay. Okay? So she accused, accused me of being disingenuous or whatever. She didn't have to go there with it. I'm entitled to my opinion. And if it's factual, it's what Ben is saying, then it's factual. Sankara. But let me just, let me just say this, Ben, Sankara, first of all. You're being a hypocrite. Sankara, let me just say, let me just say this, Ben. Let me say this, Ben, because you like to over talk. Let me say this. You came on here with Inky. So to me, your credibility is shot just because of that, if you really want to know. Well, I because came on Inky, here with Because Inky, Inky came well, over though. here. Inky's been going off on this same thing. Well, Sa knew, Sa knew, Sa knew. Well, Inky knew. But I was on So here your with credibility Inky as well. is shot for hooking up so with Inky saying, in the first place. So, so no, I don't believe you. My, you're saying that my credibility is fucked up too? Because I was on here with Inky. Well, I wouldn't have had him up there. Is all I'm saying no because Inky's not game. to be trusted. It's simple like this. I'm Inky's a not to be trusted. Of sexual abuse, and I have fucking children, and I'm an advocate against this motherfucking shit. Well, That's Inky knew, and Inky I was right there, and I doxed Ben to myself to verify his story. Then I went and did my research, like everybody else that's talking shit about this failed to do. But so, Ben knew. Oh, ben, but, see, Ben, Ben's the one. It's not matter. your fault, Queen. It's not your fault. But Ben is the one that was using Inky, and Inky's dirty. So how am I supposed oh, to just believe Ben just on rip? He's right over there with Sonetta. So you trust him now? Who, Inky? Sonetta. I don't trust Sonetta or Inky. I think they're both criminals. I think they're both dirt bags. But Sankara, the problem is I'm, Ben came up here Sankara. with Inky and I knew Inky was dirty. So what am I supposed to say? Sankara, 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 let me just put it to you like this, brother. We put a whole three hour trial out. Inky facilitated his part of the trial. This story has nothing to do with Inky. 
when the story came out, it was because Michael Nowak was convicted of was was charged with sexually assaulting the minor. And I personally said enough is enough. And it's time to expose the person who's responsible for all of this shit. Now, as I told you, if you said you listened to the trial, that was the first time it came to the Internet. I'm from Harlem, New York City. In my immediate circle, nobody fucks with Sarnetta. They all, everybody knows he's a creep, a dirtbag, a devil. Okay, let me let's just set the record straight for you. Like I said, this is the first time it came to the internet. There's no other evidence that needs to be shown on top of the circumstantial evidence that Sarnetta is. He lied about everything. He put the phone calls out and the girl never denied it. You're sitting up there saying she never confirmed it. But if she never denied it, what does that tell you? What does that tell you, Sam Cara? If she never several, denied it. I did several yeah, I don't, I don't like your energy. Yo, brother, because you don't you, have to like brother, 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 brother. I'm going to never so, invite you to my friend, on, and you man, don't have to on, like man. my energy. Hold on, you don't man. have to like it. So, I'm talking so to you, you like a man. So you can shade Ben, right, on Cube's panel about this situation. I'm not shading Ben. not respond to it. I'm not shading Ben, I'm, but I just don't believe him. I don't feel there's enough no, no, evidence no, no, no. that he's giving me. That's all. I'm yeah. not saying that he's lying. I'm just saying I can't confirm. That's okay. it. That's great. Then you can go back in the chat. Or if you have another grievance to iron out. Let me because say I'm not here to convince everybody. Let me say that's what? fine, but I'm not going to sit here and be shaded from the chat or anywhere else. Let's that's hear what Uncle Shug got to say. Let's hear what Uncle Shug got to say. Yeah. I want because I want y'all not gonna shave me, Shankar. Please hold on. I want y'all to relax. Let me just say this. I want everybody to process this because this, this, just and then y'all can probably get through to him. But this reminds me of uh, what's that damn um thing? Uh, Wheel of Fortune, mm -hmm. you know, like, you know, like the Wheel of Fortune game when the puzzles and shit up, right? Right, okay. Now, Sankara and Q, they. And San Carlos ain't no shade. Y'all saying like y'all need all the letters to get the puzzle. You know, y'all need all every fucking letter up there for you to be able to see that shit. You know, some people mm. only need files. Wow. Great analogy. Mm. You know, that's all God. I need to see. I, I don't need all that. So so y'all yeah. just think about that. So just keep putting the letters up there. Maybe he'll get the puzzle. Just relax. Yeah, we're <clears> not <throat> rushing anybody to be convinced. I, we haven't. I, I'm not buying it because Sankar is not a dumb dude. This dude is highly intelligent. I don't see his lesson, right, his teaching. Chris been biting off this man's teachings for a while. He ain't no mm. dummy. So that's why I'm sitting up here trying to figure out what it is that he needs. Do, do Ben need to draw a picture or something? Because I just try, I debunked what he said. According Look, to his logic, him the reason why he man. believes Sarnetta is because yeah. some of the facts that Sarnetta, I mean, some of the statements Sarnetta made were actual factual. Ben did the same thing. There is a um, Nikki that exists that knows Sarnetta that lived in the building. Ben knows her. They went on the date. Ben dated his niece. The niece acknowledged that she dated Ben. Sarnetta know, acknowledged that he knows Ben. The only part of the story that, that we don't have that 100% confirmed that it actually happened is That's Nikki. That's what I need. That, but you're not going to get that if Nikki is trying to stay low-key right? I so agree. I never ain't gonna admit it. You feel what I'm saying? So come on, like, into Sakar, you're come not a dummy, bro. You I just don't have it. Come on, what? We're working with what we're being given. I don't, I'm trying to see what he needs for something that was 30 I years just, ago. You just told me what I need. What's he missing? Sarnetta to admit it, or Nikki. That's what he does. I need Nikki to admit it, or I need but Ben to Nikki come with some, some, some like pictures. Like you're, like you're, not, you're not as street savvy. You're not as street savvy. No, as don't you see. Don't don't throw brother. shots, brother. Because again, you're, you're your credibility is already in the toilet. With me. Don't throw Can't shots. Call, 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 call. If you came up here with any of that, like how do you have all all you motherfuckers that got this all this fucking hard energy for Ben? Like what the fuck did Ben do? He's taking shots, Queen. You he's taking shots, shots at, at me. Him. 
You was over there talking. I didn't take shots at him. I just don't. I'm saying I don't have evidence. That's not a shot. I'm not taking shots at him. Fuck with the nigga. I gave you eyewitness. I gave you an eyewitness account. And if you listen further, and when he said, "Did you see my dick in her? Did you see me put my dick in her? Did you see her pull up?" Yeah, that's coming up. It's coming. Yeah, it's coming. I'm gonna get it. But then, Curry, you're not as streetwise as you might think you are. Whatever, man. You should have brought all this up the first time. Now you're coming back months later. Was talking about later, some street this smarts. was two days ago. You don't have even. street smarts. This was if two days ago, that. Sankara. You talking about a month later. You guys should have had all this information out already. That's all I'm saying. Sankara, Sankara. How, do you, how do you come out with a video after it edits? I'm going to edit my videos. It took two motherfucking days from Cube's video to this one to get here. The fuck? I got kids, all that. Ben got shit to do. Suge got shit to do. And I just healed from surgery. Who are you to tell me about anything over here? Y'all I'm talking to Ben, this, not you. I'm you talking to Ben. Be Ben's that. the one throwing shade. Let me, let me no, talk to him. Let me, let shade let me at him. First. I'm the one that kind of held the time. Sis, up a bit. sis, I'm not throwing shade at him, okay? okay. I'm not throwing okay. shade at him. I'm defending to myself. Just like, to you. Just like ahead, Shug said, Shug keep following the puzzle. Keep following the puzzle. And when it all comes together, you'll say, oh, that's what it spells. You want well, to Okay. That's when, that, really when that time comes, I'll be like, oh, it's coming, okay. It's coming. It's coming. It's coming. Yeah. I understand. It's Have a good night. Have a good night. Sankara, is you trolling, bro? The count, I'm yeah, telling y'all, this man. Neo, don't, 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 don't do it. Don't do it. Have a good night. Go read some books. Go read some Shake on the Geop or something. Because oh these, that's what I'm talking about. See, this is what I'm talking about. Let me ask you You came up with a whole fucking criminal anky, and then you want to say something to me. Hold up, Suge wants to speak. I want to ask you this. What do you think they was doing in the room? I don't have any fucking clue. Okay, well, Sankara, okay. you a bozo. You a bozo. I, now, now I'm a, throw I'm a, a bozo. Shot I wasn't there. You a whole, you a whole bozo. You a whole you bozo. A bozo. You Why don't you come with some fucking proof? You get come with some fucking proof. Hold up. What in the fuck has Sanita shown? Some, We're some talking about Ben. Sarnett is a, a fucking, fucking idiot. I'm talking about Ben. Minute, but you got all this hate for him, though. You are like, you don't even know him, nigga. That's you weird as fuck. So, so I'm a bozo. Okay, so I'm a bozo because I don't believe your little story. You are P.O. to the Z-O. I don't believe your story. So I'm a bozo. Fuck you. Why don't you come with some goddamn evidence? I want to believe you. This one came with evidence. That's all we've shown. You ain't watching. I want to hear from you. You a bozo. You a bozo. Go get on the House of Consciousness next. Now you could go. Now you could go and stroke Sarnetta and say, "Yeah, I spoke up for you about Ben." Go ahead, man, because that's what y'all dudes want to do. That's all y'all want to do. You want your guest appearance on the House of Consciousness, and you just might have earned it tonight. Hopefully, Sarnetta's watching so he could give you a pass. Sarnetta gonna go kiss all up in his ass. Um, Sure, you were trying to speak. My bad. Yeah, I want to ask him about the polite case. He think the fuck's wrong with you? Like guilty? Fuck wrong with you? Sankar, you believe polite guilty? Yeah, I believe he's guilty. Based on what? Based on evidence. That's what why evidence? he's locked the fuck up. What evidence? Come on now. Y'all know what evidence. The same evidence no, that got him locked up. Speak on it. You speak know it. it. You speak on it. Okay. The e well, first of all, I already gave the evidence in the video why I believe Sarnetta the first time. No, you can no, you can no, add up. Oh, polite. We talking about polite being locked up, brother. That's what I'm talking about. I kn I believe polite was a chomo all the way back in the baby Dr. York rant. No, we talking about right now in jail, bro. Yeah. Okay. This the recent charges is I believe the little girl because they found semen on. They found his semen and they uh, sized up his semen with him, and that's how they caught him. I believe that. That's called evidence. Now, I apologize for calling you a bitch, but um, like don't like y'all be sitting like motherfuckers be capping, and this shit right here, like it's just weird. You have kids, right? I have kids. Yes. <clears throat> That's scary. That's What's scary. scary? As fuck, because they just What's scary? You know, hey, it, these niggas is out here, and if you just cool with all type of shit, when somebody speaks out about a, a situation that they witnessed. Nobody's like twisting your arm. Nobody asked you. I did this is my first time ever hearing about you. So why are you so like I said I don't believe it? Good, then let's move on. Period. Because I'm getting I could really give a insulted fuck less. by I didn't did my work in this shit. 
Well, I'm going to be respected by Ben. Ben. That's all I'm saying. I'm going to be respected in the process. When you insult Ben, Ben, you're insulting my work as well. I'm not insulting your work. I'm not yes, insulting your you work. Because you think I'm dumb enough to believe Ben if, and you, because you think he's a liar. Yeah, I'm no, working. but Ben's not going to sit up here and disrespect me. Yeah, I'm telling you why I don't think he's credible. Credible. Take that emotional shit out of it. Get hey. that emotional bullshit Man, out of whatever, it. whatever, dude. If you a man, on, we talking like speak. men. I didn't call you out your name. So I never sat up there and told you suck my dick and everything. And you sat up there and told him I don't have no problem with you. So don't start sitting here talking about me. And then he calls Sankara a perv. And perv. Don't sit up here and say you got no problem, brother. That's not what I meant by no problem. Don't start that shit. Don't start that shit. like Sankara want to be with logic. I want to believe you, Ben. Take but you need to watch your mouth. You gotta respect me. That's all I'm saying. I ain't never listen, bro. I ain't ass. never disrespected you. I want to believe you. Sankar never you disrespected know. you. Sankar, you know Man, you, he trolling, y'all. <laughs> he trolling. You know, you said uh polite was a pedo before he got convicted for this, you know, Renente and this. And I'm not the troll, Neo. Was that so, Sug? I'm sorry. I said you believed polite was a pedo before the evidence on this. You believe, yes, sir. Right, that's what I'm saying. Based off testimony, or based off what? Based on the evidence that can be proven about what Sinetta said. I just gave you Sinetta. the instance yeah. about his mother. So the uh, evidence the didn't the come out till after the fact. The evidence didn't come out till after the fact. Seven years later, but you believed it when you heard it. Why? It makes sense because he said, like I told, like I said in the video, y'all playing. I said that he said that she ran away from the mother. That okay, was confirmed. That was she ran away from the mother. So what is it? What is it that I'm saying that's not making sense? No, what you're saying makes sense. I just can't. It's just but you, you believe, didn't say but that you, you believe, saw. But you believe polite? Did you want me to answer, or did you not want me any, to answer? Without seeing any DNA evidence, oh, I'm, I'm gonna get lawyer on. I'm gonna get Ashley. Ashley, whatever her name was, with Fanny Ashley Willis. Merchant. I'm going to get that on you. <laughs> Ashley Merchant on your ass. I'm going to get Merchant. Ashley Merchant on your ass. I'm going to cut you <laughs> off. For that. So you believe Polite was guilty without seeing any DNA evidence because it was seven years prior to. But what is it you don't believe about what I'm saying? Okay, here's the thing. Ben, we all know on this panel that Sonnetter was running around talking about uh, Renente was Polite's wife. Okay. So that's something that he said. We know he was running around with Renente. We got clips of that. And you guys you, play the clips believe, all the time. And you believe. Okay. It. Now, you believe do you the words have that some came clips? Out Let's keep it in context. Do you have some clips that show whatever you saw in that bedroom? Do you have something I can look at do you, or do hear you realize, or do you realize read? What I'm doing? Do you what realize the account have? that I'm referring to is from 1996? Do you realize that? Do I realize did we what's have, from we have? It was from the account that I'm referring to. Sarnetta's underage sexual relationship with Nikki was from 1996. Do I believe what, that? What? No, no. What Do evidence? Do you understand are you that that is the time frame? He's talking about a situation yes. that happened in 19. What in the fuck is he going to have for evidence? Other than my eyes, Did other you than my him to draw a picture, go under the door crack with what though? A Polaroid? I, I get it, Queen. I I feel you, and maybe that's the evidence he has. But to me, I can only go by what he says at what this point. What evidence he had? What are you talking about? The evidence you're talking about is that he saw something, right? Yeah, with his eyes. Yes, with his eyes. I'm telling you, there was no cell phones like that, with no camera like that at that time. What okay. is he gonna have? That's fine. What That's cool. What evidence I mean, are you looking for? Other than what I saw. Well, I actually saw the way Polite was acting with Renente with my own eyes. I didn't see how Sonetta was with that with Nikki with my own eyes. Okay, so That's like like, like like Uncle Shug yeah. just said, Sankara, you one of the brothers that gotta get all the letters to the puzzle, and then you'll understand what the puzzle yeah. says. It's all good. That's all right, it ooh, That right there, Bell Gates said, dude is asking for Ben to provide child porn. <laughs> you talking about we need proof. Like, what, what are you saying for real? Make it make sense. I'm just saying. 
Yeah. Mm, I just said what I need is what I got from Polite. I got videos I was looking at. We got circumstantial evidence with Renenta. Believe you. We, we got, got circumstantial right. evidence with Sarnetta. We got right. circumstantial right. evidence with Sarnetta right. saying he no, doesn't know the girl Nikki. Then he furnishes everything about Nikki. Hold on, one at a time. And Suge, go ahead. No, I'm sorry. I should say I believe Neo X. I think he's trolling. <laughs> what? Oh, this dude is not. I heard him teach. This man is intelligent. He's not a dummy. Because like, I'm gonna keep it. Um, never, never denied being. See, this is kid. this is kind of messed up because I support you guys. So yeah. now I'm a troll. I know. I, know. I said you're trolling. So, trolling. I'm, you know I'm not trolling. I'm just being honest about how I feel about the situation. All right, let me. I'm gonna just say something real quick. It's gonna be real quick. This is the crazy thing. When the the story first came out, when I heard it, because y'all know this has been out, but when, by the time I got wind of it was like what a year, a year about a year ago. When mm -hmm. I first heard the story, I was on Shaka, uh, Shaka and Duku page, and Shaka asked me how did I feel about the Ben story. This before I ever spoke to Queen or Ben, and I'm on record on his channel saying I'm not going to call Sonetta a pedophile based off a rumor. But let me let, but what wind up convincing me, hold on, what wind up convincing me is not that Ben didn't have proof of evidence what he said. I watch how Sonetta responded mm. to the accusations. Mm. Mm. And I used the process of yeah. elimination and the stories being inconsistent and then how he even started attacking me and telling people I'm lying about my abuse and all that. I watch how he handled that and I said, yo, I this don't sound that. like a man who is innocent. This sounds like a man that is enraged yeah, yeah. and he's mad Agreed. because Agreed. his skeletons yeah, yeah. is coming out of the closet. So I that's agree just with me. you. That's just me personally. So that's why I was asking you, like, I know you said you didn't want to talk to me about it, but if Ben pulled the receipts on even his age, how old was the niece, that a Nikki does exist, the building, people confirming, only thing that is not confirmed is what happened in the room because Nikki won't speak on it. She won't come on Sarnetta's channel, and she yeah, will not yeah. deny it. Sarnetta will not play it a video. I mean, uh, um, audio unedited. He keeps playing edited audio. I agree the with niece, all that. The niece yeah, won't yeah. even come out and back Sarnetta up, right? Like, yeah, that's yeah, what, but the, I mean, I'm just saying, like, it's just kind of weird that you saying you need Ben to prove when Sarnetta. It's showing you that something is not right, bro. I agree like with I said, that. We, I definitely agree personally that the way he's responding is suspicious. not honest. Is something wrong with how he's responding? I agree with all of that. I'm not stupid. I agree. The way he's responding to it, something's off about it. Yes. Come on, something something's off about it. Come on. So bro. are you? But just like I'm just, and I'm just asking. I'm gonna let it go. Are you just saying you don't believe Ben? Is there something personal between you and Ben? Because I've seen Callie Come ask on, that Neo. question. I don't, I don't know this is. guy. I, my I personal belief, my personal belief, I said my personal belief is that Sinetter is lying at his responses about Nikki. I believe he's lying about it. But that's just my personal belief. So if you believe I don't he's lying, evidence. Sankara, 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 if you believe he's lying, what's the next step? The next step is I need evidence. So, so Sarnet is not the evidence. If you saw, I, if you was a juror, uh -huh. Sankara, if you was a juror on us in a jury box and you're watching Sarnetta be under question about this topic and you had to ultimately form an opinion about what you think his actions are, guilty or innocent, what would you say his actions are? I would say his actions appear to be guilty. Okay. All right. And you would put that into the jury box and it would come up as a guilty verdict. I rest my case. Well, I don't know about all that. <laughs> I, I don't my know case. about all that. So long story short is you don't believe his story. Is that all you have? Because I'm trying to get to the rest of this. You yes, can get please. to the rest of it. Please. Go ahead. So, so, so Carter, That's all I got. I don't have nothing else. And, and the rest of the letters are coming to the puzzle, brother. Okay, I'm listening. Right, but, but, uh, but she was she was in my age bracket. She wasn't in his age bracket. So, so he was so, thirty-two. So she was sixteen, me, going on seventeen. So, so run it to me because this is the story that that I remember, and I'm sure I'm wrong. That you're gonna correct me, 
what I thought that you said initially, and I'm here saying it on my channel previously, that I thought you said, and I want you to correct me. I thought you said that you was coming around a corner and you saw her come out the house. Is that what you said? That's not what I said. I saw her coming out his okay. bedroom. I'm going to put it to you like this. I'm going to put it to you like this. When I asked a girl, I'm trying to get when I was trying to rap to get with her, you know what she would tell me? That she had an older boyfriend and there was nothing that I could do for her. I'm not trying to go against you, bro. I'm really not trying to go against you because I cannot tell you what the fuck you saw. I cannot do that, bro. I can't do it. But what I need is just a little bit more, bro. Oh. My first name is Ramonda Thompson. Ramonda Thompson. Ramonda Thompson. Thompson. Oh. My first name is Ramonda Thompson. Ramonda Thompson. Ramonda Thompson. Oh. My first name is Ramonda Thompson. Ramonda Thompson. Yeah. And she's um. there. You called her on that. You called her on Messenger. Oh. Her first name is Ramonda Thompson. Ramonda Thompson. Ramonda Thompson. Oh. Her first name is Ramonda Thompson. Ramonda Thompson. Ramonda Thompson. Oh. Her first name is Ramonda Thompson. Ramonda Thompson. Ramonda Thompson. Yeah. And she's um, there. You called her on Messenger. You called her on Messenger. See, playtime is over. We really didn't want to take it there, right? But since certain people are acting like, oh, you know, there is no Nikki. This is a made-up story. They're not doing their research. Nobody heard Nikki state her mother's name, Ramonda Thompson. This is Ramonda Thompson right here, Nikki Chanel's mother. And as you can see in the picture, I didn't want to take it here. Um, go look at the other videos. We didn't want to take it here, period. But as you can see in the picture, she lost both of her legs, which may explain some of the confusion around when Bennett stated that Nikki Chanel's mother was deceased and in reality, we found out that it was the brother. Now, that may have been told to him that it was the mother or he had gotten it confused. He talked about that. He spoke about that. We wish no ill on Nikki Chanel or her family. But again, because people are sitting out here playing like they can't put two and two together. I've had this information. I found this information myself. I'm just wondering why nobody else could find it. Now, right here is Nikki Chanel, the same Nikki Chanel that this whole situation stems around. The same Nikki Chanel that has still yet to deny the whole situation between her and Sonetta that Ben Diesel has pointed out. The same Nikki Chanel that several people are saying do not exist. The same Nikki Chanel that told Sonetta, I'm sorry that this is haunting you. Mm. And this right here is Kiana Gary. You got something to say, Ben? No, just yeah, I'm just <clears throat> I'm just talking. I'm just making sounds because you on the truth. Go ahead. The same Kiana Gary that Ben Diesel dated when they were younger. The same Kiana Gary that I took this screenshot some months ago, but in the on Facebook, if you put hey, like no. this caption down at the bottom, hold on, Chuck. <laughs> I'm sorry, I'm sorry. If you put this down at the bottom. You would have to update it. So you see, I just showed you that it says that she's 45, you know, as far as her age, but on her Facebook, it says 44. And that's because she would have to edit that herself. Go ahead, Shug. Uh, I just want to say that's definitely a Gary because I got a bunch of her shit downloaded. <laughs> see, Sonetta, you wanted to take it there, bitch ass nigga. I had that shit downloaded a long time ago. I ain't even know who that, that's her being. <laughs> yeah, that's my former boo. I loved her. She came out there. She came out there. She, hold on, hold on. She came out there when he called her. When we was beefing about that spot, she flipped my table and she slapped me and everything else. And I could not put a hand on her. Not only because she's my wo uh, 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 a woman, but she was my former boo. That was that. That's right. That's the That's right. I, I ain't put her up, man. So, hey, I was just getting all the people from Sarnetta. <laughs> hey, yeah, yeah. Sarnetta want to keep playing. Yeah, oh, and, and, oh, and, 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 and to top it off, her, her, and her and Nikki Chanel was not no best friends. They were not no best friends. Let's let's put that on the record too. All the yeah, she was my niece, best friend. No, the fuck she wasn't. And you've also stated that before, correct, Ben? Yes. No yep. holds barred. <laughs> it is what it is. Let's continue, y'all. <laughs> That's the niece of Sonetta. And I don't want to hear shit out of your mouth about this one. Because remember all the times that you played on my children? You lied. 
on my family about even who my family was, this, that, and the fifth, siblings and shit. See, I'm taking it there now to prove that you're a fucking liar. And at the end of the day, you need to take accountability. Your niece chilling with her mother. We showed who Nikki Chanel's mother is and anybody that needs to do anything could reach out to her, get her to do an interview. I said that I would interview her several times. She has not come forward. Shit, she barely even wants to talk to Sonetta. So motherfucker, stop pointing the finger about, oh, they're not reaching out to her and this, that, and the other. You don't know what we've done. Did Like, do you know what they was doing? Yeah, so, so, you know, what more evidence do you want, Sankara? Hello, Sankara. Yeah, I'm I'm listening. I'm 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 weighing More everything. Sonetta in the beginning said that there is no Nikki Chanel. Now there's a Nikki. Yes. That's weird to me. Yes. That's very strange. Yes. I don't okay. trust that at all. Right. Okay. Let's continue. Anybody else got anything to say? Oh, uh, I just no, no, want to no, add Hey okay. Neil. I just want to add that um yeah. his niece hasn't came out and vouched for him either. So yeah, that's a fact. Anybody else? I'm going to ask you know, She was mad question. enough. She was yeah. mad enough to flip that table on being ass. <laughs> right. But Sonnet yeah. is going to play that. She's being did. very silent about this Nikki Chanel thing. Just saying. But Sonnet is going to claim that he flipped his ta Ben's table over, and that never happened. No, was that was Kiana. Facts. That's what was stated. So Sonnet is lying. It's called putting two and two together. Well, I, I like I said, I don't, I don't want to, I don't want to put the details because I used to date his niece. I ain't going into all that. He know what was going on in that room, and all he had to okay, do to, to prove, he, all he had to do to prove that I was lying was get the girl on the phone and say debunk this. That never happened. That never happened. He had the girl on the phone multiple times, and she never once said Jermaine is a liar. She never said Ben Diesel's a liar. But listen, hold on real quick. Shouts out Queen's Throne. I see her in the chat. But you literally just asked me a question and agree with it. You said if you put a girl on the spot, she's going to deny this shit. So, like, that's what she did. And now you explain. She did not do that. She did not say, so I never, and I never had sex. She did not do that. Yeah, she, she didn't say it word for word, but bruh, she did. She didn't say it word. She didn't but say she all did he did was put a chopped though. up audio. When did she play a video where she denied it? So you going to play that chopped up audio? Bro, you're going to play that chopped up audio. And if you know anything oh, about editing, like Uncle Shug said, put it in the editor and you're going to see the distortions all bro, up in the editor. Man. Come on, man. Editing, so, that is a master manipulator. You mean to tell me any other time he's so gung-ho to get anybody on the line and prove anybody wrong. But in this one particular case, he cannot get clarity. Come on, man. Knock it off. Y'all really dumb. Y'all really naive. You wonder why he's protecting polite. You see, I'm, I'm trying to give you all the clues to piece it together. You wonder why he's protecting polite because he did the same thing polite did. But watch this. I'm not trying to protect him, and I'm just trying to know the truth. But you are, but listen, anytime you deal with a person who even still has the dude's videos up on his page, you become culpable in that shit. Bro, there should be a bunch of unsubscribing and everything else until that nigga takes listen, all of those listen, videos, watch all this. those polite videos listen, down watch off this. his page. Watch this. Black can't even stand problem. 10 toes down and hold him accountable for no, that. He no, still no, got no, polite no, videos no, on his page. We already proved that it was edited not only um Suge, but we went over it as well. So that's Cap. No, you can't do that with me, bro. I got videos on my channel saying that it's bullshit that he still got that nigga videos on his channel. You can't do that with me. But I'm not okay. trying to okay. I'm, not tr I'm not trying to go there with you. But do I believe so, what you do? So, hold on, hold on. So, so, says last thing. Last yeah, thing. Yeah, yeah. Says last thing. Do I believe you saw what you saw? Fuck yes, I believe it, bro. But I do I, I cannot say that the nigga was doing something with this girl, bro. I can't say it, bro. She said she was she fucking with the nigga. Yeah, she was. Or, or did yeah, she, she say did. she was fucking with a 30-year-old nigga or whatever the fuck? She said, my boyfriend is a grown man. What she, what, did she say Sonetta, though, bro? Like, we can't... Oh, that was her boyfriend. She said, my boyfriend is a grown man. Hey, hold on, hold on. He was in jail for his little shit. Right there. If Ben is trying to lie, he would just say, yeah, she said Sonetta. Like, right. it's just that simple. Like, he, he ain't even lying on what she said. Like, damn, I mean, I don't know what's wrong with people, man. And then... Ooh. Sonetta's character alone, period, should tell people. His behavior, everything, the way he feels and treats molestation overall, man, shows that he does this shit, man. Yo, let me let me say this. And if Mac Mean's still in the channel, I knew Mac Mean since birth. Mac Mean would tell you, and Mac Mean is his gully and his street 
and as real and part of my French as nigga as they get. And he'll tell you, I've been on my square from day one, man. I ain't, I ain't nothing, no, no reason to lie. I ain't, I'm not a liar. I'm not running through the hood looking for clout, none of that stuff. Telling you what took place and why. Y'all want to know why he's protecting polite because he's one in the same. What, what's so hard to figure out about that? Everybody claiming this high intelligence. I'm a street dude coupled with the, with the book smarts and all this other shit. But then when it comes to something as simple as this, you want to try to play the God. Come on, stop it, man. Stop it. Let's either stand yeah, tall never... or stand down. Let's get back into it. Because I got to um, I gotta edit something out of this. This is the problem. I got to edit something out of this because them hating ass niggas flagged Suge for that picture um, that Inky always be using or whatever of, you know, um, Sebi and all this and that, and mm -hmm. Suge had, um, oh, Suge had um, Sonetta and Brother Polite up there, so they flagged him for nudity, but if this video goes over four hours, I don't think they let me edit it, so I have to pull it down off of YouTube and re-upload it or re-premiere it, if that's the case, but I'm just telling you that there's no slick-ass shit going on, that's why it's on DVR mode or whatever, or no DVR, because... I gotta go and edit that out. Understood. So, so y'all know. Understood. Was five years straight in jail. That's a fucking lie. He went away for a year or so. He was in jail at the time. And when he came home, they reunited. And I saw what I saw. B. That's it. That's, That's it. And when he got on the line, she never. Okay, I'm gonna give you. She didn't confirm it, nor deny. It. That's what does I'm that saying. tell you? That's it. So, That's but it. what does that tell you? What does that say? If you a street nigga and you and, and you put on the spot like that, and he claims like to be it. that. Yes, it looks like it, nigga. I'm not, bro. Listen, bro. Okay. Don't That's think all I'm saying. Listen, That's all I'm saying. Don't think Use for one fucking sense. second, bro. Don't think for one fucking second I'm not sitting here and being like, well, you putting two to two together. That's stupid, nigga. What the fuck I look like, nigga? If it, I can put my daughter in that situation, I can understand if shit looks like shit. Duh, I can do that. That's not a problem. That's what I'm saying. I believe you, nigga. But at the end of the day, what I cannot say is that this shit happened because you weren't there to fucking see it. Put two and two together. I'm with you. I can put two and two together with you all fucking day, my nigga. I could do it all day. Now it's, but it's now you saying it's the same thing like Sarnetta, where he knew what polite was doing. He had it on video. He can't get up here and say that. Uh, I was mad at this dude. I'm banging on him. So I just decided I'm going to say on. that. Hold you hold can't on. do that. You hold can't on. say, no, no, no. You hold can't get up here and say, when I get mad at somebody, I'm going to call them a pedophile like they spiritual father. No, I'm with you. You knew what was going on. Bro, listen. You knew what was going on. You, had to, you said, don't make me get the video tape. That's what he said. Bro, I'm with you on all So it's, it's, to it's totally different. I'm totally different. No, he listen, had concrete, you on that, full proof evidence. I, I, I'm not arguing that, bro. Bro, bro it's the so same way, the same way. Well, look, he said he said he never had the, the girls around him. He never saw nothing. But at the end of the day, we know Polite was guilty on what he did. But you also but, saw you also called, you also it's called see. eyewitness. Listen, listen, it's called like you said. Right, believe what I saw. And, 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 and when you look at shit like Harvey Weinstein, right? right. There wasn't no there wasn't no DNA evidence that got Harvey Weinstein convicted. No one got Harvey Weinstein convicted. Testimony. People saying yes, he came through and did make me do that. So forth, so on. By the multiplicity of people, that's how that happened. And in this case, in this case, it's not a multiplicity. Yeah, in this case, it's not a multiplicity. It's I coming forth, stating the truth. It's up to you. It's up to you to, like you say, believe it or not. That's it. I put it out there. I put it out there. I came out, showed my face, everything else. Put it out there. You can believe it or not. What the fuck? I got a lot for. No, I'm not. What, what, what about like, what, what am I gonna make up this whole story for? That's fuck Sean Nutt. This shit ain't. This shit, shit is bigger than Sean Nutt. But that's not. It's about stopping though. motherfuckers like Michael Nowak. But hold that on, come across these platforms and, and prey on the people. But hold on, that's that's not what I'm doing. I'm not trying to sit here and make you look out to be a liar or some hating ass gay. I'm not doing that type of shit. I'm saying, bro, I believe what you saw. Exactly, Bell. And what you saw was a young girl coming out the nigga fucking house. Oh, excuse me, his room. I believe you, bro. I'm telling you, I fucking believe you. But where do we find out that the nigga was doing something with the girl? That's all the fuck I'm asking. Well, I, I, I tell you what. We're going we gonna to get to the bottom of this. Oh, very, oh, very oh, short. The, only thing me, the only thing niggas tell me when I ask that question is put two and two together. That's the only thing niggas say. Put two and two together. Now, Yo, me bro, personally, bro, 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 this, is, this is sign that you talk about. Now, again, this is the king of this so-called YouTube shit, right? This this conscious community some shit. Niggas, and he, some he niggas. got the girl. He got, first off, he denied it. Now, I don't know the girl. If you know it, you figure it out. 
See, then he gets on the phone. Huh? Then he gets on the phone. And he asked her the question, and she did not deny. Don't get it misconstrued that he was this conscious leader. Don't get it misconstrued that he was this conscious leader in the community back then. He was a drug dealing piece of shit, and he took advantage of that little girl. Just that simple. And, I, and to I, change his life around, he stepped into this conscious community and he got y'all fooled with this shit. But like I said, we're going we to keep debunking it. We're going to keep debunking it as it goes along because he still got like from no like videos on his page and he's still culpable in that regard. So I'm I'm, I'm going to hop off, Q. But um, bad, set something up. Set something up. Facts, Jeanette. You know what I mean? I'm please please throw an eye on deck. Please throw an eye on deck. And whenever his sorry ass think he can get up here and, and, and prove me to be a liar, let's go for it. And let me say this before you dip out, man. You know, I I I, I do enjoy y'all streams. You know what I'm saying? Y'all go in and shit, you know, stuff like that. But for me, bro, I just need evidence, bro. Like for the polite case, so for the polite case, it, it was open and shut because the fucking evidence was there. And I wasn't waiting around patiently for niggas to nah, it was open and shut. But this it ain't open and shut, bro. But Fair I, enough. Fair I, enough. I'm gonna tell you what, we're gonna, we're gonna, on, gonna present some more evidence. We're gonna present some more evidence and let the YouTube investigators. Uh, now stop shit, it right there, Queen Strong. Be- stop it right there. Now that more evidence was the secret recordings of Nikki. Let me say that again. The secret recordings of Nikki. To where he's trying to get this girl on a secret recording. Uncle, let me let me say let me take a step back. The only reason why you would be secretly recording somebody is because you're trying to hide a secret. Let me say that again. Yeah. The only reason why you would be secretly recording somebody is because you're trying to filter and hide a secret. That's why you're secretly recording somebody. Especially when you don't put the whole recording out. Exactly. Little one minute snippets of a conversation. Exactly. And again, we've already debunked, you know, the whole situation of um, her saying that, no, we never had sex. That was totally random as far as the sequence, the background, sounds didn't match. It was a lot. But it of was things, fun. Right? It was fine. It was okay. It's not yeah, like that. I was just going to say that, bitch. <laughs> exactly. But it was okay. I was just going to say it. It was fun and it was fine. And you were a good guy. <laughs> right. Exactly. Yeah. So, listen, so the secret. Listen, you know, we oh, never had sex good. and it was cool and it was fine. And you was a good guy. Yeah. <laughs> like, the fuck? Oh, so the awkward. Awkward. Like, shit nowhere. don't even make sense. Not no even conversation flows that way. But a hey, cute full of shit for saying that to you, Ben, because he literally said he believed Nepal when um he, about Nepal beat on um, saying that Sonetta to beat her. There ain't no evidence of that. That's he taking her word for it. Like you see what? how they keep being like talking out the side of net and being Talk hypocrites. Time. Like when is okay to believe hearsay or whatever? There is no evidence yeah, of, he, us, he, of Nepal or Sonetta beating the shit out of Nepal. He put, but a lot of us believe it based off of Sinetta's history. He put two in the motherfucker. Facts. So, <laughs> he literally said he believed it. That shit was crazy. Thing. That's true, though. Shit. Let's yeah. get back into it. Back. This nigga Sinetta back, y'all. <laughs> that nigga said drop the link. Yo, Sai, you in there, bro? Yeah, Wait, yeah, hold on. He came back. Yeah. Yep. So after being and, dropped and down, then he came back. No, yep. it was a short he time after. Cow Obviously, was. we ain't the the um portion that I had grabbed this from was about over three hours. So I chopped it down to one forty one. Respectfully, didn't rearrange what anybody said. Just like I don't do that in all my edits. Like no, you my don't. edits are just straight flowing. No, no you don't do that. You don't step on nobody's shit. Yeah, I don't need to do that. And if I do, it's it's on some funny shit like Sonetta wrestling with the hoodie and shit, and how I put the song on there. It's well known that I did something to it. You know, it's co- comedy. But so after mean, when we're talking about real shit, real topics, it's a real topic. I'm not finna play like that. After being love, he came back. He a coward, bro. This is why I think he guilty. A little shit like this. Mega coward. Ready? Let it go. We got about a little bit less than twenty minutes left. Panel with these niggas to scream and get my blood pressure. See, up. this is but but see, look, I wasn't gonna allow that. The same way how I was trying to get <laughs> his blood pressure, to... <laughs> and not right. be going at my man like that. I was gonna try to do the same shit, but I wasn't finna let niggas listen. 
I wasn't finna let you go at niggas like that, and I wasn't finna let niggas go at you like that, bro. Jamil was trying to have a conversation. What he said, what he was trying to have a conversation, and I was gonna try a lot of niggas to do it, me personally. Inky, Inky already proved it, that the nigga lied, that they made up the story, because the nigga been seeing it, that me and Inky was going at it. Ben and Inky are from the Bronx. When the, when the nigga first called Stop in, it right there, all please, the way back. Yeah. Because it's time for the shits to come out. I'm with the shits, mm. okay? Huh? You coerced Inky. Now, when you was banging on Inky, Frankie, I didn't call Inky for shit. Inky called me because he knows that I know the most about you, dirty devil. He knows that. So he called me and said, yo, I need something on Saw because he going in on me, man. And at the time, I really thought Inky was true blue. And I said, oh, yeah, that's easy, bro. That nigga's a dirtbag. That's why he defending polite. And I, I brought the story out. And, you know, I'm not an internet guy. I'm not, I am I haven't been up here. I, I do it with you, Queen's Throne, because I know you true blue. Mm -hmm. I know that. I feel like deep down in my heart, I ain't, like, like even this dude Q say, we ain't never going to fall out, because that's how real we are. But when Inky Act. called that day, when Inky called that day, I said, I got you, bro. But I said, I want to do it like this, because I really don't want to be out there. So I'm going to do a little disguise voice and all that. But that whole situation was Inky calling me saying, I need something to stop this dude, Sarnetta, because they know that I know this guy. You can let it play. What are you talking about? You talking about? I'm what talking about Ben and Inky. They from the Bronx. They was in the Bronx together. Ben seen me and Inky going at it. He see that this is his opportunity. If I did all of this, Q, and I'm surprised that you said, no, I believe you, I believe you. None of this, hold on, let me finish, let me finish. None of the shit that the nigga said was facts. None of the shit that the nigga said. So you said, heard the nigga? No, I didn't hear him. I heard him a long time ago when he kept, he kept saying that shit. So, so. Well, if Sadnet is never listening, then how do we get, you know, it's not only on, it's not on Ben. Ben already said that he would have a convo with him. He's the one running. So, so my question is, if I can facilitate it to where both of y'all niggas can be respected. I don't want to talk to this nigga. See, we live the, here in Harlem. See, we right. And really, there's nothing for them to talk about. Here in Harlem. He would come over to my house because he never had no money as a, as a teenager to get his hair cut. I cut everybody here because I used to work in the barbershop. And so I would cut this nigga here, give him some cereal and milk, and send him on his fucking way. Why don't you talk to the nigga in a controlled environment? Stop it right there. Listen, I, listen, I, listen. I really don't even want to. I really don't even want to address that. But at this time, he's talking. I was working on Wall Street. I was working on Wall Street, so money wasn't no issue, even on the minuscule scale. I had money to get a haircut. Like, knock it off, bro. Right. I was gonna go try to find that audio when we addressed that before. See, Sonetta just runs around and regurgitates the same lying ass shit. You know, lying I mean? ass shit. Over Straight again. lies. And then wants us to go over it over and over and over again with him. No, the videos are uh, we moving ahead. Right. Listen, 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 listen. He's yelling and he's gonna be lying. No. I don't want to get to that level with him. But I don't listen, wanna listen. But listen, this. if we can have a controlled environment to where y'all two niggas can talk with no niggas ain't screaming. No, Nothing to talk about with him because all he gonna do is lie. What the you know fuck the nigga I'm... finna say you scared behind this, bro. Nigga finna say you scared. I'm, I'm scared to death, brother. I am scared to death of getting high blood pressure. You're right. How the fuck Queen Throw know this nigga? She never even seen this nigga. What the fuck? How does he know half of the people that he know online that he never met? He act all chummy with everybody on this bitch. But everybody seems to let that shit go over their head. This nigga said that this 14 year old little girl was sexy as shit when he met that? her. Who said that? Ben, ben Diesel. But hold on. I hold never, on, I on, never said on, anything on. about her being 14. I and said when I met her, she was sexy as shit. Right. When I said, I never said her being sexy as shit. I said she had a dress on and she was looking beautiful. Never right. said anything about her looking sexy as shit. So, and when I said that, I said I was 17, she was 15. And we were strolling yeah. the streets of Harlem. Exactly. It's definitely not the same as the Nikki and Sonetta age difference. Be fair to ben, he did say they was in the same age range. So he can't no, say... Bro, he was not in the same age range, bro. He said that they was both... Nikki is the same age as his niece. And, we, and we've already proven how old his niece is. So Sonetta liked to lie and say that Nikki and Kiana were best friends. But if that's the case, they're the same age still. You know what I'm exactly. saying? 
like he's never come out and debunked that portion. But we showed that because he keeps pushing our hand. Said about her. Yeah, he can say that, but they was not. They was not. So 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 let's get with the evidence. Are you finna tell was, me? Brother, he was in college. Stay with me for Queen, me. Fuck that Queen bitch, Wong just yeah. debunked. Again, same shit, man. Get his little fifteen minutes of fame. Let All me get right, mine. But, but I still want the story. I don't. I, I can't let niggas just. Oh, he's worried about fifteen minutes of fame, though. Say no. shit, bro. Because I listen. I didn't. I didn't let that nigga just say shit oh. up here, bro. So I can't just let you say shit. I, I didn't let him do it. I didn't let him just say shit about you. Nobody in my in my hood. Nobody till this day call me Frank Gary. Nobody. Nobody in my in my hood. Nobody mm -hmm. till this day call me Frank Gary. Nobody. Nobody. In my in my hood, nobody till this day call me Frank Gary. Nobody. Hello. Uh, Who is this? Yeah, this is Nikki. Who's Nikki. This? Nikki, how you doing? Nikki, Nikki, I'm fine. How are you? Nikki, Nikki, how you doing? Who's Nikki, Nikki. Who is this? Frankie Gary. I know y'all heard that. This that's about the third time we pointed that out. He talked about nobody called him that. She definitely said, "Who is that, Frankie Gary?" Come on, Frankie Gary. Mm, you couldn't get more descriptive. So, Sankara, you need more evidence, Sankara. You need more evidence, Sankara. Streetwise, Sankara. I ain't gonna mess with you, bro. I'm just I'm just poking on you right now. Get it's ahead, cool. Please. No, I mean I think it's very very suspect, and I, that's what I've always thought. It's very suspect. Very sus. Call me that, brother. Nah, he they said, always you know, he, he said they called you filthy Frankie. They, they, they never called me. Picture that. Picture them calling me that, and I'm in the Black Panther Party, rolling up and down the street, giving pe free food programs, giving out clothing. Before you went to prison, I think that's what they called him Frankie York. Not Frankie York. <laughs> <laughs> Yo, I got to respect Cube because Cube kept the shit in context. He didn't let him run away with it. He said, nah, 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 brother. He said, this was before you was in the Black Panther Party. This was before this so-called conscious shit. You were right. still filthy Frankie, and you groomed that girl, and you manipulated her, and you took advantage of her sexually. That's what he was trying to say. I'm going to keep it a buck. I think he was brother, saying. Brother, listen to me. He didn't know me before I went to prison. He knew me when I came home. Okay. I wasn't even Back. living on 150th Street. I didn't know Nikki. I didn't know none of them niggas because I went to prison on the 163rd Street in Amsterdam. That's the block I was living on. When I came home, I came home on the 125th Street. When you came home, how old he was? I, Stop I it know, right there. I know he was young. Stop he right was young. That's, a little, that's a little spellbinding magic. I came home to 125th Street. No, Negro. You came home to 150th Street in St. Nicholas Avenue. That's where you came home to. 125th Street didn't come to years later. To after you came home, Negro. You didn't hit 125th Street till after Dr. Khalid Muhammad died. God bless his soul. You didn't hit 125th Street till 2001. We talking about from 96 when you came home. Frankie. Let it ride, Queen. And I was cutting all of the kids here in the building. They called me um Salik. Salik Karan. I was known as Salik Karan, brother. And let me tell you. He in the back. Wasn't York known as several names as well? He, no, yes. I don't want to talk to the nigga. I'm just, I, I, no, I'm putting it out there. Yeah, it's I'm all right. Saying. He can come up when I leave. I don't give a fuck about that nigga. That nigga want to suck my See? dick. But I don't give there a fuck. There we go. Mentally, dis mentally disordered sex offender. And like I said, the only difference between him and Polite is that that the video evidence wasn't there. We had video cameras in the building and shit at the time. Y'all would have seen Nikki walking into that house in the whole nine yards type shit. But he's a right. mentally disordered sex offender because every time he gets under the gun, it's always a, a, a reference to something sexual. Suck my. But you need more evidence. Keep it going, Queen. Yeah. That nigga's a fucking dick sucker. So I don't get down like that. So bro. you don't want to talk to the nigga at all? To the nigga at all. All he looking for is fame off my name. I don't want to get that nigga no motherfucking shine. He could get Oh, Ben ain't promoting no channel, no products, nothing. Facts. Who's over here and speaks? He ain't asked for a cash app, nothing. Fame when I leave. Say What'd you say? 
I said, fame off of his name. How? Right. What right. fame do you have? Right. Exactly. He got True. some new shit he finna drop, and I'm definitely gonna listen to it. I don't care, it. because you know why the new shit is? The new shit is more, more shit that you wanna find out and um put together. That's the new shit you wanna drop, bitch. Drop the shit, nigga, if it's new shit. Drop it, and make sure you have facts. Make Stop sure it right there, facts, Queen. Stop, Stop it right there. Games. Go drop it. We got the secret recordings of Nikki. Nikki, we didn't do none of this. This was this bozo secretly recording you and bringing these recordings to the internet that divulged all of this information. That fact. divulged your mother's name. That compelled an investigative journalist like Queen's Throne to take it a step further and research it. And find y'all up there to know that y'all exist, to know that I'm telling the truth. But by the time that she had said her name, we that was just clarification right there. Pretty much. You know, we already, I already but, but all of that information from this guy secretly recording you and then running to the internet and posting your phone calls that you think you're having in confidence. You can let it rot. Sankara, you said something? Yeah, I just wanted to ask you something real quick, Ben. Um, and this is just out of curiosity. Do you have any, because we were talking about the streets and uh, the way he's known on the streets, right? Is there a mm -hmm. way that you can bring somebody that you know from that, from the streets, from that area, from that time, that can kind of back you up, like to say, yes, he was called Frank Gary. Yes, we know about him. And like, we know about him and Nikki. Do you have somebody like that that you can pull up? You know, just just asking. I'm not saying I'm, you know. I'm being brutally. I'm gonna be brutally honest with you, brother. My circle of street dudes that know this guy, they're not getting on the internet. I'm the sacrificial lamb that came up here to say, you know what? Let me just put this out there. My guys are so real in the streets that they don't play these games. And when you when you when we let it play, he's gonna make another statement. And I'm going to qualify that, what I'm going to say to that statement. When he okay. says something about killing somebody, but I'm going to let it ride. But okay. no, there's the, to, to, to answer your question, none of my, no, none of my guys are getting up here, playing on the internet, putting their name out there, putting their face out there because they're street dudes, literally street dudes. They don't do the internet. Mm -hmm. Inky, they don't do the internet. Inky, Inky verified it. Facts. And I know somebody else. I know, sure, but the thing is, I don't trust Inky though. Yeah, but yeah, I, I hear you. You trust Sonetta? You know, I don't trust Sonetta. You, trust you did. You did, brother. That's why I asked you, why did you believe the Renette? Because it came out of Sa's mouth. You believe that. So, an uh, 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 untrustable person can tell the truth sometimes. Yeah, but here's the thing with, with Inky though, sure. Here's the problem with Inky. The problem with Inky is. Inky no. came later and no, said, problem, Oh, even Sa knew know. as if he oh. didn't know. Inky pretended like he didn't know. That's my problem with Inky. That's the difference. When did Inky pretend he didn't know? When he was up here with y'all. I don't know. And he didn't know what? Go back. Again. Inky was up here. Inky was up here, uh, and he was acting like, uh, see, Sa knew about Renente. Sa knew, and by doing that, he's implying that he was innocent and didn't know the whole time and found out later. See, that's the problem I have with Inky. Right. And I got, we got a problem with him as well. Right. So, so I can't just go by, see, that's why I don't trust Inky or Inky said it. So therefore, see, I can't do that with him because he lost credibility for me. Sankara, what you, what you're failing to realize is called facilitation. Inky had nothing to do with the Nikki Chanel story other than presenting it. The credibility is coming from I. Simple as that. True. You should be okay. able to delineate that. Okay. I, I, we, I we clarified okay. that. We clarified that in every opportunity we had. So I got you. you could take you could take Inky out of this. Inky Inky was a mere facilitator. That's it. He was a facilitator. He played his part. Whether he stayed on our side or did what he did and go back to the yeah. house of pedophile. And he didn't he say that. He didn't say that. Um, the trial was a mistrial. He said if I had listen to the audio um, or had it beforehand, then I would have had to say it was a mistrial. But clearly Inky possibly needs views or whatever to why he would jump shit. You know what I'm saying? And, not just that. and that's already happened. So you get one chance with me and after that I'm done. 
Right. And then Top Flight told Sarnetta earlier on that podcast, play the evidence of Inky denouncing like that, told this was, that this was a, 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 a hoax, so to speak. And he, you know what Sarnetta said? Oh, we good right now, so I'm not going to play. Come on, man. Come on, man. Yeah, I feel you. I mean, Sarnetta confirmed it out of his own mouth, too. He said what they know him for in Harlem. And I could tell you somebody else who confirmed him. Well, it's just a uh, filthy Frank thing. It's uh, Brother Roy Rael. And I remember Sa saying that he was uh, referred to as Frank Gary. I remember that from somewhere. I don't know if you have the clip, Suge. But I see, Suge, I remember all these clips that you be. I remember. See, a lot of people just now getting on to this. There's a lot of stuff I remember because I was around. I remember him saying he was referred to as Frank. Yeah, and I don't have, but see, I don't have no clips to prove it. Maybe you have it. Yeah, I got it. I'm, I'm. If Queen's Throne allow me after hers, I, I'll play it. That's why I say I know he's lying. But see, that's as far as I'm. I can say, right. but I, right. I can tell he's suspect, Listen, bro. Right. That's what I'm saying, bro. Like when this a, a, a whole bunch of questionable things on top of a person's behavior. Let me show y'all something else real quick, because this is overlooked. And I can't believe like nobody will ever. I, it's like I'm the only one be saying this. Like, this is sad. Okay, look at this. He he reposted this woman's video two years ago. Look, he got her government name right here, aka Sci-Fi, being molested as a little girl and now a woman filled with pain. Mm -hmm. He reposted this to taunt this woman about being molested. Right. This is, a, this is a person de denying molester and a little girl. Now, hold on. This is the House of Consciousness page. Right. L let's go to. uh, l Let's go over to Sonetta Studios. Mm -hmm. Let's go over to Sonetta Studios. Um, Look at this. What's this? This is the sci fi five years ago. And the other woman, Betty something being molested as a little girl and now a woman confused. Mm. Look, Two years ago, same video, reposted it again. I was a I was molested as a little girl, as a grown woman, and filled with pain. I think about it all the time. Sankara, you don't think this little guy was this this old man was fucking kids, man? Seriously, bro, taunting women that was molested, that was on his panel, his show, telling their stories for, for and he for told moments. So he, he told me and Neo that he don't believe that we were molested. I'm sick. Yeah, I remember. Yeah, he lies we about lie. everything. That's why I say he seems guilty. Yes. That's the we first time I heard you say that. No, I said my personal opinion, though. All I'm saying is if somebody came to me and said, hey, provide evidence that he did something, I would have to tell that person, no, I don't have any evidence. Also, That's all. He also, look how he just loosely called you a molester, man. <laughs> Yes, I agree. Okay, he that's a man who he will do it. He's done and he'll do it again. He's probably still doing it. I wouldn't doubt it. He probably, listen, I'm not saying this because I've heard about those Dominicans that do things to their own daughters. He might be one of them fucking Dominicans. We don't know. All that new right. shit that motherfucker practice. Hey, wow. I can't argue none of that. That nigga on. Oh, here just calling people molest. Look what he keeps trying to say about me, bro. He, listen, man, I have three children. My my oldest son is 29. My next child is 18. Both my children are the mothers are the same age, but I met them 11 years apart. He keeps chopping up the video trying to trick y'all. In my experience, anybody that accuses people lying about being chomos the way he does is one himself in my experience. Thank you, man, thank you, sir. I know you was a smart man. It's the fucking the pizza. I, I just put some more puzzle. Uh, I can't get it out, y'all. I'm fucking. Getting <laughs> out but again, that's just together. my personal opinion. Because this nigga saw need his ass whooped for the stuff. He look at how he's taunting these women. Nobody is calling this shit. You got motherfuckers going over there on this dude panel, just sitting there talking shit while he collecting super chats and shit. Why he got videos on his page taunting women that was molested that went over there to tell their stories for teaching moments. But he's using them to try to hurt them because he see the women, women in other chats. You soft bitch. Right. Mad as fuck over there, your whole ass nigga.
This nigga's a piece of shit. Yeah, because he said you molested your son. He said that uh, Shaka yeah. molested his daughter. Like, you know, yeah, people that have a mind like that, it's something wrong there. Well, but yes. And he said that to Suge first before Suge said that to him. And right. You know I did say, Carl, I asked for an apology, bro. I, I know. Didn't, I didn't want to go through this shit. And he called me the same thing. Y'all heard that. So, yeah, it's something, it's something up with him. Something ain't right. It's called projection. You done with that, Shug? Yes. Okay. I'm going to leave it still on there. I'm not going to, like, you know, because you said you wanted to share something else. No, so I'm you... still here. Oh, no, I was saying. Um, uh, well, we only got, like. Yeah, um, what's yours? I thought that, yeah, I thought like it was 12 20. minutes left. Yeah, it's not. Yeah, I got to see this. This shit. The nigga said he's seen us coming out the room. Did you see? Did you see my dick in the nigga? Stop <laughs> it right there, Queen Throne. Stop it right there. That that huh? is the ultimate admission of guilt. Thank you. That, that's the ultimate. He put himself at the scene of the crime. Facts. He put himself at the scene of the crime. Are y'all not paying attention to this? I noticed that. Did you see my dick in her, nigga? Did you see her pull her panties up? He put himself at the scene of the crime. That's crazy. Come on, y'all. Like, stop playing with this, man. And then y'all call yourself conscious. And in the words of Uncle Shook, y'all wonder why we're not advancing, man. Because all you so-called smart guys are playing dumb. They still want to go to this panel like Dr. Inky. I still want to be up on the house of pedophiles. Yeah, I still want to go up there and associate themselves with somebody who got multiple videos of a mentally uh, a disordered sex offender on their page that copped out. This nigga copped out. He didn't say, take me to trial and show this evidence that I'm innocent. That nigga copped out. And y'all still playing with it. Y'all still talking about, I ain't got no problem, saw. Yo, so I believe you. Like, come on, man. Stop it. Um, Incognito, I don't know if you missed it, but there's a video that happened eight months ago where Suge explained his baby mama's age. He explained it in this video, but I'm going to have to take that portion out because that's the portion where Suge had um, that as his background, I think, possibly. I don't know. I got to go back and look at it. So if there's anything removed, that's what it's going to be because they're flagging it for nudity, even though it's a... It's a picture that's been widely shown, you know what I mean, on social media and just everywhere. So it's just weird. But anyway. I wonder is because I put a uh, polite face on them bodies, man. <laughs> I think because, well, it's a reason for them to flag. It's, you know what I mean? Because his, the one dude's little penis is kind of right there. But the but Inky got that picture up on it. I know, and that's how you can tell where the flag came from. Obviously, we didn't flag it. We ain't never flagged it. That's why oh, it looks bad. It's bad. Oh my gosh, that really looks bad. So yeah. this goes over. Um, we're almost at four hours, so I'm gonna have to pull it down when we're done and edit it out, and then re put it back up. So just so everybody know, ain't no funny ass shit going on mm -hmm. but um you guys ready? hey i'm about to be out queen hey i just want right. to say that i appreciate your work and suge's work just for the record i appreciate you guys it. been exposing uh, him and, yeah, i apologize uh, about calling you the b word i just got real pissed off i was passionate so hey I, it's I no it. i get it and let me just say this real quick to neo x neo x the only thing that i ever said about you was that you were a lesbian. So this whole I'm homophobic and all that, don't do that. Hey, man, make sure you watch the edit. Are you homophobic? Homophobic? Yeah. I don't even deal with that word at all. I'm, I, I uh, promote being heterosexual, but I don't have a problem. I don't disrespect. I don't kick gays down the uh, the steps and slap them in the face and spit in their eye. No. I'm gonna move forward. 
because I don't want to bring it up or whatever. But, but I'm just saying, Neil, that's what happened. You had a problem with me because I called you a lesbian. That's all. Nah, 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 brother. I had a problem because y'all said that I was attacking black men. And the reason why I was attacking them because I was gay. Neil, all and I'm saying is... And then y'all said is, I lied about being not homophobic. That. Let's just right. leave it at that. Let's just all right. Okay, I'm going to let it go. Stay okay. tuned for the next edit. All right. Don't leave the chat, man. You're going to want to see this, I'm telling you. All right. We're almost done with this one. Thank you for Ooh. coming up here, though, Sankara. No problem. Peace. All right. We got Ben back. All right. So let's get back into this. You just seen us coming out the room? Did you see her pulling up her panties, nigga? The nigga said, we seen us coming out the room. Did you see? Did you see my dick in the nigga? Did you see that? You just seen us coming out the room? Did you see her pulling up her panties, nigga? The nigga said, we seen us coming out the room. Did you see? Did you see my dick in the nigga? Did you see that? You just seen us coming out the room. Did you see her pulling up her panties, nigga? What the fuck is wrong with this nigga? This nigga crazy. He's a fucking. Oh, when he when he see me come out the room, he jumped. He looked to the right. He looked to the left. That shit you can tell. That's a made up fucking story. Okay, but, but then but okay. Stop it right so, there, Queen Throne. You knew. Now, if 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 you recall, if you recall. If you can hear me clear, because I had to come out and come back in. I never said he jumped. But, yeah, yeah. but, but he did jump. So now he's adding some more testimony to the story. Yes, nigga, you did jump. You stood up like, oh, shit. Like, where, where the fuck y'all came from? Right. So if you want to add some more verbs to that, to that part of the story, yes, you did jump. When I said you looked like you was astonished and shocked that we was coming down the hall, you jumped. Stood up at attention like, oh, shit, where y'all come from? Ain't nothing made up about this. And that's why Nikki has never denied it, because she's not going to let you. You can let it rock. The nigga knew you been online, whatever, had, had your channel. Are, are you saying, like, why did, why would the nigga just come out right fucking now? Yo, they playing with my boy, like, Let me just attack Sinetta. Why he ain't bring this hey, man? It's out. Because the nigga been hating on the low all the time. All the time he been hating. Playing his music. I'm right there. He just been hating, bro. Why is Inky? Why did Inky he was mad about Ben playing his music. He take that book off the shelf. Cause he know he could get sued. He yeah, knew it. I'm, I'm if it's a... real, why the Inky took that fucking book down? Why the Inky leave them niggas and came over here? Why? Nah, See, nah, you can't. You, you can't. You can't trust Inky, bro. Inky is, you know, that type of nigga. But I will tell you this, bro. If the nigga say he saw something, I finna believe that the nigga saw it. But it doesn't mean, cause, cause when I asked the nigga, he said, "Oh, we'll put two and two together." Nah, bro. You, you can't put. You can't do the. You can't do the put two and two together shit with me, bro. Can't you know, just... you know, I asked her, did me and you have sex? You know what Nikki said? But hold on, though. Hold on. That's another. I'm glad you brought that up. Yeah. Because uh, I don't know if he said it. No, I think he did say it. But when you putting a female on a spot like that, bro, it's it, it's more. No, it's me that they would lie. They're not. Gonna, you, you, no, think no, she, you think no, she's no, gonna no. tell a thousand people to fucking that that, that no, she fucking? It's only me and her that, on the phone, brother. What are you talking about? It's me and her on the phone. She don't know I'm recording. She don't know that. It's me and her talking. It's me and her on the phone. She don't know I'm recording. She don't know that. It's me and her talking. It's me and her on the phone. She don't know I'm recording. She don't she know, know I'm recording. Damn. What type of slime ball are you? She don't know I'm recording. Damn. So when you put somebody on the phone and don't tell them I'm recording. Yeah, and she still didn't say that they didn't have sex. That's crazy. Wow. That's wild. Y'all ready? We got a, um, 10 minutes left. Let it rip. It's me and her talking. Yeah, but she got to know something. If you, if you, she if, don't know, brother. She don't know, man. But if you just Come asking on, a person that, that shit out of the blue, they're going to be like, what the fuck? No, like, like no, that's not true. They're not gonna be like that. If they know we fucked, we fucked. Like you can't just be like, did we ever fuck? She don't know something is up. Like that, cute, because she's grown. She's a grown woman now. She ain't no child. 
She's a grown woman. She straight up said, listen, you know me and you never had no sex. Hmm. And she said, now you got the nigga. Where is she he lied to my mother. What? When did she say that? She never said that. Nah. <laughs> I don't know what he saw talking about. <sighs> he just lies. Mm-hmm. And, and then he gets mad because we look at what he says out of his own mouth. Mm-hmm. But he don't never get mad at the nigga that's sitting there like a fucking goofball with some flames on his head just getting lied to that won't ask the questions. Wow. <laughs> that, that, that part. That's a whole for You should thank the most high because she believe in God. You should thank the most high that the nigga gave you a way out. And she's steaming and she mad. She mad as hell. Yo, I'm old enough now, Q, where I want to that nigga. Nah, don't say that. Nah, don't, don't, not on my channel, bro. Don't say that shit. Right in his motherfucking head. Chill, bro. Don't, don't say that. I want to that nigga. Nah, bro. You tripping. Bro. No, I'm not tripping. Nah, bro. You think I'm tripping. He said he want to shoot, Ben. Uh, wanna... Stop, Stop it right there, please, bro. Stop hey, it right there. I'm back in right on time. Ben, hey, man. Stop, Stop it right there. there. Hey, man. Stop I'm it not, right there. I'm not laughing, bro. At you. Please, but shit. This nigga's crazy, man. This I'm nigga's not. crazy. Sure, sure. Let me let me just explain something to you. First off, I take everybody at face value. You say that, so now when I see you, I know what type of time we on. Simple as that. That's one. Two, it's called assured mutual destruction. I'm not no suck ass nigga. When he say when he say all that shit on 125th Street, nobody liked them. That's exactly what that means. The nobodies, but the somebodies and the everybody's loved us. Mm-hmm. So now, when you start talking all that, you want to pop somebody in their head, you do that, and that's all I'm gonna say to that. So, I never ain't never bust a gun in his life. That nigga ain't probably never fired a shot, let alone talking this type of tough talk. But I'm not, not gonna be promoting violence, but you know, he already knows that Ben would. You know, it would go down if they fought head up. You know when when Q when told him, fight him as a man, you heard what he said. I ain't fighting that nigga. So I'm going to leave it at that. Sonetta, you know what you are. Candy-coated ass Negro. Nothing tough about you. I'm going to see you. I'm going to see you one day. And you ain't going to do nothing but scar your face. You ain't going to do jack shit. And like I said, if you do it, you, you already know what to do. Go find your family and go do what you got to do with them, too. Take them off the count. <laughs> They're not the rusty 22 again. Y'all remember when he threatened Hassan with that gun? <laughs> <laughs> and look, he's a felon with a firearm on a live stream. And he never got arrested for that? That, that nigga an like agent. That, that nigga an yeah, agent. We've been saying that. that. We've been saying that. He's an agent. He's a fucking yeah. agent. And his job is to divide the conscious community. That's his job. And anybody messing with him is culpable in his duties of dividing black folks so we stay weak and we don't get together. We're, in the words of Uncle Shug, we're never going to advance with this type of muckery at the helm. Let it rip, Queen's Throne. Right? Fighting, nigga. No, I'm, 60, I'm 61 years old, man. I don't want to fight that nigga. I want to... That nigga in his motherfucking melon. And that nigga know that I, I give it up like that. He knows that. Ask that nigga what happened. When that nigga came out one time on 125th Street, he got in my spot. He came out early like a bitch. And I flipped that nigga motherfucking table. No, you didn't. No, I you didn't. You called Kiana Gary. You called Kiana Gary. And Kiana came out there and know what type of man I am. And she showed her ass. She flipped my table. She flipped the fuck out that table. She might even mush me. She might have came up to me and said, you punk mother, mush me. I don't put my hands on women. I'm not you, Frankie. I'm not going to punch them in the face to where they see the white light. You heard? But That's not what I do. He's even lying about that, though. Just like, exactly. He's lying about all type of little ass shit. Like, do you, th- do exactly. you think that anybody would just believe that he went over there, flipped your table over, and y'all didn't fight? I would have fucked him up. Pardon my bro. friend. I would have fucked him up. But when I saw Kiana come out there, I already knew what type of chess move that was, and I won up them. She flipped it, and I picked it up because I ain't going to jail for no shit like that. And I ain't going to jail know, for what? Ben not. is real serious about you know weightlifting and shit like that. You know what I mean? Working out and shit and being healthy. He's stacked. You know what I mean? No, no Diddy or nothing like that, right? I'm just playing. Right. But um, but he's stacked. So 
Like, and then you got frail ass Sonetta. Like, come on, bro. Stop the cat. It's not even a matchup. <laughs> right. <laughs> All right, let's go. Oh, fucking table. They saying you didn't play the whole audio. Drake K47 says, then play the whole audio. I, I, no, listen. Fuck Drake. I don't need to play mm. a motherfucking thing for you, nigga. I play what I fucking play. <laughs> believe it or don't believe it. Fuck you. <laughs> Who the fuck got to prove something to you bitch ass niggas? Fuck you, man. I play what the fuck I play. You know as bad as hell at Drake K47. <laughs> <laughs> This where he about to flip. He about to crash out right now. Tell these niggas to play the whole fucking video. <laughs> they cut up, edit every fucking thing of mine. None of you bitch ass niggas come out and say play the whole video so we can hear the context of what the fuck he mean. I can only speak for myself, but I stopped just pulling up in a live and showing the video off of his channel because he started flagging. So obviously you edit it. We do look at the whole video though, but. He can't flag it, so he's mad. So I'll never tell the truth. So yeah, the he, fuck up, Drake. he be striking. Yeah, Neo, you know about that. Yeah, he does. He hit me a few times. Yeah, me too. We know Shug, and yeah, it's just some crazy shit. Out of here. That's fair. That is fair. It's not fair. But yeah, man, I don't want to hold you too long, man. You said what you said. He yeah. said what he said. And if y'all niggas don't want to come together and have a conversation with you, I ain't coming together with that motherfucker. Yeah, but if like if you could debunk like this, this is like if you could debunk the nigga shit, if you could debunk the nigga shit, what's up, BD guy? Brother, I already debunked it already, Q. I could give you the videos. I'm no, you didn't. no, you Maybe didn't. No, you didn't, Frankie. Said... You didn't debunk anything, Frankie. You lied about everything. You didn't debunk nothing. You put Nikki on the line, and Nikki never denied the allegation, according to you. So you didn't debunk anything. Damn. All you did was continuously lie about what took place and instead of you being a man and coming forth and saying you know what family at 60 years old when i reflect on my past i made a major mistake i let i let myself think with my lower self you didn't you didn't confess like a man you came out and you tried to hide it you tried to lie about it you said who is nikki i don't know no nikki ben diesel's a liar all this other crazy shit all the way to the point where you came out and you put Nikki on the phone and you told her, you know, Jermaine said when I was fit, when you was 15 and I was 32, we had sex. And her response was, yeah, well, he's trying to get famous and popular. Mm -hmm. exactly. and in the words of, in the words of Arsenio Hall, something that'd make you go. Hmm. Hmm. Very interesting. That that funky right. throne, some call a queen throne. That's I my said, girl. That, that's my girl. You, you can go at her, but that's my girl. I said that. Go at you, at me, but okay. When she was over here on the, as a mod, she got mad because I took her fucking mod wrench. The bitch was all over there on my channel. Shout out to Queen of Thrones. I was checking her out <laughs> last night. She was going in, dropping some powerful information, man. I'm sitting back just checking her out, listening to what she got to say. And I learned a few things over there. And I would love to get Queen of Thrones. I need Queen of Thrones. I got to get that sister because she went through real molestation. So I would like to really get it in on her story about molestation. The Queen of Thrones. I got to go in on that. We got to build on that and bring over the real people that went through that. Facts. And she said to me, Sonetta, when you gonna let me see what that dick Lord, is like? I wanna say something. <laughs> <laughs> when, <Go ahead>. uh, <laughs> yo, yo, this nigga is really insane, yo. That yeah, was thrown out with that shit crazy. Oh goddamn shout out. That's just that's all I just wanted to say. <laughs> hey, I got inspired from when you play the clip of what he, you know, said. We yeah. shot the light on a lot of these, you know, cracking some codes and cracking some heads. Yeah, I got inspired. I was like, ooh, I know he said that shit. So he was coming over to my panel. Oh, and again, my God. I got a couple of videos that I got to edit, you know, that I want to edit. I don't got to, but that, how we became cool is a part of what we going to be looking at. So I haven't edited it yet or whatever because this was more important to me. No. Uh, I, I want to say one more thing, y'all. Every sister 
that he's supposed to talk to about these stories. Y'all see how he turn on them and get to using them against them? Mm-hmm. Facts. Act like he don't believe them. They lie. This is this dude is sick. And I wonder, do he get off hearing these stories? And I and I don't mean no disrespect, ladies or anybody else, but I wonder if he getting off on this secret. Like, yeah, he probably is. I'm serious. His vault, Shug? Huh? His vault. His vault. Yeah, right. Remember, I, got yeah. The pictures right here right. in my phone. Yeah. You know how many pictures of sisters I got in my phone? It's <laughs> <laughs> crazy, yo. This dude is he is sick. He's hey, a mentally Shug, disordered I, sex offender, man. Shug, I um, I actually made a video about that saying that um I think Sonetta Low Key gets off on these stories and he could be a sexual sadist because I never had a man ever ask me for details of what happened to me when I was four. Even that when I told insane. my ex-husband, yeah, even when I told my ex-husband what happened, um, he was just upset. Like he part, he wanted to hurt the person because he knew I told him who it was, but um, he never asked me. Well, give me details or tell me what he did or how he did it. Sonetta is the only man to ever ask me to do that. So I literally yes. made a whole video exposing that I think he might be a sexual sadist. Yes, that he gets off on this shit. Yes. Mm -hmm. Yep. And yes. that he want me to tell his audience because, you know, he know majority of them are pervs and, you know, for them to get off on their own sexual gratification. And I tell him, I'm definitely not going to share my story or ever give details to your fucking audience. Well, and I the voice. Did this. I did. So in response, he might come out with that or whatever, but it is what it is. Go ahead. Um, in the voice of Suntan. Hey, man, if a 13 year old girl come up into that room. She fair game, man. Mm -hmm. She know what she doing in there. Suntan. Mm -hmm. yeah. you, you, you clearly stated the age, Suntan. You said if a 13-year-old girl comes up into the room, she knows what she's doing there. And she, he said other such shit, too. You know what I'm saying? Oh, Suntan mm -hmm. got about two different clips. Oh, Good. You, you know God I mean? him. For real. Man, it's sick. These people are sick. Pervert Park, right over there on Ped uh, Pedophile Island, uh, Predator Island. <laughs> Shit. It's crazy. This is sick. Let's go. <laughs> That's <laughs> word to my mama, word to my children. Guess who else the bitch said that to? And I got proof. She you got said, proof? Yeah. See, and see, this. See, I got proof. How excited he got with. You got proof? <laughs> These niggas ain't got shit. <laughs> niggas love the fucking sex play, motherfuckers, bro. Oh, oh, shit. Weird as hell. oh she shit. said I lied. She said the same motherfucking shit. To so why don't you put it she out? If you got all this same. proof, why don't she you put it same. out? She said the same shit to Minister Inky. No, she I don't told believe it, bro. Inky. She got mad because Inky got married and left the bitch. She got mad. She asked Inky the same motherfucking thing. That's, that's, that's bullshit. Said, Stop son. it right there, Queen's Throne, because the gloves is off and we coming out with all the truth. Oh, Inky oh. told me out of his own mouth that he had eyes for Queen's Throne. I never heard Queen's Throne say anything about Inky in any type of intimate way. But I did hear Inky tell me, yeah, I'm looking at Queen's Throne. I want to get that. So what are you talking about, Frankie? And there's Stop also the time lying. where Inky had said that he was in love with me and that's why he lied on me. I got Fact. that. I'm yeah, trying not on. to be petty, come though. On. You know what yeah, I mean? we don't want to be petty, oh. LaBelle, but, Inky, you know, this nigga Inky just lying and get your boy. Right, Inky, come and get your motherfucking boy. Because if he includes your name in it, then we're going to talk about it. We're not going to just edit that out or whatever. Not at all. Not at all. And not we've had a long enough, right, because Sonetta claimed that I asked him what his dick, what is that, what? What that what that, what like that D be like? I don't even talk like that. <laughs> okay. Um but... I was just gonna say that, so it's like that don't even sound like you. That's not like the <laughs> no, ball. No, you know what I'm saying? Like that sound exactly. like the ball. Oh, oh, that D, that sound like Nepal trying to be like me, or you know what I mean? Yeah, like that don't even sound like you and not trying to judge you, but it seemed like you like them rough nets gangsters niggas who actually walk it how they talk it tight shit you feel me like i don't see you street, mess with yeah. no bomb ass niggas on no internet like fucking sonetta inky like some scamming ass like you you like the real thugs you feel me like, and i've never met nobody off the internet and 
just hooked up with them. So that's out of my character, period. Yeah, but every time he kept saying that shit, I was like, bro, I don't even, I don't believe that shit at but all. You know every what? Time I want to say, it. I want to say, shout out to Q for being. And part my French, a real street nigga about this and just <laughs> denouncing that shit and saying, I don't believe. Nah, bro, you ain't going to sit here man, and tell me he that that sister true. said that. Nah, man, stop it. I got to give him credit for that because he put him on the spot to where he made him say, yo, show the evidence, nigga. Show the evidence. True. True. I don't know. I know that's your boy, but fuck you. Q can go to hell. I can dig it. I can dig it. I ain't listen. You know, I'm like you when it comes, Neil, when it comes to shocking them and, and v bending in them you know i respect v bennett because he he proved the analytical side of things and everything else i know what took place but i would never expect uh a woman and in all due respect that i don't know 360 to start defending me what you said was right and correct that was that's between you and shocking them don't expect me to defend you shocker y'all men y'all know how to defend yourself i wouldn't have took anything personal towards that towards you I wouldn't have been like, nah, Neo ain't with us. No, 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 no. It's a difference in physicality, even if it's verbal physicality. Follow me here. I'm not expecting a woman to defend me. I could defend myself. Simple as that. You yeah, said what you said. There's nothing wrong with what you said. And, and that's what I was trying to tell Sankara earlier. Take that emotional shit out of it. And I'm not expecting a woman to jump before in the front line before me. I'm jumping in the front line first. You know what yeah, I mean? Yeah. Yeah, Man, that's I never knew she didn't defend me. I might like, what you said was right and exact. He got a right to feel the way he felt, whatever the case may be. And even if it's his opinion, he could say what he wants to say because we're protected by the First Amendment. I'm not expecting you to jump out there and, and, and fight my battle for me. I got it. Fall back, sis. I got it. Let me deal with this man, so-called man. Yeah, that's real talk. But my issue that I have with Cube that he disrespect my family. He talked about my mama and my brother and all that. Like we can bang on each other, but you already know how I go. Where they yeah, go too far. If you talking yeah. about my mama and my brother telling me you don't care if my brother die and shit like that. I just can't fuck with you no more. So that's I why I don't do give it. a fuck about Cube. Cube can literally get hit by a train and I wouldn't blink eye. I could dig it. I didn't know that. All right, let's get back into it. Six minutes. Go ahead. This bitch talk, she talking about, yo, I want to see what your dick is. I said, what? I said, yo, Inky, she said the same shit to me, but everybody kept saying, no, she didn't. Yo, Inky is a piece of shit, bro. That nigga probably heard one of your old videos when you said that shit. Listen, he's, isn't it, shit bro, listen, Inky probably heard one of your old videos and said that to get back but good he's not with you. This is, the piece of, this is the type of nigga Inky is, bro. Like, you let this nigga play you, bro. Like that. Nah, bro. That doesn't sound like her, bro. Inky not mad at her. They ain't had no, no, bitch. no, 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 no! I'm not saying he's mad at her. I'm saying he would say some shit like that to get back in good with you, bro. That's what no, I'm saying. No, no, I don't no, believe that girl no, said that no, shit, though. No. Brother, I'm telling you, she said it to me, bro. So, bro, listen. Okay, so if that's the case, where the fuck is the goddamn evidence? Like, if, if, if she really did that, you would have been put that out. And keep it real. Exactly. You would have been put that out if you had that, bro. Keep it a buck. Facts. Remember, you said that, bro. <laughs> That's all I'm gonna tell you. I'm gonna go back. Don't make it, Sonetta. It's been yeah, that'll send it. That'll three, send us to laugh. Yeah, it's been three years for your accusation. How long for Inky? You said this last time me and Inky fell out. Well, the first time, and then now it's we're just done. He clipped this clip. It's like, man, if you had that, you would have been put this out, and then <laughs> nah, you're <were> interested. <laughs> nah, I, 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 I recorded Ink. I recorded this nigga. He, oh, whoa, whoa, he, stop he, it right there. He said, I recorded Inky. I, I recorded this nigga. Facts. So you just on your FBI, CIA shit all the way. If anybody calls you, the record button is being hit. And of so course, to anybody in Sarnetti's panel, in his chat, his subscribers, if you ever call him, just know you are being recorded. Yeah. Yeah, because we no still way. waiting on him to release the audio of the coochie talk between me and him. Remember, he he accused my lesbian ass of trying to get with him. <laughs> we still waiting Fact. on the coochie talk audio to get released. It's and been over just, a year. He just apologized to Sister Nandy about um lying on her. Did that to Sister so, Noble, too. Remember Sister Noble? Yep, but he mm -hmm. didn't bring up Sister Noble tight. in a minute. My pussy tight, my walls tight. Yep. But remember that they cool now, him and Sister Noble. But watch, he's gonna bring her up right now. Watch this. No, you, you probably recorded Inky. Yeah, I'll give you that. You probably recorded Inky for saying that stupid ass shit. But you ain't got Queen's Throne saying that. You can record that stupid nigga Inky for trying to get back because that nigga was bouncing all over the motherfucking place. Because no, uh, me and Queen was cool at that time. 
I'm telling you, the bitch said that to me, brother. I, I, I don't, don't believe it. Bro. All right, watch this. Watch this. Watch this, Q. And listen, I'm not saying that just for you to, just to hold put some shit out. Stop, stop for one minute. Have you ever heard of a woman by the name of Sister Noble? The Noble's crazy ass lady. Me. She calls me on a um, on a Saturday, right? I picks up the phone Saturday morning. We talking. She started coming out of nowhere, telling me how tight her vagina is. I kid you not. I remember she, you said that like two years when ago. When I kept saying it and I brought it up and we got into a fight and I'm like, listen, yeah. you tell me this. And she admitted it on her channel. She said, I wasn't just saying that. I was just telling him that my vagina is tight and I ain't been with a man. I'm like, why are you telling me this? Why are you telling me? And she admitted that she said that. Woman not, is retarded. No, no disrespect to her, but no, she... Good she, people. She, Sister Noble is good people. <laughs> Yeah, as That's long as she can show you how tight her pussy was. <laughs> <laughs> well, okay, well, it ain't you saying it. It's me saying it. She's slow. Oh, boy. <laughs> well, hold on. See, the same way how you feel about me talking about Mr. <laughs> Noble, I feel the same way how you talking about Queen Stone. So you understand? Yeah, so y'all get into y'all beef because we was the same way. Everybody falls out. And it's inevitable. No, it's it ain't. No, 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 no. It ain't no fun. Did he just do this for Sister Nandy? Queen Stone and Sister Nandy about to fall out. I remember having that right. at Mm -hmm. But you know, it's no, it's funny. As, as funny as Cube is, I gotta respect this statement that he made. You know, we on the internet, and, 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 and until we get together face to face and we hanging out seventy percent of our time, what am I falling out with you about? We agree on everything we say. I watch your streams. I watch what you do. I agree with what you do. I follow you. I subscribe to you. What do I have to fall out with you about? On some real nigga shit. Let's just be real. Come on. And this is what he always try to imply. This is why I say I think he, I really think he's an agent and his job is to divide the black community. Keep them divided. That's his, that's his sole purpose. Keep them divided. Don't ever let them unite on nothing. And that's what he signed the contract to do. Keep them divided. I'm falling out. It ain't no, I'm going to fall out. I don't, man, she do what the fuck she want to do. How the fuck I'm going to tell her how to run her goddamn cut? And see, this is another thing what niggas be doing that be pissing me off. Niggas want to tell niggas who they can talk to, uh, what shows they can go on. That shit is crazy to me, bro. Like, that, that shit is another thing. But yeah, like, nah, she do her thing, bro. I, I fuck with her shit, and that's it. Like, come on. It ain't no falling out. Like, them other niggas, like, like Shaka Doodoo and all them crazy niggas, yeah, they going to fall out and all of that. I'm not doing all that with my sister. I'm doing my own fucking ask thing. Her, ask her why both of her baby daddies is in jail for murder. Really, nigga? Really, mm. nigga? Both of them mm. niggas in jail for murder. Brett. One of my baby daddies is in prison for murder, but he's about to get out, see? And, and that's you know neither here nor there. That's neither here nor there. Nikki Here's. Chanel never denied the allegation of you sleeping with her at 17. Frankie. Facts. Yeah, this ain't even about. <laughs> this ain't even about her for real, bro. How the fuck we jump on her? You you, you oh, went you went from this. You, you, you went from Jamim right now. You went from. So why not let these niggas on? Or you want to talk about these niggas? We show. You know, ask Jamim the same shit. Jamim, so, what's your so, like? <laughs> so why not let these niggas on? You went from Jamim. Ben, have I ever um flirted with you in any way, shape, or form? Not one iota. Thank you. And let me say this. And, and, and this is to the conscious community. And let this be the MO. If I call you sister, let me say that again. If I call you sister, that means I have no intentions of sleeping with you because I would never sleep with my sister. I would never sleep with my sister. So if I call you sister, I look at you as my sister. Nothing else. I agree. Uncle Shug, I've known you for what? Four, five, six years, some shit? Uh, well, at least way more than four years, but... Yeah, yeah. Right? So, have I ever flirted with you or came on to you or anything Absolutely like that? Absolutely not. Right, okay. And I feel the exact same being, same way being uh, Phil. That's why I dropped the bomb when he said it. I appreciate that. Let's get back into it. We got two minutes left. Mim, to then talking about Inky, to then talking about Queen's Throne. Man, you're right, but... um. Yeah, I'm gonna let you go though. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Cause yeah, you don't want to let their ass on. No, because nigga, you ain't wanna, you, you wanna... ain't got no footage. You, you ain't got no shit of Queen's Throne saying that shit that you saying. No, I don't have the footage. But I know you don't, bro. Cause that sister's not saying no stupid shit like that, bro. I don't believe it, bro. All right, I'm gonna have to go all the way back into my video <laughs> and show you how me and her was, brother. Bro, I'll show you how we was together.
Y'all yeah, was never like together. <laughs> like Y'all was cool, bro. Y'all was Listen, never yeah. together. I remember back in the day when she was your mom. I remember back in the day when she was one of your mods and y'all was cool. I remember that. Like, that's that's something different, bro. But, like, you're not finna put that jacket on. Like, see, the same way that I don't believe that. I got you. Let me say this last thing. Let me say this last thing before you go. The same way that I don't believe that you came out of the fucking room with a, a underage girl, I don't believe that that fucking woman sent you no shit like that, bro. Hold on. That's the evidence. That's all no. I'm saying. Now he don't believe it? Yeah. All of a sudden. Right. I was just gonna right. say that. Okay. That's that fork. That's that fork tongue shit, and that's why I said, "Come on, B. If you're a street wise dude, stay street wise, man. Stop playing with the shit, man. Stop playing with it." That's a fact. I'm saying me anything. Said it to me, brother. We was cool, bro. I'm, bro. Dude, I'm putting this on my fucking mother, bro. And Jamim would put it on his grandmama. Me. I'm, I'm, listen, don't no disrespect to you, bro. Or, or I'm just not. If, if you don't got the evidence. I'm I'm just cool, bro. That bro, I can't. The same way I can't judge you when niggas say that he saw a young girl come out your motherfucking room. I'm not doing that, bro. Don't okay. don't 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 do the sister like that. For real, bro. That. I respect you know? that. For real, for real. All right, bro. Hold it down, man. Peace, bro. All right, peace. All right, no doubt. All right, so that's that. Um, that that yeah. no neck having ass hypocrite. <laughs> I just. Uh, you can't take Q serious. Like you just said, you do believe him. Then now you tell the son that you don't believe. You told me you believe him earlier. That's what I'm saying. It, it's fake niggas. No, right. I said he really don't care. It ain't nobody. He was just trying to garner views, and because he even had his shit set up that you had to subscribe to even chat in his um in his chat, and he never right. set up his page like that. So I knew what it was as soon as I seen he had it set up like that. He don't give a Sarnetta damn about that. Sarnetta is a coward. Sarnetta is a coward. Because I think somebody said that um, Q did kind of low-key defend um, Polite when it first came out, but then he hurried up and switched over when he seen that most people were like, hell nah, we ain't fucking with Polite, you know. But he just like, I don't know. I don't know how long y'all been watching Q's channel, but he be making up shit all the time. Stuff that ain't real and all that. That's why I'm trying to see why anybody even took him serious, even with this lie. Right. No, we didn't. It's just him running his mouth again. So point well taken. I, I loved how Ben uh uh was trying to get on the panel. I wish he would have been able to. Again, we don't know if that was on purpose or on accident, but um then Sonetta did you know Sonetta dipped off, Ben came up there, uh, waited for Ben to leave and came back up there like he's running, bro. Coward. He's running. Megatron coward. He's definitely running. He wanted, to, he wanted to show if some stuff. Call, if he had to call him on that panel, he'd have jumped right off that motherfucker. Just like he did when I hit <laughs> Yep. Same yep. exact thing. You would there would have been a glitch in the matrix, god damn it. What happens when you see the same thing twice in the matrix? There's a glitch. <laughs> He definitely would have ran. He ran from Shug that day. That shit was funny as hell, too. Larry. Soon as Shug hit the panel, his screen went black. <laughs> yep. That's know? why I was like, damn, why won't Cube just drop the link so that, you know what I'm saying, motherfuckers could come up in there? Because I was going to come in, in there, but I wasn't going to type in the chat mm -hmm. beforehand. So, Sa, you know, and I didn't disrespect Sa in his chat until after he got the line on me. Period. Anything else, I was putting information, debunking his shit respectfully. But don't nobody have to respect that nigga after everything he's done. But I digress, y'all. Filthy know. Frankie. Welcome. So to, to anybody else in the conscious community, you know, my, my, my parting notes are he came up with this page, the dumpster. He is the dumpster. And anybody partaking in that, you are the trash. Or the garbage that goes into the dumpster. Because <laughs> all this intelligence that y'all claim to have, and y'all watch a liar and a thief and a scammer continuously sit up here and defraud the people, and y'all still devote energy to this. And y'all know who I'm talking about, all you so-called scholars, all you so-called PhDs and master degrees. And, and Egyptologists and Kemetologists and everything else. And a person, when he can't 
express his point of view, the first thing he tells another man is the SMD. I can't even say it. I can't even say it. The first thing he says, SMD. And y'all still jump up on that panel. Hey, it's a pleasure to be up here. Yeah, yeah, I'm so happy to be up here. On this degenerate platform, after he showed you what his top scholar did, and he still promotes the videos, and y'all still partake and subscribe to this Negro shit. And like I said, I'm going to say it once again. As Uncle Shug said, we're never going to advance. That means go forward, conscious community. We're never going to go forward so long as you so-called great minds are subscribing to this nonsense, to this pedophilia, to this hebophilia, to this ephebophilia. Not just polite, sinful to pee, so forth, so on. Nature boy, so forth, so on. We're talking about severe cases of sexual abuse in the conscious community at the helm of Sarnetta. Let that message resonate, man. Let it sink in. I need more evidence. I need this. Here I am telling you the story of what took place. Oh, I need more evidence. So Ben is lying. Motherfuckers start making up ages and all this other type of shit, man. What is wrong with y'all? Y'all want to um, be on that page that bad? Go ahead, Queen. No, I, I just also want to remind the family, remember, Sarnetta came out and told a story about him being sexually abused, and he knows who did it, and he when he catches the bus, he sees her. So that's another um, pedophile he's protecting. Yeah. yeah. That's that's a whole fact. That's a whole fact. He damn sure said and it. He can't say we lied and made that up. That came out of his own mouth. He told that story. So he protects, he protects these type of people. But you need more evidence. Something's not adding up. I gave you all the clues. Y'all seen everything I needed to see. The link is in the the link is in the chat. If anybody has any questions, oh yeah, let me drop that again. We don't want another <laughs> situation with you. I'm over here talking shit to him and shit. Speak right, now or forever hold your peace. Hey, real quick, yes. maybe one of y'all can clear this up. Um, which channel did Sinetta get demonetized? I heard somebody say he was I he kind of. Yeah, so it did it. It just happened like recently. Yeah, yeah. It All was right. like within the last month. All right, so uh, I'm just gonna remind the um the um the family over here that um I did try to throw people a bone on how we are working on getting Sinetta's channel um taken down, and that is the first step YouTube will do is demonetize you. Uh, I keep telling y'all to keep reporting his page, especially as anti-Semitic. That's how Cynthia G, um, Todd, what's his name? Um, what's his name? Tommy Sodomon Ord and a few others. If y'all keep flagging his channel, like I keep telling y'all with that anti-Semitic thing, he gonna lose his channel because it's all over his channel. Once YouTube assigns uh, one person to view all your videos, if they find out that you constantly kept breaking the community causes, they're going to take your channel. But the first step they do make is take away your monetization. So I don't know if y'all doing that, but if y'all are doing it, continue doing it, please. This shit crazy. Yeah, Got none out of here. I'm gonna load that up from when you're ready. Just whenever you're ready for ready it. Whenever you are, bro. It's, it's up to y'all. Somebody just came up, didn't he? Um, yes, Dep Dabster. What's good? What's popping? Peace. Hey, I'm in, you know, I'm enjoying this moment. I'm just here for it. Let me ask you something, Ben. I'm listening. Give a mm -hmm. strong goddamn what, shout what, out. Oh, how my bad. Hold on. <laughs> I didn't know brother. that it was going to play like that. Uh. Say that again. How old was you when you met this dude, bro? Eight, 18 going on 19. Okay. Now he makes it seem, and I, and I already knew that that was actually a rhetorical question, mm -hmm. but he make it seem like he met you at eight years old playing little league baseball or some shit. Hell no. Yep. No way possible. That, and that's more of the lies. I'm happy you asked that question, brother, because I met him in night. He came home in maybe 1995 and the 1995. That's when I met Sarnetta. So I was 18 going on 19. So you was pretty. So you was a young adult when he met you. Super facts. 
this nigga's a trip. <laughs> okay. He didn't meet me as no little kid. I told y'all the story. I had a barber named Adam who they took Sarnetta in. Salik Karan, when he came home from jail to get a job at the barbershop, I was already dating his niece at that time. And I went to the barbershop. Um, my barber was my barber was busy. I needed a cut. They referred me to him and he zeke me. And he zeke me. I never went back to him. So all of that <laughs> he came to my house. I never been to his house for a haircut. We was at a barbershop, Adams Barbershop, on 147, 148th in St. Nicholas Avenue. Never been to his house for a haircut. I, I never met Sarnetta under the age of 18. Mm -hmm. I gave him, I gave him the book when he was sitting out there smoking Newport cigarettes every day. I gave him the Willie Lynch letters and told him, yo, get some knowledge, B. So so that 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 video he got up there at Farrakhan. He might want to put me up there because mm. I was the one who told him get some knowledge. Mm. And start looking towards, start looking towards a brighter path. Nice. Wasn't no Farrakhan. It wasn't Farrakhan who did it. He wasn't with the Black Panther Party. Mm -hmm. It was me giving him the Willie Lynch letters and showing how we're being divided and conquered amongst each other. That may have, keyword may have, given him some insight to take a path of consciousness. Hey, what happened with the DVDs, bro? What you mean? Specify. Okay, so he tells a story pretty much of you undercutting them to this crazy-ass degree, right? And I'm all like, I don't know if it happened or not, but I'm all like, why would he focus on you like that? Then you telling this story like, well... I was like the big homie to him and he was trying to get shine off me. Then he got a table next to mine and I'm all like, bro, this is a weird story. This, this just doesn't, it just doesn't, it doesn't make sense to me. Allow so, me to clarify. I'm a huh? businessman. I'm a, I'm a businessman. Okay. I know, I know market trends. I did time on wall street. Never did time in jail. I did time on wall street. When I noticed the market, and Uncle Shook pointed this out earlier, in the mind of a hustler, then when I say earlier, weeks ago, I noticed the trend of the market. Follow me here. Mm -hmm. You look at multimedia, right? We started off with phonographs. We went to reel-to-reels. We went to DVDs. We went to CDs. Then the ship became digital, where it was free. The artist formerly known as Prince said, God damn, this internet is going to fuck the market up. Everything is going to be free. All somebody got to do is upload your shit and it's going to go viral. People who want it, they're going to get it for free. So when I realized that the market was going digital, we said it don't make no sense to start ripping our people off for $10, $20, $30 for some audio, some video. Give it to them at a price where they could get it and they could pass it on. And that way, this is how we expand the knowledge. It wasn't a money grab for me. The money would come. I'm not worried about that. It's, it's, it, we were going to sell in volume anyway. So what he's talking about, is he didn't have the insight to see the change in the market. He was still trying to sell a VHS tape for $20 and $30. I saw the insight. I saw the trend. I saw the market turning. And we, we adjusted the prices to fit the people's pockets. I can't put it no simpler than that. And that's no, how I'm, you hustle for real. In my I'm opinion. glad. Are you saying Def Def yeah. that you don't believe his story? Because I'm trying Ooh. to play this um clip from show. Oh, yeah. I definitely don't believe Saw's story. Hell no. I don't believe uh, nothing yeah. you say. Yeah. I got you. <laughs> Fuck I got you. Yeah. I was just wondering. Um, yeah, let me play well, this. Yeah, Ben. Goddamn. You ready, Shug? Yeah. Yeah. All right. Shug. I've been, I've been yeah. checking this channel out for a couple of days and this brother really been cracking some codes and cracking some damn heads. So shout out to Uncle Suge right quick, man. I was watching him last night and I couldn't believe what I was seeing, man. So damn, mm -hmm. Uncle Suge, he right on it, man. He's on it. So yes, go ahead, brother. Frankie knocking on the door. Let me out. Let me fucking out, Frankie. Fuck the conscious shit right now. Let me out. And so now you got Frankie today. You got Frankie today. Yo, what's up? You in there, bro? 
Yeah, yeah, I'm here. I'm not going to get on the panel with these niggas that scream and get my blood pressure up. I'm scared to death, brother. I am scared to death of getting high blood pressure. One minute later. That nigga want to suck my See? dick. And I would pay that nigga 20 fucking dollars. That's word to my mama. That nigga's a fucking dick sucker. Ooh, this nigga, man, that's nasty, man. bro. Man. Dun -dun -dun. See, when he do that. This nigga's a fucking liar. How come he's the only bitch nigga that's singing that shit? How come, where's all the people at on the 125th Street? On the 150th Street? Where's all the people saying what he said? Natural Tahuti. Right? Natural Tahuti was on side page type. What happened to Natural Tahuti? All of a sudden, Natural Tahuti got popped for selling heroin. Who else do we know has a jail record for selling heroin? Sinetta. Where's all the people at on the 125th Street? Next, what happens? Sankofa and Sai is rocking. What happens? We hear Sankofa getting some drug trouble. Sinetta's still right there, though. Where's all the people at on the 125th Street? Who does he bring in after Sankofa? He start rocking real hard with Tazariak, right? ISUPK. What happens to ISUPK right after they start really locking in with Sa? Don't they get named as some terrorist niggas shooting up a jewelry God, store man. in New Jersey? Where's all the people at on the 125th Street? Now polite with the first evidence that we got is from Sanetta. Polite is raping children and he raped my niece. And then what we got now, polite and jet. Notice the niggas that he brings in, how they go out. Where, back up. Where's his fucking proof? The brother went to running down about seven or eight names of people in Harlem that could verify the story. The nigga's a whole ass nigga. He been jealous from day one. Two of the names are people that I know. So the bitch nigga is mad because he never had nothing. Can't y'all hear the hate in his voice? Listen to him. One of which I just spoke to a few minutes ago. And he said, oh, you didn't know about uh, Filthy Frank? Everybody in Harlem knows that he's a pedophile from back in the day. Nobody like this nigga. Nobody fuck with him. I said, this is that pig. Y'all don't know this motherfucker. Nobody in my in my hood, nobody till this day call me Frank Gary. Nobody. Sonetta is going to do everything that he can to deny, but he can't deny it to the people that know him. So people that know him from Harlem, they know that old Frankie Nobody in the street called me that, brother. Filthy Frankie. He wasn't Sarnetta back then. He was Filthy Frankie. Frankie knocking on the door. Let me out. Let me fucking out, Frankie. But the people that know him from Harlem, they know that old Frankie is a well-known pedophile from the community that... Shows you that this nigga's a lying bitch, bro. This nigga's a lying motherfucker. Nah, he's, they nah, always he's, he call said me. he called you filthy Frankie. And so now you got Frankie today. You got Frankie today. Ain't nobody in Harlem that grew up with him from day one believe anything that come out that nigga mouth other than... Everybody knows me in Harlem for being a pedophile. He got the entire conscious community toxic. All the way down to beating the Paul Shadar's ass. He, she said she he punched her in the eye so hard she saw the white light, man. Come on, man. And so now you got Frankie today. You got Frankie today. Filthy, and see, and see, filthy Frankie. Filthy Frankie. Nobody in the street call me that, brother. But the people that know him from Harlem, they know that old Frankie is a well-known pedophile. Everybody knows me in Harlem for being a pedophile. Frankie knocking on the door, let me out. Let me fucking out, Frankie. Fuck the conscious shit right now. Let me out. And so now you got Frankie today. You got Frankie. Woo. Woo. So that is a scumbag. He's perpetrating the fraud. He got y'all fooled. This is a hustle for him to make some money because he can't do nothing else.
This nigga's a fucking liar. How come he's the only bitch nigga that's singing that shit? How come, where's all the people at on the 125th Street? On the 150th Street? Where's all the people saying what he said? Okay, I'm gonna start off with a thank you to Sarnetta for proving my damn point. You're insane, you're delusional, you're a maniac. The drugs did something to your mind, brother. You talking about people's past. Check your own past, brother. Check your own past. Like your own past is kind of twisted and fucked up. You was a drug addict. You was poisoning the community. Around the time you talking about Bambada doing this and that. You was a drug addict poisoning the community. What are you talking about? You was a drug addict around that time. What's our dust head? Or, 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 or Filthy Frank from the, from the west side. Mm. Frankie knocking on the door, let me out. But the people that know him from Harlem, they know that old Frankie is a well-known pedophile from the community. Everybody knows me in Harlem for being a pedophile. Filthy Frank from the west side. Yes, Filthy Frank. What's our dust head? Filthy Frank? Filthy Frank mm. from the west side. Mm. Everybody in Harlem Stop. knows that he's a pedophile from back in the days. What's our dust head? You said Harmony. they called you Filthy Frankie. Remember that? It's not a lie. It's not something I'm making up. You was a drug addict and poison in the community. So who are you to talk about somebody's past when yours Woo. has messed your brain up so much? <laughs> messed your brain up so much that you don't even know the problem that you have caused with me. And I'm telling you, fam, you causing a problem with me. And maybe it's because you have a problem. You like you missing chunks of your brain. You understand? <laughs> it's eating up from the drugs. This is not a lie. This is scientifically proven that certain drugs destroy certain parts of the brain. So I sometimes it feel like you could be an agent, but I realize he's a drug addict, a former drug addict. You got what I, I don't know what you're doing now, I, you know, and I don't, I'm not into that. You know, I don't, whatever the case is, but I realize you don't even know you an agent of uh, of chaos <laughs> because half of the things you're doing you're doing them and then you just blink somewhere you just blink somewhere and that last <laughs> video you posted was proof of that so um for the outright lie Shit. that you know you told he said they called you filthy frankie nobody in the street called me that brother shame on you blasphemous you know uh, and, and, and again, like I told you, bow out gracefully. Well, because if you remember back, he said when Tasha K dropped his record, it triggered his memory. Niggas on here be lying. They they say they the conscious community is supposed to deliver y'all from the white man. Yeah, they was the white man's crack. Mm -hmm. Yep. Give me a second. Okay, so the first line. I told y'all about Sanetta trying me, saying if I had what I said, if, if, if I said what I said he did, why not drop the receipts, right? So, hold on. Polite is still arrested, okay? Let me see if I can do this. <laughs> Listen. Hold on for a second. So, this video right here. This is why I don't want to get into the going back and forth with these dudes. These dudes will say anything they want to say about you, and then when you blow up on them, they flag you. They flag your video. They want to flag your video. I could easily get Tasha K. I could easily dispute Tasha K. This fucking woman is up in there lying on everything. If you got any evidence of me doing what you say I do, getting arrested what you say I do, I challenge you to put it up. Well, I'm going to I'm gonna say it right now. I'm telling you to cease and desist right now. There you go. You see? I'm saying cease and desist, Tasha K, because you're a big fish. You're a big fish. I'm letting you know right now. Cease and desist. I'm not going to say it no more. I think you are worth me going after. Of me doing what you say I do, getting arrested what you say I do, I challenge you to put it up. Well, I'm going to I'm gonna say it right now. I'm telling you to cease and desist right now. There you go. See? I'm saying cease and desist, Tasha K, because you're a big fish. You're a big fish. I'm letting you know right now. Cease and desist. I'm not going to say it no more. I think you are worth me going after. Cease and desist, Tasha K, because you're a big fish. You're a big fish. I'm letting you know right now. I was arrested for smoking crack.
say he ain't, he ain't got no long arrest record. He ain't never smoked no crack. I was arrested for smoking crack. I was arrested for smoking crack. Filthy Frank from the West Side. Filthy Frank. West Side does head. Filthy Frank? Filthy Frank from the West Side. Filthy Frankie. He said he ain't, he ain't got no long arrest record. He ain't never smoked no crack. I was arrested for smoking crack. Filthy Frank from the West Side. Filthy Frank. West Side does head. Filthy Frank? Filthy Frank from the West Side. Filthy Frankie. That was epic, bro. <laughs> God damn, Shulk. Yo, Sugar Man. I mean, yo, all things being real. That she she said it best. That was epic. Thank you, man. That was epic. That was perfect. Super cooked. Yeah, I'm gonna have to. The only issue I got is I'm gonna have to edit the fuck out of that shit or pull it out because that's the same picture. Yeah, but man. but bro, cover that shit up with anything, bro, and then you yeah. good. You know what I mean? Put a blur over it. Yeah. Bro, everybody your, your he dealt always with. Classic. Everybody he dealt with went down nasty. Mm -hmm. Yep. Starting yeah, with natural Tahuti. And heroin. Think about that. Dealing what? with heroin. And another yeah, that was, yeah, that was a good one, sure. Yeah, and he, he denied uh being called Frankie and he calling himself Frankie. Mm. Frankie mm. knocking mm. on the door. Let good God out. almighty. And who is Frankie? That's that old, dirty, filthy motherfucker. Every time he talk about Frankie, that's when he get up here and cuss women out, cuss Irene kids out. He turned into that monster, the old, filthy Frank. Right. You lied to the people. I told the people that you are a bitchable fucking liar. You gets up there. <laughs> Look at this one, y'all. Hold on, really quick. Look at this. One. It's another like innocent of co-signing pedophiles and being one itself with his wife. No, thank you, baby. It's under the innocent of co-signing pedophiles and being one itself with his wife. No, thank you, baby. No, no. It's under the innocent of co-signing pedophiles and being one itself with his wife. No, thank you, baby. It's under the innocent of co-signing pedophiles and being one itself with his wife. No, thank you, baby. No, no. It's under the innocent of co-signing pedophiles and being one itself with his wife. No. Thank you, baby. It's under the innocent of co-signing pedophiles and being one itself with his wife. No. Thank you, baby. No. No. That's how Thank stupid he is. No. Yes. Hey, incognito, uh, I promise I'm sitting just like that goddamn emoji. That's how stupid he is. <laughs> is he innocent of being a pedophile and co-signing them and being one with his wife himself? No. Nigga said, thank you, baby. I think he's finally just telling the truth. That's it. I, that's that's right. that's it. Right. right. Okay. You right. Signed that, uh, shook that picture of Sonetta up there like that with oh. the glasses off his face. I love that picture. Bro. Hey. I love that <laughs> Real hey, that shit had me rolling. <laughs> I ain't even gonna lie. He was he had his glasses on in the car and they was crooked. Yeah. Okay. Yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> I remember that. They was all crooked to the side. Yeah. And he just was chilling like that. Like, what the fuck, bro? Silly ass little dude. Man, dude oh. just blind though, man. Y'all gotta watch him. Y'all go out there. Ain't nobody on the 125th Street now, is it side? Not even you. Empty. Empty. They put that camera up over them guys too. Got the whole fact. Mm -hmm. Damn. Mm -hmm. They they destroyed. Excuse me. They destroyed the vending community on One Twenty Fifth Street with all that divisiveness. That nigga went up down. He organized. He went up and down the street and organized confusion. And and this is what's sad about whoever's in that conscious community because they know me. They all know me. That's why oh, don't make me call. But you see, every time he calls, they never pick up because they know they know he about to say something about Ben. And I don't want to jump in no shit with Ben because I know the goods on all these dudes. We've been out there long enough. 
to where I know some dudes talking that shit about Hassan Campbell and your son is just like Hassan Campbell. And you know who I'm talking about. I ain't going to mention no names, you know? So all these people, he always talking about calling, you know, I, I hate to call it dirt, but for lack of a better term, that's what it is. But I know all these dudes and that's why they don't even get around him. That's why he's always threatening to make a phone call. Filthy Frankie. And you, in 20 years, you successfully fulfilled your contract with being that indirect agent. You're an indirect agent. You know, you, you, you always claim your father's a Dominican. And just like Alpo, may he sleep in shit. Just like that Dominican trader who came into the community and decided to, 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 to destroy the black community. You just like that nigga on a conscious level. You the outpour the conscious level to keep the black community divided and fuck us up all the way with all these debates and you keep it going. And anybody falling for this shit in 2024, shame on you, man. Shame on all you so-called conscious niggas and y'all so thirsty for a fucking view that y'all do anything to get on the house of pedophiles. And, and, and even I know Queen's Throne What's going on with V. Bennett and everything? But V. Bennett exposed that shit with all those fake bots and you buying views and all that shit. There ain't no real people up in there watching that shit. But y'all see a thousand people. Oh, yeah, let me get in there. Let me Neo let me see if I can get my book sold. Neo exposed it, too. Neo exposed it, too. All that shit is analytics. Yeah. You up there paying for views and paying for bots. And it's a bunch of uh, red negative negativity on your analytical youtube screen so for those that are still watching unsubscribe to that shit man it's time to bring hok to his knees chop they fucking head off man stop playing with this shit you got 10 million invaders coming into this country they even making videos talking about i ain't no slave i get money these are the migrants and when they say i ain't no slave who you think they referring to so the battle was on the war is on. The conscious community is the last bastion of hope for the black community. And if we don't stand tall, like Shook said, you ain't got to be conscious. I'm with the shits. You could be with the shits. You ain't got to be conscious, but understand that you black. Understand if there's a message that needs to be sent, you need to adhere to it if you're black. You sitting up here with all this divisive shit in the last 20 years, we haven't accomplished nothing. We haven't advanced an inch because you sitting up here with all the greatest minds in the quote unquote conscious community and you pitting them against each other. You're not putting them on a forum to say, yo, come up with a solution mm -hmm. to fix this. You ain't coming up with none of those, those type of questions. Yo, the verses, 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 verses. You a fucking agent, Frank Gary and anybody following you belong in that fucking dumpster straight up and down. Man, man, man. Sonetta, just stop while you while you're behind, bro. <laughs> <laughs> He's gonna go on the dumpster tomorrow. Yeah, I'm already knowing Sugar gonna thrash his ass around a little yeah, bit. Yeah, he shame no me. But he no shame diddy. Me. No diddy. I'm gonna keep saying that shit. <laughs> but Sonetta, the way he records and the way that Napa said that he recorded her on the toilet and all that, mm -hmm. right? Um, that's kind of some Diddy shit right there, though. Low key. Bad. I wonder how many freak offs Napa has had so far <laughs> under Sonetta Studios. Sonetta Good Records. God Almighty. Yeah. Bro, you know what, Shug? The other day when you was live and you said, you tired of niggas playing all of your video? Come to Uncle Shug Records. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> <laughs> that shit <was> hilarious. <laughs> Yeah, like I said, you gotta laugh to keep from crying because yeah. it's got that. Yeah, facts. That's a fact. Yeah, he'll be on the dumpster. He'll be on the dumpster tomorrow. Oh hell yeah! Going crazy on us. Uh huh. It's gonna be every name in the book and all this and that. You know they already in their feelings if they flagging Suge to my some nudity of a picture that Inky showed several times and they didn't flag him. Right. You know. Inky had that picture up on his background for the longest. Mm -hmm. Well, let me say this, Queen's Throne. You put the information out there due to the secret recordings. 
And to all you YouTube investigators that think y'all need more evidence, she put the information out there. Y'all contact Nikki. Y'all find her. The information is there now. Ramonda Thompson. Thanks to Sarnetta. Thank you, Sarnetta, for putting that information out there. Like Shug said, you the type of dummy mm -hmm. that as soon as you see something you think is wrong, you jump all over it. Mm -hmm. You don't even analyze it. You don't even say, wait a minute. Should I do this? Nah. You jump right on there. And you secretly recorded Nikki again. Poor Nikki. And she put that information out there not knowing that, yo, YouTube is watching. And now we know who it is. The pictures of Nikki out there. She's real. So to all the queens. Quote, That's why quote, he took it down. Because right. that information was in there. She probably she didn't have a problem with it. Right. I wouldn't be surprised if Nikki contacted him and, be, and was like, yo, what are you doing? Yo, me right, you right, Nikki. My fault, my fault. Yeah, she mad. She hella mad. No, she hella mad with you. Because she never denied it. So to all the YouTube investigators, y'all know who she is now. Get on your job. Get that, get that recording with Nikki. Get that interview with Nikki. Get on your job. And watch Nikki come out and say it. Because it's going to come together. Just like she said, all the letters to the puzzle are gonna come together. Yeah, I hope Nikki just cursed on that ass out though, for real, <laughs> and get a recording of that because he the one who released the mama name and all of that shit. And what? then he edited it. He edited they call together and made it seem like she was denying that they slept together, even though we don't know what the hell she said. <laughs> we just heard her say, "Listen." You know we didn't sleep together. She could have been talking about her and Ben for all we know. <laughs> we don't know. So I just hope that lady curse his ass out just because this shit could have been deaded a long time ago, but Sarnetta want to keep playing games and shit. So it could have been like, did you sleep with Michael Jackson? And she was like, now you know we didn't sleep together. <laughs> she yeah, didn't yeah. anything. <laughs> right. Right. That's exactly what it is. We had no idea what that lady said because, like I said, that nigga stuck on that audio bad. Mm -hmm. And it's been what three, four phone calls so far. Yep. Nothing eventful, really. He, I forgot yeah, who channel in the beginning. I forgot who That's channel that. he was on, but he recently said that the phone call said Nikki said Sarnetta, you know we did not sleep together. He told the people that she actually said his name. <laughs> Said Sarnetta, we did. So I was like, she did yeah. not say that. Yeah, he yeah. just said that. And I was like, nigga, you still out here lying, bro. That girl, we don't know what she said. We hear you asking a question. Did me and you have sex? The acoustics change and she come out of nowhere. Listen, you know we didn't have sex and it was cool and you was fine. He's a nice guy. <laughs> you know? Yeah, because the whole time frame, he's narrating the phone call. Yeah, like, just shit. shut up and play this shit. I literally told that man I would back off of him if he just played the shit in his proper context. Like, don't edit it. He'll and never do it. I mean, he chose. The, he just chose to dox me. <laughs> Keep in mind, though, the bottom line proof that he didn't just play the phone call is it was he took the recording and put it in the editor because how remember the repeated thing he he had it repeating over and over again. You know that wasn't a call. You know how you do your edits, Queen's Throne? You know how we do them and they, you know how we repeat yeah. points three times and slow it down? He did that with the phone call. So whichever recorder he has on his phone, uh, he, he probably just emailed the file and then put it into the editor. And that's why he played around with the audio. I mean, anybody can, like, not anybody, but people who know about editing can see it. Like, once you put it in the editor, you can see the waves change. That nigga ain't slick at all at all and the message to the conscious community moving forward you're dealing with a liar and if he lies to you he'll steal from you and if he steals from you he'll kill you and kill can be in more than one way it's just not literal it's a figurative term he could kill your he could kill your morale he could kill your psyche he can kill your ambition he can kill your desires and y'all still, hey, let me see what side that talk about. Islam versus the egg. What came first, Christianity or the Easter bunny? You know, come on, man. What are y'all doing? This shit ain't helping the community. We're not advancing with this shit. Oh, this is their favorite topic. Uh, does the Bible condone rape? 
<laughs> I was like, damn, nigga, how many times y'all got to do a lesson on that? <laughs> Mentally disordered that. sex offender shit. Yeah, some weird ass shit, bro. Just, and he ain't going to hold no more events or nothing like that. Oh, he been oh. not. Oh, no, because Polite is gone. Because Polite is gone. And Polite was shameless enough to get in, in, in on an arena, a stage, and, and sit there and talk that shit with anybody for the sake of a dollar. And that, that, that was his go-to guy, Polite. But Polite had some goddamn demons that he was battling and he got caught for. So now the show is over. The show is over and anybody still perpetrating the fraud sitting up there, shame on you, man. Shame on you. Mm -hmm. From what I heard from some people who don't reach out to me, Sarnetta done made a lot of enemies. So I don't think he going to be out there in the streets like he used to. From what I heard. I know a couple of men who want to shake his hand. Put it like that. Yeah, he ain't coming out. It's over. So he made a lot of enemies. And then we just heard him, you know, tell the whole world that he wants to shoot Ben in the head. <laughs> so, right. no, he don't want to shoot the white man. He don't want to shoot this white man. He want to shoot Ben. Yeah. He want to shoot that needle too in his goddamn arm. <laughs> <laughs> bro, you just made my stomach hurt, bro. <laughs> oh, exactly. Shit. Really? Exactly. Then you want to copy out guy. Oh, my God. You know, damn well, he ain't shot nothing but a needle. Hey, yeah. In that other video, do y'all notice how polite is in that? They, they, they all in the hotel with that girl. Or the right. Y'all notice that was the mother, right? Exactly, yes. Linda. Yep. That was Linda Dang. in the hotel room. So I sitting there filming. That's crazy. And them videos is still on his channel. They on his page. Yeah, because remember, um, sure, Napa had it. said Napa had said that um she saw the victim and the victim's mother a couple of times. Mm -hmm. Let's go. Yeah, see, look at him. In a hotel room. So I just showing they shit off. She was like, you might well show the tub. <laughs> uh -uh. She said that? Yes. Because he, he when he got to show on the bed, she was like, you might well show the tub. I ain't never seen this. Wow. What's in there, I'm saying, yeah, polite? he's the King Simon, man. That's my man. Yeah. Wow. Glad that he's moving around and doing his thing. Wow. Say <laughs> Y'all talking about? Okay. Y'all didn't see that debate with polite Simon and them saying, "You got a son?" No, no. King Simon is older. Bro, son? Hold up! You got your son up in there. I mean, Pol um, King Simon older than you. Hell yeah, he's older. Oh, so I mean, you got you got um your big brother. Y'all hear that? What? And then that's when she was like, "You got a son." Mm. Mm -mm. Oh, so Damn, who, this is crazy. Yeah, who was in the chat saw that was that wasn't King's. That was something different. He twisted the King Simon. Yeah, King Simon in there saying what's up to you. <laughs> you hit me already. I know like, you got a son. Yeah. yeah. I'm just finding out you got a son. No, no, King. Y'all hear that? I'm just finding out you got a son. Hmm. Well, then Sa said, no, I'm just saying King Simon something. Yeah, trying to change it up. I don't know, though. Right. No time right. these motherfuckers. Simon is older than Polite, so your big brother's in there, I'm saying, yeah, Polite. he's the King Simon, man. That's my man. Yeah. <laughs> There's some slick motherfuckers, boy. Yeah, they are. Yeah, they are. <laughs> yeah, they are. Glad that he's moving this thing. King Simon, man. King she gonna tell that nigga to show Come roll for like yeah, man, since the summertime. Make, make, making sons every trip. He's the one guy. I don't want to play too much of it. On you know on here like. Wow. That. Yeah. 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 That's enough. I'm just yeah. finding out you got a son, huh? What the fuck? Yeah. Many sons. <laughs> and Riz has it. He got three sons. She said it with an attitude. She's like, "You might as well show the tub." Like she was like mad the nigga just flashing the camera all over that motherfucker. <laughs> 
Shit, he just came down on some bum ass shit. They just out there, man. Oh, we don't kick it out in the open. We don't chill. We just record our stuff. You all at the hotel with this nigga? Mm. More of that secret recording. Mm-mm-mm. The secret recordings of Shaw Netta. Mm. Yeah, edit that down. Edit that shit. <laughs> It's still on his page. It's called uh, "Polite in the Raw." Okay, that's a, that's a damn weird title it's itself. "Polite in the Raw." Yeah. Wow. You know, you know, again. They never lied. Yeah, I'm gonna go back to that brother, son, Kara, to where like your homie, like y'all sitting up here talking about y'all need more evidence and all this other shit. And here I am coming out as an eyewitness, and you're, you're, you're trying to attack me along with some other sisters. Like, what's wrong with y'all, man? Do y'all see who y'all dealing with? I That's saw that video you put up the other day, Silk. The and sister Angie and the other one, and V Bennett and Shaka. Let me remind y'all of yes. who y'all dealing with, man. Mm-hmm. Don't ever question what the righteous, the true righteous is coming and telling you, man. What's wrong with y'all? This is what makes me say we're done as a people to where. Yeah. To where here I am, Queen Throne and docks me. You see my criminal record, nothing on it. I'm telling you who I am. You do put my name out there. You can Google it. You can find anything you want about me. Nothing I'm hiding. I'm telling you a truth. Still somebody, I need more proof, man. I need more evidence. That's why then, I, the sand car dude was trolling because because the nigga sm- I like I could listen to him talk and tell he ain't no damn dummy. Nah, he right. he really tells it. Dude was smart. That's why I thought he was trolling. <laughs> right. Got uh, it. First yeah. video at the top. I got it downloaded. Yeah. So that shit's crazy. So he don't have polite videos up. Uh, another video of him talking about polite, polite right here. Like fuck all on that page. Polite right here. Fingerprint uh, all on that motherfucker. Right. Polite right here. Like nigga, you always had these videos up. With no intention yeah. on taking them down. None. All right, fin- I'm actually finna drop down, and um, but uh, thank you for letting me up on the panel. It was a pleasure. Uh, good job, being Queen. Sh- of course, should you got the best edits on the internet? Yeah, yeah, That's why yeah. I call you Zaddy, cause you know you the shit. You know you the shit, bro. Only, but, only, um, only you can call him that. You know what I mean? I ain't mad at you. <laughs> only a woman can call him Zaddy. I ain't mad at you, cause the poor people got them no. down. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> that shit was right on point. Right on point, everything. Yeah. Oh, and you Bro, know, it was the way he put, put that crap. Shout crap. out to you, Neo X, because you kept your foot on his neck as well. And for sure, having those archives like that, like Royale, Royale was a cool dude. You know, what I mean, I don't know what happened all the way through with him and Sharnetta, but I know when Royale was out there, Royale was cool. Mm-hmm. You know, what I, mean? I had I had no problems with Royale. You no, know, I from what I from what I sensed of him, he was a good brother. You know, he was out there trying to uh, uh, pass on some truth about our history and our culture. And whatever happened with him and Sarnetta is due to Sarnetta. Sarnetta is just a filthy dude, man. Yeah, some, he, he just ain't right. I mean, in the words of Lauren Hill, how you going to win when you ain't right with them, bro? Mm. Like, mm-hmm. something just ain't, he just ain't right. And it's sad that, you know, so many people, like, they choosing because it's a choice. It got to be a choice that they choosing to turn a blind eye because that Nikki, I mean, that Nikki chick, uh, that Angie chick, that girl literally got on his show and said, son, that I know you're not a pedophile. <laughs> like she literally said, and I'm like, bitch, you don't know him. This Nick, we don't, we can't prove it, but it's looking, it's giving her. Like he might not like little, little babies, but he like them young, honey. So, Hebophile. He's a hebophile. Straight up. Yeah, he, he 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 down show something. So, but I, I just call him a perv. So I just keep it. I just, you know, yeah, he, he, him he's up in that hebophile, hebophile range. He might be in the pedophile range. You know, as they say, the definition of integrity is what you do when nobody's looking. Right. You know what I mean? That's the mm-hmm. true definition of integrity. So there's no telling what he does when nobody's looking, you know. And, and and you you hear from his language, just from his. That's why I always try to be courteous and respectful to the panels. Like homeboy was like, "Yo, you could curse, nah, man. Listen, I'm trying to be respectful and 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 
demonstrate my character for real. But this dude shows you he has no character. Yeah, something like that. Yeah, your mother. You, you talk to your mother like that. Yeah, I know what y'all dealing with. But yet y'all get up there and say, I have no problem with you. I have no problem with you. And then talking about I'm taking a shot after a guy invited you to his meet live on the air and you talk about I ain't got no problem with you. But then you're talking about you street savvy. If he said that shit to anybody's face, his teeth would have been down his throat. Any real person. Face to face. Yeah, I know. Like I said, there's a couple of people I know want to shake his hand in real, real life. So some of the shit that he don't say it on the internet. So well, he, he uh, did that shit with Ash Rock Quasi. You know, if y'all didn't know, um, he was bootlegging Ash Rock Quasi's African origins of Freemasonry. And that was one of those real videos up there, Queen, that you was talking about. That wasn't the shit. You know, a lot of that shit he had up there was that, but African Origins of Freemasonry by Ashrock Quasi. Shout out to Dr. Ashrock Quasi, Grandmaster Teacher. And Ashrock Quasi approached him and told him, yo, stop bootlegging my shit, man. I'm trying to make money off of this to take the people back home and, and do my tours. And he cursed Ashrock Quasi out. Next thing you know, some people stepped to him and put hands and feet on him. True story. Yeah, and, and thanks for bringing that up, man, because if that's another point to who he is, he has beefed with from the grandmaster teachers right to us like everybody yeah into right. him. he's no our point, ash why crazy man good point but we the ash problem rock, ash rock came to him like a man like a father to a son and said brother please let me get my money so i can take my people back to the homeland and he went on a video and cursed ash rock crazy out Next thing you know, he wasn't out for three to four weeks because niggas didn't put lot, knots and bumps and bruises on him. He want to talk all that on make believe shit. Oh, somebody did something to Ben Diesel. Ain't nobody ever did nothing to Ben Diesel, man. Knock it off, Saul. But we know what they did to you when you got disrespectful with the grandmaster teacher. He came and fucked you up. You don't want to talk about that, though, huh, brother? You ain't going to bring that up ever again. Mm -hmm. Well, All right, family, Man, you, know, go ahead you and... know what's crazy? What's crazy is how Neo, there was no was... Nick. Hold on, hold on, Dab Dab. So Neo, you said he was gonna bounce. Yeah, I'm finna draw. I'm finna just have a good night, y'all. And uh, Neo, just give y'all a heads up. The um, the next video I'm probably gonna be working on soon. I got a call out that dude on uh, from what's the show? What's the documented hidden colors i think his name tariq nasheed mm -hmm. i i gotta call that nigga out y'all i'm sorry bro Can't i seen business. this nigga defend p diddy for like three four five hours and i just couldn't uh -uh. take it uh -uh. oh yeah he's defending oh, diddy he's K defending flex? diddy child you talking about k flex yeah uh oh who's that oh, tariq nasheed i think I think yeah, that, yeah, yeah you, you guys, I don't really know him, know him know, like that. I just know him from the beginning. Yeah, that was his rap name. <laughs> oh, that see, I don't even know the brother like that. Like, I ain't even finna cap it. Like, I know him, know him, but you know, man, I came across that video by accident, and I was like, man, is this the hidden colors dude, the conscious dude? You know, something else people don't know about him. He was in the video, uh, just my baby daddy. What? Mm. Yeah, you know that video, that song. That's just my baby. Mm -hmm. <laughs> she in that video. Yeah. Uh -huh. <laughs> yeah. Okay. You gonna notice him now that what I said? What the fuck? Now that I said it, y'all all gonna notice him. Watch. Yeah, oh, I'm about to watch that I'm probably tonight. gonna look that up. Fuck. <laughs> I'm <laughs> looking that up as soon as we yeah. get off. Of What'd you say? Say that again, so yeah, I can put it right in my note. My baby, daddy. Y'all don't remember that? Who song? that is? I saw that oh, yeah, song. Yeah, yeah. I'm from Florida, so you know I know the song. That's just my baby, daddy. That's just my baby, daddy. What's yeah, that? But... Who made that song? What was that little buddy looking name? I forgot the name. I know. I know the song. I know the song. Little boy, nigga, man. But listening to that nigga defend pity, it was like it was cringe just so. But I, I just gotta call him out. So, but all right, y'all have a good one and nice live. I'm a probably I'm gonna listen in, but I ain't gonna be commenting and stuff like that until I fall asleep. All right, so. So blessings to you, Queen. Stay focused, stay so, safe. Mm -hmm. Hey, no See problem. You on the next one, you already know. Thank, thank you, thank oh, you. Yeah. Right. Good luck, y'all. Peace. Bye.
saying Kara's back. I'm not. 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 i you said what you said. He said what he said. The main target here is Sa. Uh, That's it. That's it. I ain't trying to do his top pattern or whatever. That's but a whole he fact. Did, he did say that he was peeping um things, so that's a good thing. I don't know where Ben went. This shit. Oh so shit! Took over my live, nigga. What's going on? <laughs> this nigga yeah. just snatching shit out my live. Right. What the hell? Y'all see that? Mm-hmm. <laughs> that's crazy. That's wild. Okay, here's ben. But yeah, that's crazy. <clears throat> you guys know what's the trip? <clears throat> there was no Nikki. Mm-hmm. <laughs> right? Like we right. went from there being no Nikki yeah, yeah. to this. But my son, because my son, he be keeping up with this shit. And he has said he would we uh he was talking about Ben. He was making the call and then he had said his name. He was just like, Yes, yeah, something, something, Jamim. And just the way he said it, my son was all like, No, nah, I don't even like the way he said that nigga name. <laughs> like he <laughs> <laughs> right. No, yo, it's funny you say that. My name is Jamin. Take the Ben out of Benjamin. Jamin. J A M I N. There's no M at the end of my name. Uh, yeah, well, yeah, one thing about him, he can't pronounce nothing, bro. He's a, and he's I a have a speech impediment, so it'd be crazy to me when I see dudes who can't enunciate, can't mm. pronounce nothing, don't know the definitions of words ever. I'd be like, damn, bro. Like you don't, you don't read. I mean, I know you say you do, but like, do you? I've read, got a. Dog? Yo, I got on Queen's Throne channel and I told him I put my head on a chopping block. I put my head on a guillotine that Sonetta never read a book from front cover to back page in its entirety. Well, I know that's a, I know that's a bold statement. No, I, 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 never read a book. I, I believe that I, I will make a connection. Well, I mean, his name was Salih Karan. <laughs> I I would I would hope a nigga who named himself after a book read it from he can't but maybe he I'm can't giving him quote, too much credit. He can't quote one Sora from the Quran in its entirety. Not one. He can't even quote a paragraph from a Sora. That's the type of that's the type of devil that y'all dealing with, and people still want to play with him. I ain't got no problems with you. And I ain't taking no shots at you, Sankara. But it's multiple brothers out there like you. Multiple brothers out there that keep playing with this dude. Yeah, you got a problem with him. You might not be able to express it at the given moment. But yeah, you got a problem. Any, anytime a man tell you suck my dick and call you a pedophile and then you turn around and tell me I ain't got no problem with you, there's something wrong with you, brother. Straight up. Okay, okay. I didn't mean Sar it like that. What I meant. Saw yeah. told him. Yeah, of course Sar I got a problem SMD. with him. Saw told him SMD and called him a pedophile. Uh, Live on yeah. the air. And the brother turned okay. around and said, Yo, so I ain't really got no problem with you. Huh? Uh, I didn't mean it like huh? that, Ben. What did you mean, uh, right. Sam What See, did you mean? Break it down. Talking while I'm not around shit. Let me explain yeah. what I meant. I didn't mean it like we're saying. Is that I'm not attacking him personally. I was letting him know why I'm bringing it up. That's all I was saying. I wasn't saying I have no problem at all with him like you, Travis. Basically. <laughs> Your, um, your, audio your audio going in and out. Weird, your audio going in and out still, Sankara. Well, I'm in and out. Yeah, my connection's jacked up. But no, I didn't mean, see, that, that's not, I didn't mean it the way you're trying to say, Ben. Okay, that's why it's like, it's best if you talk to me directly so I can give you what I was saying. I was saying, I don't have a, I'm not attacking you personally. I'm stating facts. That's what I meant talking to Sonetta. 
Of course, I got a problem with him with the stuff I'm saying, obviously. You feel me? Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. That's all. Do do you think that the do you think that the house of consciousness promotes and protects pedophilia, bro? Sankara? I think Sonetta does. You think Sonetta does? But but he said he's house. I don't of think everybody. I don't think everybody associated with the conscious community does. But I do think Sonetta does. Uh, no, the question polite, was the yes. house of consciousness. The question was with the house of consciousness, well, not the conscious community. I don't know. If house of everybody at the house. Of consciousness. Nah, look. I remember, can't speak remember on everybody, Sarnetta but I can speak that, on him. Remember, Sarnetta pretty much said that he's somewhere. the house of consciousness. Remember when the yeah, whole thing well, with... He, I don't consider him the house of consciousness. I don't consider him... I consider the house of consciousness a, a, a group of people. Your mm. audio is... Okay. Really now, if up. he is the house of consciousness, then yes, I would agree with that. Okay. Well, he is the house of consciousness. But there's a, lot of people, there's a lot of people that I actually used to watch that was a part of the conscious community that I don't think was like that in the past so i can't really make that statement you feel me well you're saying again let me it's a misnomer here because you're saying the conscious community and we're talking about the house of consciousness we ain't talking about the conscious community we're talking about the house of consciousness oh, oh okay 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 yeah if you're talking about sonetter and his brand and what he's him calling himself the house of consciousness then yes he protects pedophiles and when yeah, I say like protect pedophiles, you protect the polite. Yes. Now that I really think about it, it is kind of crazy that um, he advocated and protected polite so tough, and then he came after Zulu Nation the way he did. Mm. Like, well, now, see, that's what you, I wanted like, to say just, too. Just sitting here with y'all, you guys really got me thinking. Because mm. well, you know I what I wanted to say about that too. Time, but I've never put it together like this. Like this is kind of crazy. Well, let me say this. This is what I was trying to tell Q. OK, Sonetta always uh, would be in them Nuwabian circles. See, I remember this. That's how he met his wife, Cynthia. OK, the Nuwabians teach it's OK to deal with young girls. That's what they teach. That's why you got the video with Polite defending York, because that's what they really believe. And if you're down with that sect, then you don't have a problem with it. And he comes from that sect. He comes from that arena. So that, so that's why I know when he was doing the rant, he was protecting in the sense that they really, that's why he called Renentet his wife and all that, because they really believe that that shit is okay. I know that because I've dealt with new Obians. So the new Obians, that's how they get down. Mm, mm, mm. And he was well, down with the Nuwabians. Right. That's his history. Oh, let me tell you something. No, That's why he was trying to uh, take on, for brother. York. Hold on, first. brother. Hold on, brother. He was with Cynthia well before he became any type of conscious person, before there was any mention of a Nuwabi. I'm going back 28 years ago. Before he went to. Prison. I remember him before, saying it. I'm going by his I, words. I, I, I overstood, but I'm, I'm telling you straight up and down, straight up and down. When he was still filthy Frankie, he wasn't no new Wabian. He wasn't no nation of Islam. He wasn't nothing. And Cynthia was in his corner. That black woman was in his corner. No matter what was said about her, that black woman was in his corner trying to uphold this piece of crap to be something that he could never be. But since there wasn't no new Wabian connect. He didn't meet Cynthia through new Wabian. That was just some, you know, they got together in the hood, so forth, so on. But well, I heard him up. say it. I heard him say he's he met liar. her. He's a liar okay. from the pits of hell, and there isn't an ounce of truth in him. Okay. Remember that. Remember that. But that might give you insight as to why he was caping for York, why he was down with, you know, even after Polite was caping for York, he didn't have mm -hmm. a problem with that. Nobody remembers that. Mm hmm. Because it, it really, behind closed doors, it's okay. Cube asked me a question on that on that show that day. He said, yo, have you ever been a nigga? And I understood what he meant by that. And I had OGs in the street that did 40 years in prison. And they said, you know what, Jermaine, you know what I respect about you? 
You are a law abiding citizen. I get busy. I could fight with the best of them. I ain't no killer, but don't push me. But when it comes to a, a, a good old scrap, you want to scrap up one on one man to man and get some shit to your chest. We can stand toe to toe any day. But as far as all the street antics and all the tough talk and I'm going to shoot you, that's not my that's not my style. I don't do all that. I, I don't want I don't wish harm on people that look like me, let alone my brothers. OK, so when it comes to all of that, I'm not that type. But by the same token, I know what I'm talking about when it comes to the street shit. And Sarnetta is not that dude. Sarnetta is everything I'm telling y'all he is, but y'all refuse to listen. Y'all refuse to take it in. Y'all refuse to process it. She'll, she'll give the best example, man. Sometimes, like, like you said, will of fortune, some people need all the letters to figure out the puzzle. Some people could see that shit with just two letters and say, bra -ba, bra -ba -ba. Mm -hmm. and the puzzle was right. Some people need all the letters. I get it. This why. This why I never. I ain't call you out your name. I ain't never said fuck you, nigga. You piece of shit. Oh, you. You ain't believe me. Fuck you, nigga. Brother, you entitled to believe what you believe. You're entitled to feel how you want to feel. But I take it upon men like you in the conscious community to lead the way to say, yo, y'all know something is wrong, man. Why do y'all keep playing with this shit? Start, start beating the drum. To everybody, yo, get the fuck off that house of consciousness shit and let's come up with a new platform that's going to advance our people. If not, we're done. You hear what I'm saying to you, brother? Debate yeah, ain't taking us nowhere. I'm going in on top. I got videos on, sir. Oh, now I know who you are. You was the other cat. You was the one applying pressure while Q was doing the tab dancing. Facts. That's who Oh, is. shit. Yeah, okay. I got I, you. I yeah. got you, yeah. You didn't know that? Yeah, I didn't, so like, I mean, I didn't like how well, that went. <laughs> I didn't like how that went either. Not well. I well. I'm looking at his. I'm looking at his profile, and I'm all like, "Man, I've seen this profile before." And then I'm all like, "Oh, this is the cat from earlier who was mm -hmm. pretty much okay." So that's how that all. Yeah, I remember that. Yeah, you had saw hot. Well, we really just pulled up with it. The saw Ben and all that. You just had dialogue with him. It's not like we just hunted you down, Sankara, and you know, or no yeah. shit like that. You was just in the video. No, it's yeah. cool. Yeah, there ain't no malice, you know. Um, um, in fact, the importance of this technology is for us to connect from state to state, you know, domestically, to where we don't have to be in each other's. Well, I want Sa so, away from our community. Just know that I want him away from our community. That's a fact. Just like I, I listen, we agree on something. We agree on something, mm -hmm. and that's a starting point. You know, these type of people have to be away from the conscious community. Remember, prior to Malcolm X and Marcus Garvey. After that, we had Dr. Benz, Dr. Clarks, Ivan Van Sertimas, Dr. Jeffries, Dr. Smalls doing free lectures. They used to come out every weekend, two times a week, and do free lectures to try to, to uh, enlighten the community. Now it's a $30 charge, a $40 charge, $50 charge to come in and hear somebody try to wake you up. From what's going on with your surroundings? Come on, man! Stop the, stop the man, that came in, hey, that came in on trial, man. They they got a little taste of a couple of dollars, and they went crazy. They went crazy, went all the way crazy. That's why I put that money in that video like that, because that's how much money Sonetta didn't windle the way with his little scamming lying ass. That's what yeah, it well, reminded before, me before of. Before Michael Noack, before Michael Noack got convicted. And what made Star Cheddar go on that rant about Renintech that, that you you swear by Sankara? We know what made him go on that rant is when Polite came out and said, instead of you taking that $15,000 that you made from that Kemet on trial yep. and go invest in something, you went out like the nigga that you are. Excuse my language. That's what he told him. You went out like the nigga that you are and bought that used Benz. That's what he told him. And that's what made that's what set Sonnet off to come out and say all of that incriminating stuff that he said against Polite. Yeah, I remember. And then he and then Polite was like, uh, I have Renente do your tax. You know, I had her doing your taxes. I did this for you. You know. And then uh when see, that said he goes against Sonnetter saying that uh she didn't really run away from her mother. Well, how she how she gonna do 
Sonetta's taxes unless she's with Polite. Y'all remember so, when, uh, he, he runs uh, his mouth too much. Right. Y'all remember when mm -hmm. um, Sonetta said Solar Mine <clears throat> came out there and ripped, it, ripped his bumper off mm -hmm. of his car and he <laughs> yeah. was just slapping? Yeah, I think he got, like, he was probably drunk out there. <laughs> what is that? Scotty what? Scotty uh, Dark. Uh, Scotty Dark. <laughs> Scotty Dark. Scotty, Scotty, Scotty I didn't Dark. know about that. Damn. <laughs> he was just lying left and right. The nigga is trash, man. I know he doctored yeah, up his that was uh, the dumbest court story papers. I ever heard. He doctored up the court papers. Yes, he did. Yep. I remember that. Yeah. What'd you say, Def? I said uh, that that story was the dumbest story I ever heard. When he pretty much says Solomon drove for Philly, <laughs> <laughs> I just started cracking up. I said this nigga crazy. But like I say. I get it because I'm an Aries too. <laughs> so I'm different from Sa, but I I get you, bro. Like you, you do that Aries shit. These these fantastic stories that bro, that no one, I mean, I don't know, I, maybe like Reggie, because you know, I know that he got people who's rocking with him the long way. Like you might be able to tell that to him or a couple other people, but just think of how that sounds, bro. Man, I'll be wondering, am I the only one that be remembering shit like that? I'm so glad you said that, man. Like, <laughs> I only remember shit like that from Suge because Suge was going in on the edits because me and um Sa was kind of cool and he was so worried about um Suge and shit like that. And I'm like, why in the fuck? And he's like, you got to pick a side and all this shit like that. That's why the real th reason why I think he took my wrench, which I do not care about, you know, and after he did that, I did not make videos about it. You will not see from um, the end of 2020 to when Polite got arrested, me having any videos going at Sonetta. We, I wasn't on that. I was focused on what I came here to do. But, you know what I'm saying? So I when he says that, he lying. I got to find that email or... That I think if it was a text message, I, I may not got it. I'm but, on those two. I'm on those two, yeah. but I, I remember it. And like I said, I always thank you for that. Like, I didn't even understand what it was about because I wasn't even doing videos. On, that was just weird, man. It's crazy. I don't know how I should be finding all these clips. I'll be looking for these. Like, where do we find? I was nah, trying to find that. No I was going to show. See, no I was going to tell fucking, Queen bro. about that. Back when y'all had Inky on here, but I couldn't find the clip. Bad motherfucker, boy. Yeah. What be hilarious is when the nigga be chopping and screwing the shit when he did the sniffing coke. And oh my god! It. And he slowed it down. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> but, but, coke, but what I respect about it, coke, bro, I was dying. Me sure and got up this. So I'm not with all this rolling. shit, man. That's not what I'm up here for. Sometimes I get up. I, I came up here for the shits. And I was looking for a little knowledge, and I came across Shaw, and he came clean about it. You know, you're not sitting up here perpetrating the fraud like mm -hmm. you, some moral, uh, uh, ethical, conscious leader. You know, you came yeah. into the, you stepped into the, you, you put a toe into the community to see what y'all talk about, and then you see these dudes are full of shit, full of shit, full of shit. Yeah. Let me get out of here. Mm -hmm. You know, I respect that all the way. Don't say, oh, yeah, I've been conscious, I've been doing this and doing that. Nah, man, stop it, man. Like some of these dudes are up here doing, and then you're sitting back and you're looking at this this fucking dope fiend totally destroy the conscious community. And you're still playing games with them, man. Come on, man. Hey, I remember the one video now. I'm not, yeah, I guess I am kind of implying something. So he's in the car. The one, the one little goofy dude is on the bike. And so somebody's uh it's like, yeah, something, something I got you. He's so like, yeah, save me one. And I'm all like, save you one. What you talking about? Yeah, there we go. You yeah. guys know that you guys you am I making sense? Do you remember this? No, I, I don't remember, but I know I can hear what you're saying. Okay. I, I can I can put two or two together. <laughs> yeah, man. He was just like, Yeah, man, save me one. Save you one. Save you one. Yeah, uh-huh. All right. Hey, hey, I'm about to I don't know how long y'all gonna be on, but I'm about to jump off and uh shower and get at my phone. If y'all still on, I'll jump back on. All right, Shug. I appreciate you so much, bro. You already okay, know. Man, salute. You the man. Salute. You the man. Peace. Peace to the God. Peace. Hey, bro, I'll be in the
Chat. What's the guy name on the panel? Uh, Sankara. No, not Sankara. The other brother. Death Chef. Death Chef. Death Chef. Yeah. Right. Salute to you too, bro. My bad. Peace to the God. Peace, peace. Peace, y'all. Peace. Chat, chat, chat. I'll be out there. What's up? Man, shout out to Shug. Shout out to Shug. But yeah, this shit crazy. We was we should wrap up soon or whatever. Yeah, like okay. said, I'm gonna I'm gonna say my last piece, Queen's Throne. Thank yeah. you for being true blue. Um, whether you believe me or not, thank you for investigating the information. Thank you for taking it every step further. And, and, and showing that I'm not just making no shit up. And I know you a G for real. I know you a G for real. You know what I mean? And the women are our power. The women are our last bash in the hope. This is why I'm saying we can't be out here disrespecting them, calling them out their <coughs> names, and, and, and all this other foul stuff, beating them up, punching them in their face till they see the white light. Y'all bugging. Y'all bugging. <laughs> the white light. Yeah, he said she saw the white light, man. Uh, he he, ain't, he ain't gonna get away from that one, huh? <laughs> yeah, you know what I mean? So, you know, salute to Queen's Throne for keeping your foot on their neck, you know, and um, like I told you, sis, and, and it's funny, even how Cube said it, now we ain't falling out, we ain't got no falling out. I'm not with Queen's Throne 24-7 to where we gonna be in any type of predicament to where I'm gonna say I'm falling out. I fuck with her. I fuck with her content, and until we get together personally and proven otherwise, that's my sister, and it's ride or die, yo, ride or die. Love, man, much love always. Straight up and down. So, with that being said, Death Dabster, I appreciate you stepping in, man. And this is about the strong getting together, man. This ain't about no hate. This ain't about none of that weak shit, man. This is about us strong brothers and strong women getting together and eradicating this weak shit from amongst us because the war is on man the war is on y'all gonna see something in 2024 and it's gonna it's gonna really make as dr clark says dr john henry clark said when all else fails circumstance will make us change man and them circumstances is about to hit us hard you heard it here first queen's throne peace and blessings i'm out much love ben peace. shout out peace. to you Shout out to you, Def Dabs, as well. Appreciate you coming up. Oh, already, I mean, you know, like I've been saying, I love what you're doing. Another thing, because mm -hmm. see, now I can speak on this because it done ran its course. I always felt that you was just like letting Inky hang itself. My grandma used to do that shit to me, mm -hmm. right? And just let me hang myself just naturally running my mouth because i you know it's like whatever man i was always larry and i used to ask him certain little questions and you know it his little responses would be strange but then like he got all gung, gung ho over here i was all like man i don't know first of all i knew the nigga liked you i'm all like you like her bro so i'm already knowing that a bunch of this is disingenuous because that's the shit that we do when we like a chick like that's it don't change when we young or old. i don't give a fuck that's yeah. just how the shit go but i'm watching it then i start seeing it play out i said oh uh, yeah yep the the whole little trial thing when ben came on there i was like okay this is his little push when this don't work we gonna see what happened because i know he's a flip-flopper he's quick to do that and then right. next thing you Did know, that before. Yep. he got said, yep, I, I, I knew it, but I didn't want to come in because I don't want to seem like I'm a hater or, you know, and that was your, that was your partner or whatever. So, okay, cool. But I always felt like, man, I think she just letting this nigga hang himself because he, he's kind of silly. You know how you look at a situation and you already know how it's going to kind of play out. Facts. But kind of just play it anyway you know what i mean mm -hmm. so um but the one thing i can salute enki for is for introducing me to ben basically right because if this situation would have never come out then you know ben came into one of my lives and we were replaying when sonetta was on my um panel and ben thought that he was actually on my panel so he was like drop the link and shit so um 
when he came up here, he seen that, you know, we were just playing a video or whatever, but he would have never known about me if it wasn't for that. So I'm just saying, I appreciate that. But yeah, all that other shit, he could have saved it. It ain't that serious. Yeah, well, I mean, you know, this just, I don't know, this just goes to prove that, that this is a good old boys club. You know what I'm saying? So I get it. You know, I, I knew. I knew what was what was gonna happen. It, it's almost like uh, any any institution, right? At the end of the day, the conscious community, it's an institution, and an institution is always more important than the individuals, especially the individuals who are the victims, right? We we could look at the Catholic Church, we could look at public schools. Right here, I'm from Seattle. Right here, right now. There's a huge sex scandal going on with these educators and these coaches. And uh -huh. there's all these situations that have been covered up, settlements, uh, people, mm -hmm. people's stories shut down. So I understand like institutions, they cover up the most heinous shit. Have you seen the Boy Scouts? You said Dr. Seattle. Dr. You said Seattle. Yeah, I'm from Seattle. Yeah, you said this was going on in Seattle, though, right? Yeah, this is going on in Seattle right now. All right, I'm gonna make a note of that to look into that. Yep, and uh, I got I got information. So you know, like if you ever want to want to talk about something or whatever, we could get into that. But okay. yeah, there's a lot definitely. of shit going on here. Yeah, definitely. Let's do that. Yeah, yep. I'm with that. Oh yeah, but we gonna see what happens. You know what I'm saying? Shit. <laughs> After this, it is what it is. You know. So we'll see. But yeah, I'm about to get up off of here. Yeah. Um, and shit like that. You know, I'm tired as hell. We been here. Yeah. But Good I appreciate you, Def Dab I really do, and I'm glad that even though there was a misunderstanding, that you know we we worked that out. So that's what's up. Oh yeah, even with the misunderstanding, I'm still here for the content. Like you know, right. uh, you know, Casby so caught up and feeling slighted, man. Internet man, be giving be giving us unnecessary egos, myself included. So you know, I understand. Yeah. It's all gravy. Yeah, if you don't check it at the door, it could definitely get crazy. Yeah, you know. Good but talking. I appreciate to you. you. All right, man. Thank I'm you. Out. All right, much love. All right, so y'all, we've been here for a minute. This was a bomb ass show, and I'm I'm not mad. Um, it's not Shug's fault or whatever about the um picture or whatever, but I'm definitely going to have to take this down and edit because if I'm not mistaken, you can only edit a video that's four hours or less and stuff. And there's a couple of um cuts I have to make, so I don't know. Um, I'll see what's going on, but I'm gonna put it on private. Worst case scenario, I edit it out off of YouTube or tomorrow I just edit out the parts. I kind of do want to go through it and make sure that I get every part because I don't want to give them any type of way to flag me or whatever since we know that that's what they're on. I don't want to just, you know, do that. So, yeah, that's what I'm going to do. And then I'll re premiere it tomorrow or whatever. Um, I got a couple of things to handle in the AM, like late afternoon or whatever. And then after that, I'll edit it and put it back up. So if you haven't seen it in its entirety, you will have to wait till tomorrow. Cause the way that they went over there and um, flagged um, Uncle Shug for that is petty as hell. Because again, Enki had that same picture up for years, really, you know, and nobody said anything, but these type of coward ass motherfuckers will just wait for any opportunity to flag something. So it is what it is, but I want to make sure that I'm safeguarded over here. And we always have the backup on, on StreamYards itself, just in case, right? But I appreciate every last one of you guys, period. I appreciate everybody that jumped on the panel. Um, ben, Uncle Shug, Def Dabsta, Sankara, Neo, everybody that jumped up here um you know for weighing in and shit and again we don't automatically have to agree about you know everything but remember ben is presenting a story that he saw with his eyes that happened 
in the late 90s. So it's not like there was hella technology. I'm just going to say that. And um, with that said, I will see you guys soon. Much love, y'all. Bye.